Great Voyage, the cartoonist of the Straw Hats. Chapter 201 Ace, save the execution platform. Are you out of your mind? Please subscribe. No way. Sengoku, got headshot. Question mark. Is this a dream? The Straw Hat Kid was punched through the chest by Sengoku and he can still fight back and kill Sengoku. It's terrible. This is the battle between the strong tilde as long as one negligence, you will lose your life. Another negligence, you can pull the opponent back before dying. Isn't Marshal Sengoku's death too unjust? Where is the wrong? Do you really think that straw hat kid is made of mud? Look at the strength of his crew. If he is not the admiral level strength of the captain, how could he have so much strength that can match admiral's fishy? Where's the slaughter partner? Sure enough, the old saying, the battle of the strong is often over in an instant tilde. Ah, this, the end is really easy. Both of you send away Tilda. Marshal Sengoku. Crane Vice Admiral's old face was terrified, staring at Sengoku's face. Over Tilda. Really pierced. When he saw the situation of Sengoku thoroughly, Lieutenant General Jeru's heart suddenly became cold Tilda. How so? Momousagi Vice Admiral is also numb Tilda. No one could have imagined that the progress of the matter would be so abrupt. But the next moment. Ah. Dash. Sengoku in the form of the Golden Buddha grabbed Luffy's arm with both hands and roared in pain. Nani. How come 853 is still alive? Hey, hello. Do you really want the marshal to die? Ah. No, I mean, it's not outrageous that you're fine with your head blown off? This, outrageous, really outrageous. The marine soldiers around looked at Sengoku who was still able to operate, and all of them felt that their brain power was not enough tilde. From this angle, Luffy's arms have already muddied your brain, right? With paste in the head. Can people still move autonomously? Take it out of my eyes. Sengoku howled in pain, and then resorted to the power of a Buddha, struggling to pull out Luffy's two arms. Boo, boo. Finally, under Sengoku's desperate efforts, Luffy's two elongated arms were pulled out of a hole like two water snakes. With, and Sengoku's two eyeballs also fell out together tilde. Sengoku almost subconsciously reached out to catch his eyeballs and then hastily stuffed them into them. Utilda underscore. Sengoku let out a long sigh of relief when he found that he could still see. However, this scene. The people at the scene were frightened and stupid. I am Nima. Absolutely hell today. First, I saw that the person whose head was blown off can still move Tilda. Now I see this guy's eyeballs falling out. Can they be put back? And looking at him, it seems that he has not lost his eyesight. A big clever shouted. I understand. This must be the ability of the fruit of the human being, the Buddha form, right? It's too strong as expected of Marshal Sengoku. The recovery ability is too heaven-defying ab. As soon as he shouted, some people who suddenly realized it immediately shouted, I know. After the awakening of the zone ability user, the life recovery ability will increase to another level. Marshal Sengoku is a zone phantom beast, and he is also a great Buddha form. His recovery ability must be stronger. Case solved. Marshal Sengoku is too strong, as expected of being the one who dominated the old days. Let's talk about one of the several powerhouses. Marshal Sengoku's recovery ability is so strong, but the straw hat boy is not sure. His chest has been punched through by Marshal Sengoku. Although he didn't die immediately, it should be soon, right? That's right. The battle for the fruit of everyone is over. Ahohahaha tilde. Ahohahaha. Luffy withdrew his hands, still laughing cheerfully. And when Sengoku arms his own fist, as Sengoku's fist is pulled out from Luffy's chest, Luffy's chest is like rubber, instantly refilling Tilda, say, exclamation mark. Hey, damn it, am I dazzled? Why is the penetrating wound on the chest of the straw hat boy completely healed? No way. Could it be that he was also awakened because of the phantom beast, human fruit? Is it true that the recovery power of phantom beasts after awakening is so strong? It seems to be true. Didn't you see that Marco, the captain of the Whitebeard Pirate Team's second team, can directly block Kizaru Admiral's 8-foot Kyungu. PFFT. Don't talk. Marco is the ability of the Phoenix. Ah, uh, if you say that, I suddenly feel that Marco's fruit seems a little white, isn't it? Phoenix's strong point is recovery. But other people's phantom beasts can also recover heaven-defying after awakening. So dot 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 the phantom beast. Phoenix form is undoubtedly the weakest phantom beast. This is too miserable tilde. Damn it, straw hat Luffy. What exactly are your abilities? Why are you doing this? Sengoku rubbed his own eyeballs. Although he wasn't blind, the foreign body sensation from being punched in his eyes was extremely clear. Let's put it this way. Except that the eyes are not blind, the other feelings are exactly the same as being directly punched through the eyes by someone who would be uncomfortable to replace. Ahahaha, ahahaha tilde. I'm not here to talk to you about this. I'm going to save Ace. While speaking, Luffy extended his hands again. This time, instead of heading towards Sengoku, he turned a corner bypassed Sengoku, and ran towards Ace next to him. Wu Tilda, I can't let you succeed. In the distance, Kizaru saw this scene and raised his hand. A laser beam shot precisely at Luffy. Boom. But, the laser beam exploded less than a meter away from Kizaru's eyes. That was an invisible energy barrier, directly cutting off the laser beam's route. Hash Tilda. Kizaru curled his lips, 
turned to look at Liu Olan, Artilda, you are really a reliable partner. Liu Olan spread his hands, don't underestimate me. If I let you intervene in our captain's battle while I'm here, then I'm too incompetent as a deputy captain, right? Can one person be sure to completely contain me? Kizaru pouted his thick lips, you young man. You are really arrogant. You are still called a young man if you are not arrogant. Although Liu Olan doesn't want to use such a dialogue in the second class, but listening to Kizaru say this, it feels uncomfortable not to answer such a sentence Tilda. The other side Tilda. Sengoku saw that Luffy started to rescue Ace, so it was impossible for him to succeed. Don't try to succeed. Sengoku was suspended in the air with a loud sound. Towards the bottom is a punch Tilda. This punch, with resentment towards Luffy and hatred towards Ace's blood. The Golden Buddha light exploded from his fist. Exclamation mark. Rumble Tilda. Terrible fluctuations appeared out of thin air, causing the sky above the execution platform to suddenly fall into a boundless coercion. The space then oscillated, and there were layers of ripples. Um, Luffy suddenly frowned. He realized that the shockwave of Sengoku's punch was going to smash the execution platform together. Ace can't use his ability at this time, it's like falling from such a high place, it's absolutely terrible. What's more, there are so many marine soldiers waiting below, once Ace falls and has no strength to fight back, wouldn't he become a living target? Luffy doesn't care so much anymore, even if he insists on Sengoku's Buddha light shock wave, he must immediately save Ace. Both hands grabbed Ace's shoulders instantly tilde, whoosh, with Luffy's arm retracted, Ace was pulled to Luffy's side, and at this time, boom, the shock wave of the Buddha's light above crashed down, no, jump Luffy, Ace looked at this scene tilde, good guy, if the shock wave that fills the sky is blasted down, even if you don't die, you will lose your skin, at this moment, he stepped on the ground, and the side effects from the extermination of magic had disappeared. Although the sea stone handcuffs are still in hand, the fire dragon magic can already be used. He was about to pull Luffy to jump down, but found that he couldn't pull Luffy. Luffy, Ace is fascinated Tilda. What's the situation? You saved me, why don't you leave? Then he heard Luffy's voice in his ears, wait, Ace, I still have to save the execution block. Nanny, for a moment, Ace was really stupid. Rescue the execution platform? I'm hallucinating, you are still out of your mind, this execution platform is a dead thing, save the execution platform with a hammer, why, you still plan to keep it as a souvenir for me, without time to explain to Ace, the awakening ability of Luffy's Nika form instantly extended to the execution platform tilde, boom, when the powerful energy of the Buddha light shockwave hit the execution platform, the execution platform was like a piece of extremely tough rubber, which was immediately compressed downward tilde, then bang, the incomparably majestic shockwave of the Buddha's light directly hit the sky in the rebound of the execution platform. Ah, Sengoku was caught off guard. He didn't expect that the Buddha light shockwave he sent could return the same way. Suddenly, he couldn't dodge it in time, and was overturned by the Buddha light shockwave. Duang tilde, dong tilde, dong tilde. After the execution platform bounced back, it shook a few more times before it completely calmed down. Ah ha Fortunately, the execution platform was not destroyed. Otherwise Liu Olan would blame me Tilda. After imitating the execution platform and finding that there was no major problem, Luffy smiled honestly. Before this battle came, Liu Olan specially warned Luffy, on the basis of ensuring the safety of Ace, it is best to keep the execution platform, he is of great use. Although Luffy didn't know what Liu Olan wanted the execution platform for, but in 4.7 he knew that since Liu Olan proposed it, it must have a special meaning. For honesty, for Luffy. He promised Liu Olan that he would definitely keep the execution platform. Now that the execution platform was saved, Luffy also smiled happily. Ace is self-reliant here, he plucked in the pants of the two executioners, and finally found the key to the sea stone handcuffs. Click, sea stone handcuffs fell to the ground, free, Luffy, let's go. As soon as Ace grabbed Luffy, he jumped down, rumble tilde, flame. It's like a flame storm rising from the ground, sweeping around, forming a flame channel tilde. The two followed the flame channel to the ground, boom, the flames exploded in the crowd of marine soldiers, and the Japanese films were blown away tilde, this scene immediately pushed the water to the top, rescued, okay, Ace, quickly retreat this way, let's back up, attack with full strength, escorted by Ace and Luffy in straw hats, for Ace, for Papa, everyone, let's do it violently, for a moment, all the pirates in the white beard pirates were as if they had been beaten with chicken blood, facing marine is crazy output, chapter 202 millions a month, what are you desperate for, please subscribe, never let them go, seeing this, Sengoku shouted loudly, stop the straw hat Luffy at all costs, what, question mark, listening to what Sengoku is targeting at this time, many people are all stunned, isn't the bloodline of the one piece Roger to be executed, why is it now blocking the straw hat Luffy, I said, is Sengoku out of his head? Shouldn't he stop Fire Fist Ace at all costs? That's right Tilda this straw hat boy is not the blood of One Piece, why did he want to catch him again? And from Sengoku's point of view, it seems that this straw hat boy must die. I don't even care about Ace, but I can't let go of the straw hat Luffy by name. 
The water is very deep here. What kind of medicine is sold in this old fox's gourd? Sengoku. Those who don't know think that the straw hat boy is the blood of One Piece Tilda. Seeing a changing situation on the battlefield, the people who eat melons can't hold back anymore Tilda. What the hell is this Nima? What happened? Oh wait. Why did Sengoku order you to be arrested at all costs? Ace, who got his freedom, was about to have a big fight, but was suddenly confused by Sengoku's words Tilda. Why are you staring at my brother all of a sudden? Is my One Piece blood not fragrant anymore? Huh? Catch me. Hearing this, Luffy tilted his head, didn't seem to get the point and replied indiscriminately, I saved you, of course he wants to catch me. Ace rolled his eyes Tilda. How did I forget, my brother is an idiot. Am I stupid for talking to him about this? Ace resolutely gave up the idea of finding answers from Luffy, and he was keenly aware that things had changed. Although I don't know what caused it, but one thing Ace is sure about at the moment is that, at this time, Luffy is the one who needs to be protected the most. Luffy, go. Without too much hesitation. Ace immediately pulled Luffy and ran towards Crescent Harbor. Eight-foot mirror. Kizaru folded his hands up and down, emitting a golden path of light. This light path scrambles and bounces everywhere on the ground, rocks, ice, ruins, etc. of the battlefield. After many times in a row, they suddenly went straight in front of Luffy and Ace. But the light path just shot out for a moment, and it directly hit an invisible barrier, and was bounced back after a swipe. Wu Tilda, it's really airtight Tilda. With a surprised grin at the corner of his mouth. Kizaru looked at Liu Olan and scratched his head. I said you are really million baileys for a month. What fate do you have? Liu Olan pouted at Kizaru. The fluctuation of the shield in his hand was faintly visible, and then said, Even if you risk your life, Sengoku won't give you money. What are you doing Tilda? Kizaru grinned. What you said makes sense Tilda. But I can't just stare at you like this, can I? You have to move your hands, meaning Tilda. Certainly, for sure. Kizaru couldn't say it out of his mouth. He had to think about it in his heart. Stop talking nonsense. I am Marine Admiral, and I want to represent justice and destroy you pirates. Smiling in his heart, but speaking with righteous words, Kizaru turned into a stream of light when he moved, and approached Liu Olan. He he tilde. Liu Olan secretly laughed inwardly. Lozi also represents the moon to destroy you, a wretched man. Boom, bang bang. The two figures scurried around like rays of light, hitting each other from time to time, but bouncing away tacitly. After counting the seconds in their hearts several times, Repeat the above steps. What the hell is Sengoku doing? Whitebeard punched at Kainu away, his old face was full of bewilderment Tilda. Nima, my ace is not popular in your eyes anymore. Old man, you don't have time to care about others. Say Keizuki leaned forward again. His arms turned into magma and blasted towards Whitebeard. Whitebeard throws up his hands. Boom. Vibration and fierce collision of magma. Taking advantage of the collision and their respective rebounds, Whitebeard turned his attention to Ace and Luffy again. In fact, with the strength of Ace and Luffy, it is completely enough to protect themselves, but Whitebeard, as Ace's father, can't help but care about Ace's safety tilde. However, at the very moment when he became a god, K9 Teeth and Fangs, underscore, accompanied by Seikezuki's low cry, the lava that billowed and exploded suddenly transformed twice. From the power of the explosion, a lava dog head suddenly drilled out. This lava dog head is different from the Fang Red Lotus, compared to the fierceness of the Fang Red Lotus. This lava dog head is much smaller. It's just that, although the dog's head is small, it is full of sinister aura. The dog's mouth was open, and the sharp canine teeth stretched out in a foul posture, as if they were two wild boar's tusks. Although the fangs and fangs are small in scale, they are better than surprise attacks. And it is hidden in the aftermath of the attack to carry out a second sneak attack. Just as Whitebeard shifted his attention to Ace at this time, he suddenly felt his mouth stagnate, the injury flared up, and a mouthful rushed towards his mouth. This is the moment. Observation Haki strong warning. Danger. Danger. He quickly turned his attention back to Akainu. But song was a bit late. Boom till the crack. 907. The fangs bit Whitebeard's face directly. Even though Whitebeard did the fastest evasion, he still got a smear. After all, he is really old. And seriously injured. K9 fangs tore through Whitebeard's left cheek, taking a chunk of charred flesh, and an entire ear. Although half of the face was not directly destroyed like in the original plot, the injury should not be underestimated. Definitely has a big impact on Whitebeard's combat effectiveness. Ah. Okay I knew, you boy. Because of a momentary negligence, Akainu was seriously injured, and Whitebeard was furious. He raged and hit Seikezuki directly on the head. Boom. Dash. The powerful shock exploded on Seikezuki's head, directly giving Seikezuki's brain 20 strokes. With a snap, blood flowed from Akainu's head, and after the power of Whitebeard's punch, he was directly blasted to the ground. Not only the tilde. When Whitebeard's punch, including Akainu's head, fell to the ground, 
The solid ground also exploded, rumble tilde. Naval headquarters collapsed in an instant, and Seikazuki was punched directly into the abyss. Chapter 203 Ace. This makes me look like a noob. Please subscribe. Say by the archipelago tilde. Hiss. Naval headquarters was knocked down by Whitebeard's punch. Ake Ainu Admiral was also thrown into the abyss by Whitebeard. Is this the most powerful man in the world? I have already paid so much attention to it. I didn't expect to beat Ake Ainu Admiral so violently. Don't brag. Didn't you see Whitebeard's head was cut off in half by Ake Ainu? Bah. Nima, can I order some billion? You just burned off the corner of your mouth and one ear and it turned into half a head in your mouth, your skin plus one near equals half a head, don't underestimate marine admiral, let alone four emperors, not to mention the most powerful man in the world, yes, even though Whitebeard is old and seriously ill, if anyone dares to underestimate him, it will end up like a Ainu, but judging from the situation, I'm afraid Whitebeard is about the same, hey, yes, watching the scene of Whitebeard fighting a Ainu, many people were filled with emotion, naval headquarters, Melindo Tilda, daddy, father, are you okay? Seeing the situation on Whitebeard's side, several captains shouted anxiously. However, they were all fighting at this time, so they couldn't come in time. You la 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 la, I can't die from this little injury. Whitebeard swung his sword and chopped off all the pirates in front of him. On the other side, Okiji returned to the defense extremely fast. Baby mouth, with his charge, his arm turned into a big frozen bird, and he threw himself at Ace and Luffy violently. Frozen burst, instantly soaring into the sky. Mirror flame, Ace stood directly in front of Luffy. His arms were like two flamethrowers, releasing a huge fire in an instant, blocking Okiji's flames. Boom. The ice burst and hot explosion instantly formed billowing white mist, soaring into the sky. Yo ho 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 ww, I'm chasing you again Tilda. Just when the two had just met each other, Brooks humming tune suddenly appeared in Okiji's ears. Next moment Tilda, the soul chain hit Okiji with a bang. The power of the fire of hell has an extremely restrained effect on Okiji, and Okiji will explode with a single chain. Ace, Luffy. You two block Kizaru and Sengoku respectively, buy me a little time, can you do it? At this time, Liu Olan looked at Ace and Luffy who were about to escape, and said, no problem. Luffy agreed without hesitation. As his most reliable partner, Luffy has no brains to trust Liu Olan in all his actions. As for Ace, although he wanted to escape here earlier so as to save the Whitebeard pirates from dying, but, since it was Liu Olan's request tilde, Ace has no reason to refuse. After all, his life was saved by others. Okay. I'll deal with Kizaru. Ace rushed to the front of Liu Olan in an instant and confronted Kizaru. Kizaru's face was stunned, and he suddenly had the idea of scolding his mother Tilda. Nima, didn't we agree to do our own thing? How the hell did you send this son to me? Special grammar drops. How can I act like this? Question mark. Hey, don't say I didn't think about you. After paddling for such a long time, you should show some effort to Sengoku, so that you can show that you are conscientious. After Liu Olan said a word, he rushed towards the execution platform. 11. I am Nima. God Nima thinks of me. Li Jiang Liu Olan's eight generations of ancestors have greeted him over and over again Tilda. But, letting Roger's son be my opponent, isn't it a little too much for Roger's son? Wu Tilda, you look very confident dot 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 but, that guy named Liu Olan seems to have made a mistake. Kizaru raised his eyebrows lightly, showing a playful smile. He will put water on Luffy, but it doesn't mean he will put water on Ace. After all, that man is the real eldest grandson of Mr. Gub while the one in front of him was just picked up. There is still a difference in essence. Wu Tilda you seem to have no idea about me Tilda. Ace also imitated Kizaru's way of speaking, and smiled. On land, I am the strongest Lodia. This word, although what he said is arrogant, as long as the premise is on land, not on a vehicle, then what Ace said is really true Tilda. After all, with the fire and dragon slaying magic, Ace's eating calendar can be said to be on the hook. Strongest Logia? Kizaru didn't want to listen now. How crazy. Call out. Kizaru's figure instantly disappeared from the spot. The next moment, his voice rang in Ace's ear. Have you ever tasted the feeling of being kicked by the speed of light? Although Ace has the ability of Logia, his two-color haki is not very strong, and his speed and reaction are only quite satisfactory. When he meets Kizaru, who is good at speed, he really has nothing to do! Exclamation mark. Ace was like a cannonball instantly blasting into the pile of rocks behind, exclamation mark. Seeing that Ace was blown away, Luffy's anger level instantly soared, boom, boom 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 boom, the heartbeat beats fast, forming a burst of free war drums tilde, rubber king snake whip, his arm stretched tens of meters, like a swimming python, it attacked Kizaru viciously, Wu tilde, I don't want to see that kind of weird ability, without hesitation, Kizaru immediately turned into a beam of light and shot to another place, Bato, Luffy's high level observation haki has already locked him tightly, even locked his landing point. When one arm attacked the position before Kizaru's evasion, the other arm also turned into a swimming black python, with the momentum of jingle bells, it was drawn to the position after Kizaru's evasion with a swipe! Exclamation mark. As soon as Kizaru landed, 
he saw a light and shadow coming. Not good. Kizaru's heart skipped a beat, and his observation Haki immediately sensed the danger. However, it was too late to hide. Boom. This seems to be a weak arm whip, but it is as powerful as it is hit. There was no cartoon scene like Sengoku. Kizaru just felt as if his body was hit by a meteorite falling from the sky. Although he has turned on elementalization, Luffy has also turned on advanced armament Haki. Because Ace was beaten up by Kizaru, Luffy was furious at this time, and directly filled up the two-color Haki tilde! Exclamation mark dash. Kizaru's figure also turned into a cannonball, and like Ace, it directly blasted into the ruins and disappeared tilde! Boom! On the other side, flames exploded and Ace jumped out of the rubble. Damn it. It's really stupid to use body skills to attack. Ace's face was full of anger, and he looked around for Kizaru angrily. Originally he thought that Kizaru would attack him with a laser beam. He was ready to show Kizaru a light flame dragon mode. I didn't expect that you didn't talk about Logia's virtue, but you actually fought Melee. Thinking of myself bragging in front of Liu Olan that Haiku can handle it one moment, and being kicked away by Kizaru the next moment. This is really embarrassing and embarrassing. However, when he wanted to look for Kizaru at this time, he looked around in amazement. Huh? Where is the person? As soon as the voice fell, I heard movement in the ruins on the other side Tilda. Woo Tilda, straw hat Luffy, your fist really hurts Tilda. Kizaru condensed from the ruins. He rubbed his belly, and a constipated expression appeared on his face. Hey Tilda, Luffy. Did you do it? Ace stared, horrified. Although Luffy is very powerful now, but Ace has not been seen much. Even just now, Luffy ran all the way to the execution platform, barely getting out of the way. That is, when he was on the execution platform. He only shot. I won't talk about the punch to Garp, it has no reference significance. The battle against Sengoku was amazing, but Ace thought it was the effect of Devil Fruit. But now, Lee's, kicked Kizaru away with a punch from Luffy. It's definitely not easy. You know, the yellow ape is light. When his speed is pulled up, he is already invincible. To meet Kizaru, you must first have the advanced observation Haki. Once this necessary condition is lacking, no matter how strong your fruit ability is, no matter how strong your armament Haki is, you still don't want to touch a single hair of others. Uh, such is the case. Mera Mera Fruit plus Fire Dragon Flame Flame Magic is enough to make him rank among the two level in this world tilde. But because of the loss of observation Haki, as long as Kizaru is determined to play speed with him, Ace has no chance of winning. Yes, Luffy nodded. Didn't he just hit him with a punch? Is there any doubt about that? Ah, uh, Ace didn't know what to say. He kicked me away, and then you knocked him away with one punch before I got up. This makes me seem like Rookie Tilda. Is this still the bad brother who never beat me in fights? Chapter 204 Liu Olan I'm planning to execute a person here, please subscribe, Straw Hat Luffy. Don't try to escape. Sengoku adjusted his posture in the air, and approached Luffy again. I don't want to run away at all. I want to hold you back for Liu Lan. Luffy is also upright, and the truth is out of a basket tilde. Hold me. Only then did Sengoku recall that what Liu Lan seemed to say to Luffy and Ace just now. What is that kid up to? Question mark. Subconsciously, Sengoku turned his head to look in Liu Lan's direction only to find that Liu Olan had already stood on the execution platform. Are you about to start? In the distance, the Empress Hancock, who was making soy sauce, saw this scene at this moment, and suddenly became excited with a thumping heart tilde. The reason why she agreed to help Liu Olan is to witness the next scene with her own eyes. In fact, even if Liu Olan and his gang were successfully brought in, Hancock still didn't fully believe that Liu Olan really dared to do that. However, even if the chance of Liu Olan doing this is only 10%, Hancock is willing to take a gamble. There is always a dream. What if it really happened Tilda? Here, little Millie, point the camera at me Tilda. Liu Olan raised his hands high and waved in the direction of the Golden Millie Palace. Little Millie heard her father's call, and immediately shot the camera of the video phone bug. Say buddy archipelago Tilda. Huh? Why give this person such a big close up? What is this for? Put the camera on Whitebeard. I want to see Whitebeard. Yeah, Whitebeard might die soon. Lozi wants to witness the end of the world's strongest man, cut back to me quickly. We want to see Whitebeard. Grandma, what happened to the little beauty on the live broadcast? Do you want us 573 to miss the end of Whitebeard? A group of melon-eating crowd saw that there was only a young man and the execution platform left in the camera, and they became anxious immediately. The deputy captain of the Straw Hat Pirates, Skillakamanap frowned, curious on his face. R. I heard that this guy is a cartoonist. The guy who offered a reward of 370 million is actually a cartoonist. Can you believe it? Question mark. Then Ace has already been rescued. Why did this guy return to the execution platform? What is he going to do? X. Drake stared at the big screen in bewilderment as Marine's undercover agent. He is very concerned about this battle, especially seeing the intensity of the naval headquarters battle at this moment. If it wasn't because his identity as an undercover agent was very important, he really wanted to participate in this battle. Kidustus opened his mouth wide. Ha ha ha. Although I don't know what he is going to do, but judging by his posture, there may be a big news. Kira on the side also said, 
Actually, compared to that straw hat Luffy, I think this Leo Lan is more like the backbone of the straw hat pirates. Even their captain, the straw hat Luffy, is helping him cover now. Tilda. Trafalgar rested his hands behind his head and said lightly, Although I haven't met him, I know a little bit about Liu Olan, who is in charge. He is not a guy who is good at mindless things. Capone Big took two puffs of his cigar. When I was able to retreat, I stepped onto the execution platform alone. There must be something to do, but I can't think of what it is. As far as the execution platform is concerned, that, Aik, must be the place where prisoners are executed. Could it be that? He wants to execute someone? Hawkins sat there manipulating the cards for a while and said with a confused face, those guys are nuts, who knows what they can do, the Gita jewelry Bonnie said in dissatisfaction while stuffing sausages into his mouth, after all, when she was in Sabadi Archipelago, she was so angry by Zoro and Liu Olan that her back hurt Tilda, naval headquarters, Marin for Tilda, hey, Ivy Batty, look over here, Liu Olan, who was already standing in the middle of the execution platform, suddenly yelled at the audience, his voice was broadcast through the advanced armament Harkis Harki, and it spread throughout the room in an instant. It was also transmitted to the ears of all the people who eat melons through the live broadcast on the big screen. With his roar, it seemed as if the war had been disconnected in an instant. Everyone was stunned for a moment, and reflexively turned their gazes to the top of the execution platform. Hello Tilda? Why are there still people there? What is that pirate going to do? Should he be executed instead of Ace? Everyone who was fighting looked at Liu Olan in bewilderment. Hey, listen to me. I'm here today originally to execute the only blood left by the former pirate king Goroja. This can be said to be a big event that shakes the times. Liu Olan spoke to everyone in an unhurried manner, as if giving a speech. Boy, what do you want to do? Seeing this, Sengoku was furious. Liu Olan ignored Sengoku, but continued, But, we have rescued Ace. The execution of Ace must be dirty. But the problem is, the execution scene that everyone was looking forward to is gone. Don't you feel disappointed? For this reason, I decided to execute a person here on this once in a lifetime stage. I will continue the excitement that everyone just lost. Wow. As soon as these words came out, the interest of the people who were watching the war was immediately aroused. Another execution. And this scene was chosen on purpose. Hey hey hey. It seems interesting. He actually wants to execute people at this time. He is really an incomprehensible guy. Kidustus grinned slightly, showing great interest on his face. R. Blah 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 is also laughing maniacally. In his opinion, at this time, of course, retreat should be the main priority tilde. To actually think of killing one's own enemy on the execution platform of naval headquarters, what an enmity it must be. By doing this, isn't it clear that you want to shit and pee on Marine's head? The person Marine wanted to execute was rescued by you and then you occupied the magpie's nest and used other people's place to execute your own enemies. This knee Matilda, who can bear it? Capone Big shook his head, I don't think it's necessarily an enemy, I think, if it's just an enemy, there's no need for him to mobilize so many people. It doesn't feel reasonable Tilda, etc. Suddenly, Jewelry Bonnie exclaimed, Err or Oosh, said angrily, Hey, you big stomach girl, what the hell are you doing? Hey Lozy jump, strange gun with tongue stretched out, that's right, I'm watching the live broadcast. What's the name of the ghost? Master Bonnie, what's on your mind? Trafalgar Law looked at Jewelry Bonnie suspiciously. He felt that a well-informed person like Jewelry Bonnie would not do this because of some so-called big event. Since he can exclaim in such a gaff, it is probably a really big event beyond everyone's expectations. I said, you big stomach girl, do you know something? Kidustas also looked at Jewelry Bonnie. Jewelry Bonnie's face changed for a while, and he murmured, I remember when I was in Sabadi Archipelago. That day, this Liu Ogang arrested a person. Although the scene of Liu Olan beating the Celestial Dragons was seen by many pirates, but not many people saw the scene where Liu Olan captured Charles Ross, and Jewelry Bonnie happened to be one of the witnesses. Afterwards, although it became a fact that Charles Ross was captured by Liu Olan, Marine and the world government did not make a big report on this matter. After all, this kind of thing can be said to be a shameful thing for the government of the world. Of course it has to be covered. What's more, once you open your mouth about some things, you will follow suit later. If the world knows that someone dares to capture Dan Long people, who can guarantee that no one will follow suit? You know, there are many lunatics who are not afraid of death, who was taken away. How could you make such a big stomached woman show such an expression? Seeing the panic on Jewelry Bonnie's face, Capone Big frowned. Ha ha ha, I'm curious too Tilda Kidustas laughed. Ex Derek's face was solemn, and he thought to himself, no way, as an undercover marine, of course he knows some inside information. After Dan Longrin was captured, he received a secret order from naval headquarters, asking him to pay attention to the movements of the Straw Hat Pirates, and to rescue Tan Longrin Charos Saint if he had the opportunity. He was shocked by the news at that time. Someone really dares to attack the Celestial Dragons. But seeing this scene now, he finally understood. It turned out that the other party was much more courageous than he imagined. 
Marine has prepared for the worst, waiting for news of the death of St. Charles Ross, but never expected maybe it would be the best news ever to hear that Charles Ross Saint's body was found somewhere. This madman, he wouldn't really dare to do that. Thinking of that terrible possibility, ex Derek subconsciously gritted his back molars, his heart was shocked. Chapter 205 St. Charles Ross, say your father's name. Please subscribe. Hey, tell me quickly, who did he arrest? Girls are really anxious to talk Tilda. Seeing Jewelry Bonnie hesitate to speak, Err or Uj urged them patiently. Be careful, my mother will tear your mouth apart. Jewelry Bonnie was not easy to mess with, and said angrily. However, she hesitated for a while and said, The day in the Sabadi archipelago, Liu Ogang ordered a celestial dragon. Hiss. Dash. As soon as this word came out Tilda, the people around all gasped suddenly. The air conditioning poured in, and even the back was frightened to be cold. Catch dot 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 take a dot 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 who? Ah, hello. Am I suddenly deaf? Catch the celestial dragon? Are you kidding me? This kind of joke is not allowed. This is the Sabadi archipelago. It could come to Marine Admiral any time. Hey, hey, it can't be true, right? For a moment, everyone around looked at Jewelry Bonnie with horror Tilda. Even the supernovas were all stunned by shock at this time. Captured a celestial dragon? Question mark. F. K. Tilda. It's outrageous that his dad opened the door for Ch and Ch is home. Ah no, it's not the most outrageous Tilda. The most outrageous thing is. The next thing this guy wants to do may be to execute a celestial dragon on the execution platform of naval headquarters in front of the whole world live broadcast Tilda. He was in MMAP Tilda. Is this crazy? Question mark. Calling him a lunatic is too flattering a lunatic. Naval headquarters. Marin for Tilda. I told her I'm going to execute a person here today to continue the rice that everyone took just now. As Liu Olan spoke, he reached into his pocket. Question mark. Everyone is fascinated. You say you want to execute someone, but what are you doing in your pocket? Are you going to execute someone bumped into your pocket? Seeing Liu Olan's actions, many people had such absurd thoughts. But the next moment, FK, almost everyone's reaction is the same Tilda. While everyone was stunned. Liu Olan actually took out a person from his pocket. The moment that person was taken out, like an inflated balloon, it suddenly enlarged to the size of a normal person. Who is this? Question mark. A dead fat paper? I thought some big person was going to be executed. I didn't expect it to be a little known little character. Who can tell me who this bastard is? I haven't seen it, and I haven't heard of it. At least it is certain that it is not a famous person. When St. Charles Ross appeared on the execution platform. Everyone's first reaction was, who the hell is this? Originally thought that Liu Olan was so inspiring, at least he was a well-known figure. But he made such a dead fat man, and the fat man seemed to be very weak, and everyone was immediately confused. Certainly, there are still people who know the goods. Say by the archipelago tilde. Oh. It turns out dot 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 it's true. Skilaki Manap looked at the guy who was picked up by Liu Olan with a shocked face, and the whole person was frightened into a full tilde. Kaponbug smoked his cigar violently, breathed out. I always thought that I was the craziest pirate, but I never thought that in front of Liu Olan, I would be like a good baby Tilda. Ha ha ha. Kidustus laughed. Hearing the laughter, Kaponbeg immediately looked at Kid fiercely, you're laughing. If you dare to do what Liu Olan did, you can laugh at Lozi again. Kid was not angry, but laughed at himself. Ha ha ha. If you say that, then I really don't have the right to laugh at you for the time being. Beating up the celestial dragons? He dared to do it if he went all out Tilda. Can kill the celestial dragon. Kid is not crazy to that point. Execution of Draconians on naval headquarters execution platform. Kid thought about it 10,000 times, and finally came to a conclusion. ATT. Liu Lan is the head of the family, he is really a role model for my generation. The posture of Trafalgar Law leaning back was even more exaggerated, and he said convincingly. Jewelry Bonnie gritted his teeth. Damn, they are really so bold. Apart from those people who are knowledgeable. The most knowledgeable people are those big names in naval headquarters. Although it is impossible for Marshal Marine and Admiral to remember the appearance of the Celestial Dragon, as the only Celestial Dragon who has been kidnapped for hundreds of years, Marshal Marine and Admiral naturally have a deep impression on the appearance of this guy. Pelusino's pupils widened, and his scalp felt numb Tilda. Nima. He remembered that when Liu Olan captured Charles Ross, he asked Liu Olan why he kidnapped Dan Long and Tilda. At that time, Liu Olan told Kizaru that he just wanted to kill Charles Ross Tilda. But Kizaru never dreamed that what Liu Olan said about killing him turned out to be like this. This is simply playing on the face of the world's official government. Hey hey hey. Okiji had just condensed into a solid body at this time, seeing such absurd scene, he opened his mouth wide in shock. What a bunch of lawless guys. Crane Vice Admiral's old face was full of unbelievable horror. Bastard, stop him. Sengoku shouted anxiously when he saw the big face of Charles Ross clearly. Wu Tilda, this must be stopped. Kizaru pursed his lips in a low voice and then fired laser beams at the same time with both hands. But when these laser beams reached the execution platform, they were blocked by an invisible barrier. Damn it, it's that ability again. Shaking his head annoyed, Kizaru gritted his teeth depressedly. Grandma, 
Lozi did his best tilde, double frozen time capsule. Okaji shot without hesitation, but just as he threw the extremely cold frozen ball in his hands, a ball of hell flames appeared in front of him. Yo ho 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 tilde don't try to mess with what our vice captain did tilde. The soul chain spun into a circular wall of flames in Brook's hands, immediately blocking the two frozen space time capsules. Buddha blaster. Underscore. Seeing that Admiral was restrained, Sengoku could only do it himself. He stepped into the void and appeared above Liu Olan, his right fist condensed a dazzling golden Buddha light. Ah ha ha tilde, ah ha ha ha. But at this moment, laughter like free drumming appeared behind his head. Exclamation mark. Sengoku suddenly felt bad. Boom, boom. Sengoku felt as if he had been hit hard by two hammers on the back of his head. And then, Luffy's two fists burst out of Sengoku's eye sockets. Ah. Underscore. Sengoku only felt that his eyes went dark, and he couldn't see anything again immediately. Even the shockwave of the Buddha's light in his hand dissipated. Ah this. Ace looked at the side with a confused face. He exclaimed, Luffy, this is also the ability of rubber fruit? Question mark. Ah ha ha This is the highest state I have developed so far, the fifth gear. Luffy said happily, and at the same time his fists stretched far away, and then turned back. Boom, boom. Two punches hit Sengoku in the stomach. No doubt Tilda. Sengoku's stomach was also pierced instantly. In this way, it is equivalent to Luffy connecting Sengoku's A's and belly with two arms tilde. More like two big locks, locked by Sengoku. Ah ha ha Invincible windmill. In this way, locking the victory with his arms, Luffy swung his two arms clockwise. Whoosh, 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 whoosh tilde. Whoosh, whoosh tilde. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Zero dot 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 seeking flowers. After a while, Luffy's arm turned into a helicopter propeller tilde. Sengoku was also forced to play the big turntable. On the execution stand tilde, Liu Olan took a look at the reactions of everyone at the scene tilde, except for some people in Sengoku and Marine Admiral who reacted strongly, others seemed to have little reaction. No, they didn't respond at all. Where is the problem? Liu Olan frowned tilde. The next moment, he suddenly opened his mouth. Ah, I remembered. Normal people can't recognize that Saint Charles Ross is a tan long person. Knowing what the problem was, Liu Lan immediately took out an air cover in his pocket. The moment the air cover leaves the pocket, it also becomes a model that fits the size of Charles Ross's head. Come on, wear this thing that symbolizes your identity tilde. As he said, Liu Lan put the air cover on the head of Saint Charles Ross. As the saying goes, people depend on clothes. The moment the good air cover clicked on the head of Saint Charles Ross, the aggressiveness of the tan long was revealed immediately. Ah. This, 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 this. Dot, my god, he apostrophe s dot 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 dragon. Yazu tilde, I said that he is so inspiring, it is impossible to execute an ordinary person. I thought he was going to execute some well known strong man, but I didn't expect him to be so bold that he wanted to execute the Tan Long people. Crazy, he must be crazy. Oh my god, there are people in this world who dare to attack the Tan Long people, and want to kill the Tan Long people? I must be dreaming. Where is this killing the Tan Long people? This is the execution of the Tan Long people in front of the whole world. This is of great significance. When people learned that the person who was about to be executed on the execution platform was Tan Long Ren, everyone immediately understood what the execution meant. Celestial dragons. That's a high creation. Descendants of the owner Tilda. In this world, even three-year-old children know that they cannot disobey any will of the heaven-defying dragon people. Even if that decree is for you to gnaw on your own swallow, you can't disobey it. This is the status of Tan Long people in this world. After hundreds of years of brainwashing and deterrence, no one has doubted this Iron Law Tilda. No one will have the idea of wanting to attack the Tan Long Ren Tilda. Even if it was the lawless Chlun army, they didn't have the audacity to kill the Tan Long people. But now, if a celestial dragon is executed in front of the whole world, what does that mean? Question mark. This means that, the position of the high and irreversible god of the Tan Long people will collapse in an instant. Everyone will realize that. Ah. It turns out that Dan Long people can also be killed. It turns out that the so-called gods are actually the same as us. They will die if they lose their heads tilde. It turns out that killing the Tan Long people is not difficult in itself. The difficulty is that no one dares to take that step. In the midst of such a shock that shocked the world. On the execution stand, Liu Lan kicked Charles Ross on the heel, kicking him to his knees on the ground. The cold air dissipated and condensed into a frozen blade in Liu Lan's hands. Liu Lan put the frozen blade on St. Charles Ross's neck, and asked loudly, Saint Charles Ross, tell me your father's been name. As soon as this word came out Tilda, the whole world is in an uproar. I go Tilda, is this guy so dark? Everyone remembers that before the summit war started, Sengoku questioned Ace loudly and shouted Ace, say your father's name, to Ace Tilda. And now, Liu Olan is shouting the same words to Charles Ross Tilda. I have to say, this Liu Olan, it's really a slap in the face Tilda. Killing is killing one's heart Tilda. Chapter 206 Long, I was short-sighted at the time. Please subscribe. Holy Land. Mary E. Joy's Tilda. Ross Wild Street's Mansion Tilda. Abe. St. Ross Wild jumped up from the sofa at once. Ever since his son was kidnapped, 
he's been having a party, in his opinion, his son has been killed by those untouchables with a high probability, and now he is waiting for when to catch this untouchable murderer and let him vent his anger. Although the summit war can be said to have attracted worldwide attention, few Tan Long people cared about this war at all. Human life is not even as important as numbers to them tilde, at least, when the number represents the number of boutique slaves, it can make them feel happy, and human life, they don't care at all. Street Ross Wilde actually didn't care about summit war either, but he was watching the real-time situation of summit war through the big screen in front of him. The reason is very simple, because when the war was in full swing, someone called Ross Wilde Street, telling him that the murderer who took his son also appeared in the headquarters of the sea house. As a celestial dragon, Ross Wilde Street's mansion has a live phone bug on the scale of a home live theater. Immediately, he asked someone to switch over the live broadcast signal. But what he never expected was that he actually saw this lawless untouchable going to execute his son live on the execution platform of naval headquarters. No, do not want. 700 come quickly. Call Marshal Marine immediately and ask him to protect my son's life no matter what. Street Ross Wilde couldn't hold back anymore, and immediately yelled at the servant. The servant was so scared that he hurried to find the phone bug. Pongal Castle Tilda, Office of the Five Elders Tilda, Arsal, D.A. Lao Xing slammed the table and stood up in a jerk, clatter Tilda, the solid marble tabletop was full of cracks for a moment, and exploded with a bang, the expressions of the other veteran stars also changed drastically, this guy is crazy, damn, this is definitely a lunatic who is more ferocious than rocks and monkey dragons, don't let him succeed, otherwise, the status of Tan Long people will be shaken, notify the CPO immediately, the primary target is still Monkey D. Luffy, and the second is this Luo Lan, both of them must die. With the wrath of the five elders, the order was passed to the CPO who was on his way to naval headquarters. Naval headquarters, Marin for Tilda. Ah, you untouchables, I am Charles Ross Saint. My dad is Ross Wild Saint. Come and save me, I can give him 500 million. Oh no, 1 billion Baileys. Under Luo Lan's stern shout, Charles Ross howled hysterically towards the front. After being captured by Luo Lan for so many days, he has been kept in the dark ship bilge of curry. He thought that he would never have the chance to see the sun again, but now he saw that he was actually at the scene of naval headquarters, and his heart to survive was activated at once. Everyone was stunned when Charles Ross reported himself at home. He, 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 really a celestial dragon. Saint Charles Ross, Street Ross Wild, the names of these two Dan Long people, I have an impression. Their family often goes to the auction in Saibadi, Islands. Oh my god, this pirate. He actually wants to execute a celestial dragon. This lunatic, how dare he? It's over. This revolving heaven is about to collapse. I'm afraid there will be no peace on the sea for a long time. Damn bastard. If he does this, we other pirates will also be affected Tilda. All over the world, people in front of the big screen are dumbfounded Tilda. No one can imagine that someone dares to attack the Tan Long Run. New World, Baldigo Island Tilda. In front of a temporary large live broadcast screen, the leader of the Revolutionary Army, Monkey Dlong, was standing here. He looked at Liu Olan in the picture, and his heart was shocked. When he first saw Liu Olan in Rotan, he knew that his son was definitely not in the pool, but looking at the scene in front of him now, he admits that his vision was still short-sighted. This is definitely not something in the pool Tilda. This is simply an existence that doesn't even look down on the world. Boss, this person is too bold. Kadahaku exclaimed with a face full of brazenness. On the other side, Sabo said with admiration, it's amazing. It's also a young man. They have already stood on the world stage and beheaded Tan Longren, but I have never experienced a real war. Sabo, it was the draconian's boat that fired at you and you fell into the water and lost your memory. Now I see the draconian beheaded, I'm so happy for you Tilda. The smaller Goala stood behind Sabo and said in a low voice, Wow Tilda, we East Blue actually have such a little guy from G Village Tilda. Bello Betty pulled down the sunglasses, and carefully looked at the figure of Liu Olan on the big screen with eyes whose eyelashes were brushed like steel needles. As the commander of the Eastern Army of the Revolutionary Army, Bello Betty has been stationed in East Blue, leading the uprising of the suffering people. This time, she happened to have something to discuss with Monkey Dlong, and she did not expect to witness the live broadcast at the headquarters of the Revolutionary Army. Hey, Bello Betty, don't mind hitting me. He's a young man. Look at what you said, isn't it appropriate for our Eastern Army commander to be this young man's big sister Tilda? Wipe, there is a picture. Ah ha ha ha. Behind Bello Betty, several important figures of the Revolutionary Army suddenly started joking. Bello Betty is not angry either. Her character is carefree, otherwise her subordinates would not dare to make such nasty jokes Tilda. Among the red pies, the toothpick was lightly bitten, and the corner of Bello Betty's mouth curled up. If there is a chance, I should touch it. Naval Headquarters, Melindo Tilda. Where's Marine Admiral? Where's Marine Admiral? Question mark. Come and save me. St. Charles Ross is like a happy pig staying there, fighting and howling nonstop. He looked at the Marines below and yelled, If I lose a hair, my dad will not I will forgive you. Question mark. Hearing this. Liu Lan murmured, 
If you want to lose a single hair, your father won't let Marine go. That's great. Immediately, Luo Lan grabbed Charles Ross's hair and pulled it hard. Tilda, rush. A lock of hair was torn off immediately, and blood dripped from the scalp. Tilda, FK. This man is so brave. This time, he completely offended the Tan Long people to death. Here, the Tan Long people should be watching too, right? The dead fat pig just said that as long as I let him lose a hair, his father will not let Marine go. He only has one last wish. What is it called? Saint Ross Wild. Don't disappoint your son's last wish Tilda. Liu Olan looked in the direction of Little Melly's live broadcast camera, and threw a lock of St. Charles Ross's hair off the execution platform. Puff exclamation mark. As soon as these words came out, Marine present at the scene spurted a mouthful of blood Tilda. Nima. What hatred, what resentment. Okay, everyone has heard that this dead fat pig, St. Charles Ross, is undoubtedly a Tanlong person, so after verifying his identity, he will be officially executed now. As he spoke. Liu Olan twitched his fingers tilde. The frozen blade in his hand was automatically suspended above the neck of St. Charles Ross. Stop. Liu Olan. I'm going to kill him. I can make you all escape. Seeing that he couldn't pass Luffy's blocking, Sengoku shouted anxiously to Liu Olan. Boy, if you really do it, the consequences will be more serious than you imagined. Crane Vice Admiral also hurriedly warned with embellishments. Hey, hey, little brother Liu Olan, you have to think carefully. Kizaru. As the one who watched Liu Olan take Charles Ross away from him in Seiba the Archipelago, hurriedly persuaded him at this time. What are you thinking? You are all people with superior IQs. Do you think I am joking? Faced with the pressure from all sides, Liu Olan just smiled lightly. Do you want to know why I killed him? You say. Sengoku quickly answered. After all, talking can delay time. Even if it's just stalling for time, it's better than seeing St. Charles Ross killed immediately. Liu Olan said, that day. In the Seibadi Archipelago, two people were carrying a stretcher to take a seriously injured person to the hospital, and they happened to meet this dead fat pig. The dead fat pig felt that someone was blocking his way, so he went the patient was shot dead. Sengoku frowned, is there a problem with this? Stoloberry Vice Admiral also said, yes, anyone knows that when you see a celestial dragon, you should immediately kneel beside them. Since these people are in the way, it's okay for the celestial dragon to kill him. Although I sympathize with the wounded person, it is not a problem for the Tanlong people to kill a civilian. Crane Vice Admiral said in a deep voice. Exclamation mark. Hearing the words of these marine executives, Liu Olan immediately angrily interrupted their high-spirited talk. He pointed at Sengoku. You don't think there is a problem, it's just because you volunteered to be the dog of the dragon man. Ah. Dash. Sengoku's old face flushed suddenly and his breathing accelerated. I almost passed out in one breath tilde. Presumptuous. Bastard. What are you talking about? I really don't know what to do. The marine executives were furious. Liu Lan sneered, and then said, Let me ask you again, do the civilians think this is all right? 4.8. Nonsense. Common people dare to complain. Ghost Spider Vice Admiral Lord. Well said. How dare common people complain? Liu Lan smiled coldly. He looked at the ghost spider with cold eyes. You use the word dare very well. You use it right. Civilians don't dare to complain. That's because they are suppressed by you lackeys of the Tanlong people. Whoever dares to complain. The Tanlong people will send you obedient dogs to kill those civilians. In the long run, which commoner dares to complain? Liu Olan's words directly angered all the hawkish marines. It also stabs the heart of the dove marine. Damn it. This person. Why tell the truth? At this time, the people in front of the big screen were deeply shocked by Liu Ogang's words. Yeah Tilda, have we no complaints? We dare not complain. If we have the strength not to be afraid of Marine, see if we dare to complain. For a while Tilda, whether it is a commoner or a pirate, a flame ignited in their hearts instantly. Kill him, kill him, kill this draconian. Chapter 207 The whole world shouts, kill! Exclamation mark please subscribe. Liu Olan, stop fooling around here. Sengoku yelled anxiously, he accused angrily. Dragon people are the descendants of the creator of this world, their current power and status are what they deserve. No one can disobey the heaven-defying dragon people, this is three years old even kids know it. Oh? Really? How about, let's hear what the person has to say. Liu Olan curled his lips, then stretched out his hand, grabbed the other half of Charles Ross's hair, lifted him up suddenly, and asked in a cold voice, Fat pig, tell me, you killed someone, I should shouldn't you pay for your life? Life for a life? Question mark. Hearing this. Charles Ross is full of question marks, I am a son of heavenly dragon, you ask me this kind of question, immediately, he was furious, how is that possible, you untouchables, I'm Saint Charles Ross from the celestial dragon, snapped, as soon as his words fell, Liu Olan slapped him in the face with a big fight, suddenly, he was slapped with gold stars in his eyes, tuzzled, tilde, the entire battlefield resounded with the sound of gasping for air, this Nima, live broadcasting a big fight to the Tanlong people, this is more than killing the Tanlong people tilde, give you another chance, 
Do you want to pay for your life if you kill someone? Liu Olan was as indifferent as iron, holding the head of St. Charles Ross, and asked coldly. Charles Ross was very stubborn in his heart and wanted to reply, but the fat pig face that was torn in pain made him dare not disobey Liu Olan's questioning. He is not a fool, of course he knows that if his next answer dares to disobey Liu Olan's intentions, Liu Olan's big pussy will call him in the face without hesitation. After hesitating for a while, he could only speak timidly, yes, snapped. Oh eight Liu Olan went up again with a big push, and asked fiercely, say it clearly, what do you want to kill someone? With another slap, Charles Ross felt that his head was about to explode, and the severe pain shook his brain instantly, making him dizzy and nauseous, extremely uncomfortable. But he didn't care about the pain, and hurriedly howled, ah, killing people will pay for their lives, killing people will pay for their lives. Liu Olan casually let go of Charles Ross's hair, and then looked at Sengoku, did you hear that? Even your master understands the simple truth of kill for life, but you old dog is still shameless hard spoken? Question mark. Listening to Liu Olan talking about an old dog, Sengoku is so angry. Blood pressure sores. Shut up. That's what he said because of your intimidation. Sengoku raged. He he tilde. A disdainful laugh came from Liu Olan, and he looked at the camera of the live phone bug. Could it be that the civilians who are watching the live broadcast are afraid of the Tanlong people because they are threatened by you big wolf dogs called marines? Question mark. The expression of marine who was present suddenly changed tilde, especially some young marine soldiers, listening to Liu Olan's questions at this time. This kind of mental torture made me feel a burst of blush. Yes, why do even three-year-olds know that they cannot disobey the will of the heaven-defying dragon people? Question mark. Was it also like this when the draconians first appeared? Obviously, anyone with a little intelligence should understand. No. But why is everyone afraid to disobey the heaven-defying dragon people now? Undoubtedly. It is because of all these years, as long as there are heaven-defying dragonmen, marine will destroy them with thunder. If things go on like this, where can there be stupids who disobey the heaven-defying dragon people? You, Sengoku directly degenerated from the Buddha form to the appearance of an ordinary human being. He covered his heart with his hands and was panting. I wanted to say something, but Liu Olan cut it off. Shut up, Sengoku, you old dog. Twenty years ago, the scholars of Ohara were detained by the world government because they accidentally learned something about the dirty and ugly side of the world government 800 years ago during the archaeological process. The black pot that endangers the world. With the order of the world government, you, an old dog who was still marine admiral at the time, issued a buster call to Ohara without hesitation. What's wrong with those scholars? They just want archaeology. Take a step back. Even if those scholars endanger the rule of the world government, then the world government has a reason to kill them. Whether this reason is correct or not, at least there is a reason. But, you old dog, please tell me. Ordinary residents of Ohara, what's wrong with them? Just because they were afraid that an archaeologist would get mixed up among them, they counted all the hundreds of thousands of people in Ohara kill? Question mark. Speaking of deterring by force, you, an old dog on a horse deserves to say this in front of me? Question mark. Perhaps out of emotion, Liu Lan almost roared and questioned Sengoku fiercely. F. It's not questioning, it's contempt. Yes. Rebuke. On the deck of the Golden Mary, Nick Robin was trembling tilde. The slender palm covered the red lips, and the tears poured out of the eyes uncontrollably. This stinky brother. Is he trying to stand up for me? Well, yes, it must be. Ohara is Robin's heart knot and the indelible pain in Robin's life. However, at this moment, Robin clarified the demon theory for Ohara in front of the live broadcast all over the world, and even exposed what Marine did. It also exposed all the smearing behaviors of the government of the world. It can be said, all the resentment and hatred of Nico Robin are completely released at this moment with Liu Olan's words. Dot. You do this for me, what should I do to repay you? And at this time, Liu Olan seemed to have a telepathy, and turned his attention to Robin Tilda, and then went on. There is a person, there's a little girl. At the age of eight, I witnessed the total destruction of my hometown under Buster Call. She obviously doesn't know anything, and she hasn't done anything bad. Maybe God favored her and let her survive. But what did the government of the world do? But what did Marine do? The government of the world accused her of being a son of the devil. Marine is hunting her endlessly. You know, she is just a little girl who is only eight years old. She is pure white like a piece of paper. She should have lived a carefree childhood tilde. But who is going to tell me? Who knows everything about her? Who the hell ruined the lives of hundreds of thousands of innocent Ohara people? Liu Olan's words directly shocked everyone present. Not only the pirates, even many marines are clenching their fists at this time. Damn it, that girl is innocent. Those Ohara residents who were wiped out by Buster Call are also innocent. A pirate stabbed the big knife in his hand into the ground vigorously, and roared, made, damn marine. They are the lackeys of the Danlong people and the cold-faced executioners. Another pirate yelled. It's the goddamn world government that ruined everything for them. So many innocent lives. Said that we pirates kill people. On horseback, Marine killed more innocent people at one time than all of us have killed in several lifetimes combined. Ha ha ha. Still representing justice? 
FKF King Justice, bar, looking at the word justice on Marines cloak now, it's really disgusting. The pirates cursed angrily, some Marines who were fighting against the pirates just now, because they were relatively close to the pirates, heard the pirates cursing and taunting, and they were all ashamed and their faces were hot. They get scolded and by rage, but it seems that there is nothing wrong with others scolding. R can only be incompetent and furious. In front of the big screens of each live broadcast tilde, ugly marine, disgusting world government, killing so many innocent civilians, you still have to slander them as a demon that endangers the world. You are as shameless as you are. It's really vicious. I don't even want to let go of the only 8-year-old girl. Yeah, what can an 8-year-old girl know? It's not human to be chasing endlessly. Thanks to this warrior, let me see the ugly side of the world government and marine naval headquarters, on the scaffold. As soon as Liu Olan raised his head, he turned his gaze to the camera on the live call. With a strong rhetorical tone, he said loudly, those who are watching this battle, if you still have a little conscience, Please tell me, this Dan Long who killed innocent civilians dot 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 I kill is it not to kill? Exclamation mark. Ah, Sengoku's face turned pale immediately. Unique and unique tilde. The five elders of Mary E. Joys are also shocked. They looked at Liu Olan at this time, full of fear. 89. This young man is horrible. In just a short time, he may change the whole world's perception. Really? Just like Sengoku and five elders worried about 853 tilde. Kill. On the deck of going Mary. Nico Robin seemed to melt the hatred accumulated for so many years into one breath, screaming with all his strength Tilda. This sound is like the beginning of a symphony Tilda. It's like a pebble thrown into the lake Tilda. There was an uproar in an instant. Kill. A bearded pirate gritted his teeth and roared. Kill. Another pirate with a red turban also trembled with anger. Kill. 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 When one pirate after another shouted out the anger in their hearts, finally these voices turned into a uniform kill. Hash. Some conscientious marines clenched their fists and muttered softly kill, certainly, dot. This is just a small scene. The real big scene is in front of the big screens all over the world. At this time, those marine intelligence personnel were all pale with fright, sweating profusely tilde, because every, in front of a big screen, everyone watching this war deserves to be doing the same thing. That is shouting in unison dot 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 kill. I heard the voice of the people tilde. Liu Olan looks at the camera and Vivi smiles, and points to the camera with his left hand to show that it is helpful tilde. Afterwards, he picked up the frozen blade and held it up high. You dare, stop, don't do anything stupid. Almost all the senior executives of Marine screamed sharply as if they had been stepped on their tails. However, Liu Olan doesn't like them at all, Tilda. The icy frozen blade crashed down. A big head flew out from Charles Ross Saint's neck, Tilda. Blood dripped down the frozen blade, and the dense cold mist seemed to be the cold air from Jiu to take away this unforgivable beast. Wow, this knife goes down. The whole world exploded. Chapter 208 starting from a supernova. Arouse the heart of hunting celestial dragons. Please subscribe. Eyeing when Charles Ross Saint's head flew out, the blood of all the people in the world was ignited at this moment. Three dollars. Almost all the civilians clenched their fists vigorously at this moment, moved forward, and roared. It's so exciting. That head is the head of a celestial dragon. It's a celestial dragon. Before this, no one had ever imagined this kind of picture. But the moment Liu Olan just swung the knife, the intensity of people's desire to see the Tan Long people beheaded was raised to an unprecedented level. Now, when all this becomes a reality, when they really saw a celestial dragon being beheaded with their own eyes, dot 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 the barrier above their head seemed to be smashed instantly. Celestial dragons are not impossible to kill, as long as you are strong enough. Celestial dragons are nothing the so-called descendant of God. Look at the appearance of Saint Charles Ross just now Tilda. Feeling scared, he will cry and beg for mercy. If he is hurt, he will flatter him Tilda Tan Long Run. It's just an ordinary person wearing luxurious clothes. This kind of passionate and boiling emotion, like a prairie fire quickly burned all over the island, say by the archipelago Tilda, I convince him, Aero Oosh dropped the huge pencil on the ground and raised his finger to the big screen, ha 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 ha, it's crazy, it's crazy, Kidusta's eyes were filled with ferocity, and he slapped himself hard, in the next moment, bloodthirsty cruelty welled up in his eyes, I'm going to become the pirate king, if I'm not even as good as someone else's vice captain, what qualifications do I have to pursue the throne of the pirate king, listen to me, suddenly, his whole body was shaken, and his ferocious aura radiated, his eyes swept around fiercely, and then he pointed his thumb inward, and he could only point to himself, I, Kidustas, I want to kill the Dan Long Run. Tilda dot tilda is. When the surrounding crowd heard this, they all turned pale with fright. Although someone has already done this thing just now, but the meaning is on the big screen. But now, there is a person in front of them brazenly saying that he wants to kill the Tan Long people. Some timid pirates and civilians immediately sneaked away. They are afraid of being implicated Tilda. Ha Tilda Skilichmanap's pupils widened slightly, and then he showed a strange expression. You are so kind. I am looking forward to seeing your scene on the news Tilda FRQ. Capone big twitched the corner of his mouth, wanting to say something, 
but finally held back. He admits dot 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 he doesn't have the guts to touch the celestial dragon, and he can't even announce such a thing. The impact of Liu Olan's knife is really too great. It seems that the world is really going to be chaotic. Jewelry Bonnie gritted his teeth and said solemnly, for a pirate like her, she still prefers a relatively relaxed sea situation. Once the government of the world turns its anger on the pirates because of the execution of the Tanlong people. Dot 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 then the future life of the pirates will definitely not be so easy. You girl with a big stomach, don't be so stupid. It's fun to mess up. Ha ha ha. Kidustus glanced at Jewelry Bonnie with serious eyes, and then he looked at Trafalgar Law. Hey, the one who gave the injection. It looks like you're being cowardly. Kid and Trafalgar Law met in the auction house before. The two even choked on each other. Now Kidustus uttered wild words. Of course, don't forget to provoke this opponent. What's the use of speaking loudly? Trafalgar Law gave Kid a middle finger, slightly twitching the corner of his mouth, and said with a sneer, Why don't you make a Batilda? Let's see who kills the next Dan Longrin first. Ha 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 ha. Kidustus looked up to the sky and laughed. Okay, not only will I kill the celestial dragons before you, but I will kill more than you. Not far away, Hawkins kept moving in front of him Cartilda for a long while. He frowned. It's weird. No matter how you calculate it, this Liu Olan's death rate is 0%. Baldigo Island Tilda. Really? Really killed? If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I would definitely think that this person is a lunatic. But seeing this scene with my own eyes, not only is he not a lunatic, but he is still a super sober person. Yes, what he said just now has a profound meaning. I have only heard similar words from the mouth of the leader before. It would be great if he was not a pirate, but the revolutionary army. In that case, our revolutionary army would have an extra mainstay. This man, his thinking is comparable to cuteness. A group of carders of the revolutionary army praised and flattered Liu Olan without hesitation. Tilda but monkeyed was shaken shaking his head. Tilda seeing this, Hakka quickly smoothed things over and said, you idiots, that Liu Olan kid is just a pirate after all, how can he compare with the leader? Everyone saw Hakka winking, one by one quickly changed their style of painting, and flattered the dragon instead. But Monkey Dlong said, no, I mean, this person is more like a savior than me! Exclamation mark Although the dragon has saved many people, when he saw the shock that Liu Olan's execution just now brought to the world, he had to admit Tilda now this sea is like a terminally ill body, and his monkey dragon's method is only to treat this remnant body step by step. However, a serious illness should be treated with strong medicine. Liu Olan's behavior just now is undoubtedly a strong medicine! Exclamation mark. When this strong medicine is applied, the remnant body will be stimulated immediately Tilda those abandoned tissues and skins, even the corners and corners, are all given by De Zhao. This strong medicine it has spread just by feeling the reactions of the people around him. Monkey Long can clearly realize how strong this guy's influence on the world is. Ah Tilda, when everyone heard Long's words, their faces were filled with embarrassment. Tilda good guy. Our flattery was directly photographed by the horse. Dot 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 holy land. Mary E. Joy's Tilda. R. R. Ah, damn, damn. He threw and smashed things indiscriminately. His old eyes were extremely red at this moment. He stared at Liu Olan on the big screen, pointed his finger at him fiercely, and let out a ferocious roar. This man dot 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 must die. Chapter 209 The Last, Captain's Order, Please Subscribe, Naval Headquarters, Marin for Tilda. That figure that fascinated the world, her beautiful eyes trembled at this time, and crystal tears rolled in her eye sockets Tilda. He dot 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 he he dot 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 really effed. Even when he saw Liu Olan beheading the celestial dragon with his own eyes, Hancock still couldn't believe it Tilda. Thought I was dreaming. The slender fingers pinched his face hard Tilda. Hiss. The real pain tells Hancock that all this is definitely not fake. The exhilaration of the knife just now directly stimulated Hancock's heart. It was a thrill like never before. She wished that the knife was done by herself. But anyway, there is the whole nine snakes silent behind her. She can't reach the level of Liu Ogang in the public Tilda. But what she wanted to do but could never do, Liu Olan did it in front of her Tilda. And currently there is only Liu Olan who can do this. Others dare not even mention it. Hancock looked at the figure standing on the execution platform, as if she was gently grasped by an invisible hand in the depths of her heart. Make her heart pound. That's how people are. What you want to do so much but can't be done, someone has done it for you. Then you will have bond transfer Tilda. The more arrogant and arrogant a person is, the more obvious this situation will be. As for Hancock, a goddess who is extremely cold and arrogant, this kind of fetter transfer will also be extremely strong. At this time, Hancock looked at Liu Olan with a special feeling. It's not called love, but it's something like. It is more like an autonomous feeling of being moved and conquered. This may sound a little out of place, but don't forget, for a person like Hancock, there is absolutely no such thing as step by step emotionally. Her emotion is cold and arrogant. If there is a singularity, it will only be a sudden intrusion. This moment, there is a man who broke in and conquered. Ever Tilda. Hancock's fear of Tan Long people in his heart was also melted a lot at this moment Tilda. She even fantasized in her mind, 
The scene where she personally killed the celestial dragon who had enslaved her. Can this wish come true Tilda? If he will help me. Thinking of this, Hancock's breathing became heavy Tilda. The other side Tilda. Sengok looked at the head that rolled down from the execution platform. He was dumbfounded. On an old face, full of horror. Since he became the 350th floor of Marine, he has dealt with countless wonderful incidents. But he has never touched this kind of thing before. He doesn't know what to do Tilda. There must be a limit to lawlessness. Crane Vice Admiral's old face is serious and his face, like a dead tree branch, is full of anger. Not far behind her, Murmousagi Vice Admiral opened his mouth wide, and still said, this is really a stab. Woo Tilda, is it true that nothing can scare him Tilda? Kizaru looked at the figure standing proudly on the execution platform, holding a frozen blade, and suddenly realized that this guy who had fought against him twice might be the guy who would change the world. Okiji looked cold and lost in thought. Nico Robin's partner, can do this for her Tilda. No wonder she can swear so definitely that she will never betray this time. But. Such a partner is too crazy, as almost the only existence that can translate historical texts, coupled with such a partner, Nico Robin and the others may disrupt the world in the future. That Liu Olan guy, on another battlefield, Smoker gritted his teeth and shouted, but his hands are tightly held Tilda. It doesn't look like anger, but it seems to be the same reaction as those civilians. Hey, Smoker, don't be so obvious, it will get you in trouble. He now appeared next to Smoker and reminded in a low voice. But Smoker said disdainfully, Lozi is too lazy to care so much. I just say it's a good job. Who knows what I'm talking about? Hina was speechless. She turned her gaze to Liu Olan on the execution platform. This guy. But since she grew up, the only man who has ever played her skin drum. Speaking of which, Hina thought in her heart that she must catch Liu Olan with her own hands. B. What Hina wants is to tighten Liu Olan into the deep sea prison and accept Marine's execution. No. Whether Hina wants to admit it or not. She never had such a thought. What she wanted was to catch Liu Lan with her own hands. As for how to deal with Liu Lan in the future, Hina hasn't figured it out yet. Whitebeard immediately slashed his knife, looking at the smashed Dan Longren's head when it fell from the execution platform to the ground. He suddenly looked up to the sky and laughed. Gula la la la, Liu Lan boy. Dot 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 dot. I have never seen a brat as brave as you in my life. This trip today is really worthwhile. It's true that newborn calves are not afraid of tiger's tilde. On the side. Marco was also shocked from ear to ear. Sengoku was dumbfounded for a short time, and immediately shouted, All Marines obey orders. Kill Pirate Arashi at all costs. This time Five Elders will definitely blame him severely. If Liu Olan can be killed now, the anger of Five Elders will be much smaller Tilda. Saying that, Sengoku was about to rush towards Liu Olan immediately, but Luffy punched him in the stomach and pulled him back. Both Kizaru and Okiji were pinned down and couldn't make a move on Liu Olan. A total of four Shikai Bukai came Tilda. Do Flamingo is lying on the ground now Tilda. The battle between Hawkeye and Zora is inextricably linked. Bartholomew Kimai had just escaped from Nami's maze and was sniped by Usopp from a distance. Not only that, Nami also used thunder. Wind and fire cards to attack Bartholomew Kima. As for Hancock, now who dares to let her deal with Liu Olan, whose mouth can cheat her? The heavy task of sniping Liu Olan naturally fell on the naval headquarters vice admiral team. I'm going to the right, vice admiral. The ghost spider leapt to the high platform. I'm going to the left. Stolo Berry, vice admiral, followed suit. I'm attacking the front, vice admiral. The flying squirrel took up the heavy responsibility in the middle. All three are veteran vice admirals of naval headquarters, and they all have the strength of great swordsmen. The three of them shot at the same time, and in a short time, they were enough to defeat Admiral Tilda. It's just that what they met was Liu Olan. The number of people has no effect on Liu Olan. With one step, Liu Olan disappeared instantly. Where did it go? Vice Admiral, the flying squirrel who was in charge of attacking the front, immediately turned pale. Although his observation Haki is also very strong, but it is still not enough to capture the trajectory of Liu Olan Tilda. No, watch out behind you. The ghost spider vice admiral also failed to capture Liu Olan's trajectory, but when he looked at the flying squirrel vice admiral, he saw that Liu Olan had already appeared there. Ever taste what it's like to be kicked faster than the speed of light? For some reason, Liu Olan couldn't help saying such lines as soon as he raised his leg. As soon as he finished speaking, his kick landed on the Flying Squirrel Vice Admiral. Flying Squirrel Vice Admiral seemed to have disappeared out of thin air, it was gone. Boom. Dash. Almost at the same time, a violent roar erupted from the ground below the execution platform. Gravel flies up, smoke and dust disperse Tilda. When all the dust settled, I saw the Flying Squirrel Vice Admiral lying down in a deep pit full of rubble. Damn. How could he be so fast? Stolo Berry Vice Admiral suddenly shrank his eyes and said in horror. But as soon as he finished speaking, his heart was suddenly shocked, because Liu Olan's figure has disappeared Tilda. T3. As soon as he felt such vigilance in his heart, Liu Olan kicked him one by one. Boom. Stolo Berry Vice Admiral also disappeared in place, and then saw a hole exploded in the wall of the Marine base building far behind the execution platform. In the cave, 
Stoloberry Vice Admiral is inlaid in it tilde. Coincidentally, this location is exactly the location of the word army in the two marine characters on the wall of the naval headquarters building. Huh? It's a coincidence tilde, Liu Olao muttered, and his figure disappeared again. Exclamation mark. The ghost spider Vice Admiral found that Liu Olan disappeared, and his hair stood on end. He desperately used observation haki to search for Liu Olan's position, but, Ace, couldn't find Liu Olan's track anyway. Boom. Dash, Liu Olan's kick appeared and the ghost spider was inside the wall of the headquarters building tilde. Undoubtedly, the position of his inlay is the official word in the word marine. This time it's not a coincidence, but from Liu Olan's sudden playfulness tilde, Sengoku, it seems you can't keep me today. After finishing the three vice admirals, Liu Ogang did not forget to provoke Sengoku. Afterwards, he stepped down and jumped off the execution platform, looked at Luffy and Ace, and said, Get out, I'll kill you. Good. Luffy didn't talk nonsense, cancelled the fifth gear, fell directly to the ground, and greeted Ace, let's go, what, Ace was taken aback, FK tilde, what about my brother, as the captain, he left the deputy captain and ran first, question mark, he was suddenly furious, Luffy, how can you leave Liu Olan and run away alone, hot Hilda, hearing this, Luffy was stunned, afterwards, he scratched his head, Ace, what are you thinking, we just need to cooperate with Liu Olan's decision, you can absolutely trust Bao Liu oh. saying that, Luffy pulled Ace and ran away, Ace was stunned again, and he immediately looked in Liu Olan's direction. But he saw Liu Olan smiled at him and gave him a reassuring expression. Ace looked at Sanji, Robin, Nami, Chopper and others tilde. However, these guys have no doubts about Liu Olan's divorce at all, and they are all retreating. Damn, what kind of trust is this? Thinking of this, Ace no longer hesitated. Since everyone in the Straw Hat Pirates trusts Liu Olan so much, he can't hold everyone back. Fire punch, the arms turned into billowing flames. Blasting away a group of marine soldiers, Ace and Luffy quickly retreated. As the battlefield situation has completely turned to the pirates, marines' morale has dropped. Since the pirates were about to retreat, most of the marine soldiers simply followed suit and pretended to stop them, thus speeding up the retreat of the pirates. After a while, Inquency boarded the pirate ship. Ace and Luffy also pulled back. Liu Olan is fighting and retreating, throwing all kinds of abilities out like money, forming various barriers to marine. On the other side, Whitebeard is also covering the retreat of the pirates. Because of the contraction of the battlefield, Yuhuzi and Liu Olan retreated from a Y-shaped route on both sides. When the retreat was halfway through, the two met in the middle. Gulalalala tilde, boy, I finally see you. Whitebeard slashed a marine soldier, grinning. Are you waiting for me, something? Hearing this, Liu Olan frowned tilde. Wipe, you don't want to say that to me, do you? I don't want to have multiple cheap dads for no reason. It's okay. I just want to get to know a famous person like you before I finish my trip. Although Whitebeard really wanted to say that to Liu Olan, he still held back, partly because he was about to end his trip. On the other hand, he feels that someone like Liu Ogang who can do the work of going to the Danlong people in the live broadcast, such a courageous person. If he Whitebeard wants to be someone's father, it seems that he is not qualified tilde. Celebrity, you can put it down, I'm just a personal name tilde. Liu Olan spread out his hands, and swept out a high-level Tempest kick blasting several chasing marine soldiers into the air. Gulalalala, Whitebeard was amused. He carefully looked at Liu Olan's profile tilde. I really want to chat with this guy a little more. However, there is no time tilde. He can clearly feel his vitality is passing tilde. Of course, that wasn't the main reason he wanted to end his trip. The main reason is that, in today's war, if there is no super powerful person left to stop the enemy, by the way, give marine an account and marine will definitely not allow the pirates to evacuate easily. In that case, I'm afraid that during the evacuation process, I don't know how many pirates will die. Whitebeard is now covered in bruises, and his wish to rescue Ace is gone. He has no more demands Tilda. Boy, you retreat quickly. I will cut off the queen for you Tilda. Although he really wanted to chat with Liu Olan for a few more words, but Whitebeard saw Marine pressing on behind him, and knew that the time for chatting was over. Rumble Tilda. At this moment, a huge roar came from behind. Everyone looked over and saw a pirate ship with the same shape as Moby Dick coming directly from the ground tilde. This is a paddle steamer that can travel on land. On that deck, the great Eddie Spider was leading his subordinates to hold weapons. Father, everyone, run away. We are responsible for breaking the rear and covering the battlefield. Skewad held up his sabre and yelled towards the bottom. Those belong to the great Eddie Spider pirates. Skewad, don't do anything stupid. Do you want to die? The pirates shouted suddenly, that's right, who told me to do that to my dad? Skewyad's face was like an iron body, and he looked at death as home, even if I can't atone for my crime with death, this is the only way I can feel at ease, everyone, give me a chance to feel at ease, run away, too, exclamation mark. The huge paddle steamer stopped abruptly, at the bow, Whitebeard held the bow with one hand, the strength is terrifying, obviously, 
He was the one who stopped the boat Tilda, who Tilda who Tilda. Whitebeard took two deep breaths, and then said emphatically, it's unfilial for your son to die before Lozy. Dot dot dot. Don't you understand? Skewed. Don't be so self righteous. You can't kill me with that knife. My death has nothing to do with your knife. Our purpose of coming here has been achieved. You don't need to stay here anymore. Listen up, Whitebeard Pirates. I am issuing the final captain's order. Chapter 210. There is no ship to carry you in the new era, but there is your home. Please subscribe. What's the last? Wait a minute, Dad. Don't say such inauspicious words. Let's not listen to this. Didn't we agree to go back to New World together, Daddy? When the members of the Whitebeard Pirates heard what Whitebeard said, their hearts all thumped hard Tilda. A wave of fear strikes. It's a fear of losing someone close to you. At this time, Whitebeard said boldly, Listen up, Whitebeard Pirates. You are bidding me farewell here. Everyone must stay alive. Return to the New World without incident. As soon as these words came out, all the pirates present were deserted. I'm really afraid of something coming. Didn't Ace be rescued already? Why are you saying goodbye to your dad all of a sudden? Question mark. Old dot 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 daddy? Question mark. Do you want to die here? No, dad. The pirates of the Whitebeard pirates are crying and howling. Whitebeard remembers to swing his arms, and praises the fruit's calendar launch. A piece of marine that surged up suddenly flew out with a splash. I am a remnant of the old era. Dot dot dot. The new era does not have my boat. Whitebeard's voice was willing. He looked at his sons, and said happily, Go, boys Tilda. As he said that, Whitebeard's energy surged. In line with the idea of do not use it when it is expired, it will become useless when it expires. Whitebeard frantically overdraws his vitality and uses the power of shock fruit with all his strength. Ka 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 ka. The atmosphere instantly cracked into a spider web tilde. Two powerful vibrating forces, like supersonic waves, swept along the air and quickly swept towards the naval headquarters building. The naval headquarters building, which was already dilapidated, finally couldn't support it anymore. Tilde. Boom. Gunpowder smoke was everywhere, and the naval headquarters building which had stood for hundreds of years, completely collapsed in a burst of smoke and dust. Then, Whitebeard slammed his fists down on the ground behind him. Rumble Tilda. The ground exploded instantly. Rumble Rumble Tilda. A dull cracking sound quickly spread across the ground. T.U. Boom. The entire earth was split into two sections in an instant. An unfathomable chasm suddenly lay behind Whitebeard, separating him from the pirates. At the same time, it also blocked most of the chasing marines. Ah. Be careful. Marinford is going to be destroyed. Damn it. He wants to sink Marinford with the idea of dying together. Stop, Whitebeard. Marine's side was deserted all of a sudden, yelling in horror. Once Marinford sinks to the bottom of the sea, no matter how powerful it is, without a ship, it will be a dead end. We can't leave Dad alone. Let's go back together, Father. Let's go together. None of the pirates in the Whitebeard pirate group wanted to leave Whitebeard behind, and they all shouted with flushed faces. But Whitebeard's face suddenly changed, and he shouted sternly. Do you want to disobey the captain's order? Foolish boys, go away. When seeing Whitebeard's stern face, only then did the pirates of the Whitebeard pirates realize that the most powerful man in the world is not only their father, but also a super sky pirate who makes the whole new world fearful. It's their captain, on a boat. The captain's order is the biggest. As long as you are a crew member, you have to follow the captain's orders unconditionally Tilda. And now, it is the captain's last order. If they don't even carry out this last order, Whitebeard will undoubtedly be the most humiliated. As sons, they don't want their father to lose face, and they don't want their father to be ridiculed Tilda. They actually know Whitebeard. Knowing that Whitebeard has embraced death today. Now that Papa has already made up his mind, if they continue to drag Whitebeard back, then what right do they have to keep calling Whitebeard Papa? Question mark. Thinking of this, many pirates held back tears, gritted their teeth and turned around. Everyone follow the captain's order. Don't embarrass daddy. Do what my dad said. Hurry up. Retreat. Protect dad's last dignity. Obey and listen to daddy. This is the last time we can be obedient sons. The strong pirates dragged the hesitant pirates and dragged them back. Ace looked dull at this moment, looking at the figure of Whitebeard who was fighting alone. Ace. Don't disappoint uncle's last wish. Luffy yelled loudly at the back of the motionless ace. Captain Marco, let's go. On the other side, other pirates were also shouting at the captains. In front of the big screen, the people who were watching this war were all shocked and speechless as the aloof for emperor's Tilda. The most powerful man in the world Tilda. Whitebeard actually chose to die with the headquarters, but he wanted to protect his sons. Thinking back to the previous scene where Marine slandered Whitebeard for betraying his family, everyone couldn't help laughing. Ha ha, such Whitebeard. You think he will betray the seller? Question mark. Dogs don't believe it. Whitebeard. Dot dot you really deserve to be the strongest man. He is a real daddy. He is a real daddy. That's right. Even many biological fathers can't do this, right? Be confident. It's not a lot. It's a lot. Using your own life to protect the life of a child is easy to say, but it's very difficult when you actually do it. Ah. 
It's really scary. If it wasn't for the cute live broadcast girl who continued the live broadcast, we wouldn't be able to watch the follow-up when we saw Whitebeard being slandered as a seller. Damn it, Marine's trick is really insidious and vicious. If we hadn't seen this scene, then Whitebeard would be dead, and he would still bear the stigma. That's right. It's really wicked and smoldering to let a real master who is so righteous, bear the stigma of being a traitor. Bah, Marine, dogs don't want to be seen. People all over the world are venting their displeasure with Marine. Naval Headquarters, Melindo Tilda. Sengoku frowned and the veins twitched. He's going to sink Marinford. Do you want to bring an end to the era? It is indeed time. Vice Admiral Garp emerged from the ruins, with blood on his head, and said seriously. Whitebeard looked at Liu Olan beside him, grinned and said, You la 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 la, kid, why don't you leave? Are you pitying me? An old fellow, don't get me wrong. Liu Olan shrugged his shoulders. A person like you has nothing to do with pity. Dot. Hearing Liu Olan's words, Whitebeard appreciated Liu Olan even more. So, what are you still doing here? Liu Olan replied, I just want to tell you, you'd better take another look at your son's tilde. Zero dot 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 seeking flowers. No need tilde. I have already said goodbye to them. Looking back, it would be too hypocritical tilde. I don't want to see their sad looks anymore. Gurgling. Whitebeard smiled and chopped off a group of marines with his knife. Ah. You seem to have misunderstood again. Liu Olan spread his hands and said, I mean, you should take a good look at them. Because it won't be long dot 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 they will almost all be killed Tilda. What? Whitebeard turned his head suddenly, and looked at Liu Olan sharply. Boy, what do you mean? Ignoring Whitebeard's attitude, Liu Olan continued, you think you saved them with your own life and protected them. But, once the Whitebeard pirates loses your leader, they will immediately change from the overlord of the sea to the sweet bun in the eyes of other overlords. I believe with your head, it should be easy to understand what kind of disaster the Whitebeard pirates will face without you. Blackbeard Teach, Kaido of the Beasts, Charlotte Linlin, even Barkin and Edward Weibel. Liu Lan looked up and looked at the tall Whitebeard. Without your protection, how many do you think your sons can survive under the covetousness of these werewolves? Zero! Exclamation mark. Hearing this, Whitebeard's expression changed again. He only thought about saving his sons just now but he didn't have the strength to think about the further future. But at this time, Liu Olan gave him an analysis, and Whitebeard immediately realized the horror of the follow-up tilde. You, if you really want to protect your sons, then you should make sure you are alive. As long as you are alive, even if you are only disabled, other forces will not dare to touch the Whitebeard pirates. As long as you live long enough, when the next generation can stand up, and then you die, you will have no worries tilde. Speaking of this, Liu Olan turned around suddenly, and continued in a tone almost familiar. Listen. Whitebeard, I admire you for your determination to die, but I think you just chose the most stupid one. Guardian method. Whitebeard looks generous Tilda. There is a smile on his face, but he feels lonely Tilda. Shaking his head, he sighed, although I admit that what you said is right, but, I have been traveling for too long. As I said just now, in the new era, there is no longer a boat that can carry me Tilda. Simple words Tilda. Calm lines Tilda. But it is full of nostalgia and reluctance for this era, as well as, a deep sense of helplessness. Well said. Liu Olan clapped his hands, and the ability to freeze guards was activated tilde. Click. Ka 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 ka. A frozen bridge immediately spanned both sides of the abyss. Liu Olan stepped onto the frozen bridge and walked towards the other side. But after taking two steps, he stopped and turned his head to look at Whitebeard. Edward Newgate. You said that there is no ship to carry you in the new era. Yes, it is true that there is no ship to carry you in the new era, but, there is your home. I have no other meaning. I just want to say something for those pirates, that home still needs you to protect it. Edward Newgate, those sons of yours can't hold up the facade. If you don't want to regret your actions today in hell, just follow along. Listen dot 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 to the Whitebeard pirates, your life is more important than anything else. Chapter 211 Raising and Washes the Ground Robin defends naval headquarters alone. Please subscribe. In the new era, there is no my boat, but there is my home. When these words fell into Whitebeard's ears, Whitebeard trembled violently. It was a tremor from the soul. His gaze was almost reflexively looking at everyone in the Whitebeard pirates. That's his family. If he dies Tilda, the various forces on the sea will quickly carve up his territory as if they are vying for a cake Tilda, and his stupid sons, one by one, will never give up the territory left by their father. By then, how many members of the Whitebeard pirates will survive? Question mark. Although Ace, whom he placed high hopes on, is now saved. He hasn't fully grown up yet. Just like what Liu Olan said, this family, still needs him to protect it now. Thinking of this, Whitebeard's determination to die was shaken. Father, 
let's go together. Yes, without you, what happiness do we have, father? We still have to take care of your retirement. Don't you want to see Ace's future son grow up? Don't you want to see if Marco's son is a pineapple head? Hey, I think daddy should want to see if Yizang's son is more beautiful than Hancock. PFFD ha ha ha, daddy. Let's go together. When the 563 people realized that Whitebeard's determination to die was shaken, they frantically launched a psychological offensive one by one. Seeing the atmosphere of his sons, Whitebeard's heart was even more shaken. But just when he was about to set foot on the bridge, he suddenly stopped. Dumpling, sighing deeply. Whitebeard said in a deep voice, Liu Olan boy, thank you. It's just, this war must be left behind. If it has to be between me and my sons choose a queen, it must still be me. With that said, he turned to look at the battlefield, and shouted, Marine, your opponent, is only me. Liu Olan smiled, if you're only thinking about the end, then you don't have to think about it. I have a plan for this. Reserved plan? Whitebeard asked in surprise, he looked at Liu Olan, what can you guys do for the pirate group? You're looking at people through the cracks of the door. Sometimes, fewer people are not necessarily a disadvantage, but too many people may become a hindrance tilde. As he spoke, Liu Olan looked in the direction of the going merry splint, and said, Robin, it's time to use the move. Nico Robin was standing outside the front of going merry's deck, in Luffy's state seat. She crossed her hands and flexed her fingers tilde. Colossal purple and red sea of seals. With the activation of her fruit ability, countless arms popped out like everything on the ground grazily. These arms are combined in pairs, palms facing each other tilde, colorful raising gun. When Robin shouted again, he saw that these palms had rubbed balls together. A large amount of chakra energy is released crazily at this moment tilde, buzz 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 tilde. The bright and dazzling as you blue light balls are like a bunch of bright treasures tilde, rise up on the battlefields of naval headquarters. What is that? Aqua blue, what a beautiful ball of light. Dangerous. My mother told me that the more beautiful things are, the more dangerous they are. Hey, is that about women? Damn it. There's a terrible atmosphere in the air. No matter if it is a marine or a pirate, when they see the countless as you blue energy light clusters condensed on the arm like a jungle flower sea, they are all fearful in their hearts. Bastard. What is that? Sengoku's eyes widened suddenly, and his entire face was covered with seriousness. Next moment tilde. Those countless palms pushed out the as you blue light sphere condensed into ultimate at the same time. The speed is not too slow probably slower than the speed of a bullet tilde, but the power of these things seems to be much greater than bullets. Aokiji. Sengoku suddenly yelled. There are three black lines running down Aokiji's forehead tilde. Sengoku yelled so smoothly tilde. Whenever there is something that can't be dealt with, Sengoku will definitely shout Aokiji. Aokiji didn't speak, and jumped up high, with both palms facing forward. The icy cold air spewed out crazily like a flamethrower. F. The cold air met the flying raising gun in the blink of an eye tilde. However, you fly yours, I fly mine. The raising gun that came all over the sky actually intersected with the cold air tilde. Dot 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 it doesn't seem to work. Okiji frowned and murmured. Eight foot Kyanguru. Immediately Kizaru jumped into the air too. He transformed into a large number of light element particles, as his hands opened tilde. Countless laser beams rained down. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. The laser beam went straight through these raising gun shooting the ground a hundred times. Trouble. Crane Vice Admiral narrowed his old eyes and said solemnly, this seems to be an elemental energy attack, but it cannot be offset by other elemental energies. Suddenly, Crane Vice Admiral seemed to have discovered something, and immediately analyzed, wait, these energy light spheres follow a parabolic trajectory, and it seems that the landing point is a bit forward. Hearing this, Sengoku also saw it. He immediately ordered loudly, stop chasing, retreat immediately and avoid the impact of those energy bombs. The marine soldiers are not stupid either. When they saw Raising and flying over just now, they were ready to evade. Now with Sengoku's order, they don't think too much, just run away. After a while tilde, the sky filled Raising and crashed to the ground tilde, boom. When the first Raising and hit the ground, a small mushroom cloud suddenly set off, hiss, dash. Seeing this scene, those marine soldiers who were still on the front line of the chase just now gasped hard, scared face blank, because this is only the first helix and I explode. And in that sky, the densely packed raising gun also landed. Boom, boom, boom. When a spiral falls on the ground on a large scale tilde, mushroom clouds burst up one after another tilde. The terrible explosion power caused the entire naval headquarters to fall into violent shaking. Those who didn't know thought it was Whitebeard who activated the power of shock fruit. Ten meters in front of Whitebeard and Liu Gang is the concentration area of the explosion tilde, countless mushroom clouds, carrying raging energy storms, completely sealed off the entire area. This scene made the faces of the marine soldiers chasing the front line extremely pale. They can imagine it, if they don't withdraw in time. Then at this time, they may even be dusted tilde. It's terrible dot 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 fortunately, that woman's head is not very accurate. Yes, if his control is more precise, it can completely cover our retreat route. It's really a blessing from the gods, 
We deserve to die. Are you stupid? What kind of God's blessing? What's the lack of accuracy? The person who can make such a large-scale group attack, she is not accurate enough. I can see it too. This Nico Robin clearly deliberately moved the impact point of these terrible energy bombs forward. He's being merciful. It's not that he's not accurate enough, idiots. Ah, why did she show mercy to us? There's no reason. Yeah, it stands to reason that everyone in her hometown died under Marine's buster call, so she should hate Marine so much. Hey, in fact, no one is a fool. Can't you see that this Nico Robin is not a child of the devil at all, but a pure and kind person? Hey, that's right. But if her heart was a little bit more vicious, at least a few hundred of us would have been blown to ashes. Amidst the size of the marine soldiers, raising guns explosion slowly quieted down. When energy ripples and gunpowder storms spread, hiss, dash, everyone sucked their hearts into their throats again. I saw that the bombed area has become completely dilapidated at this time. It's as if hundreds of crushing machines have been working the for three days and three nights tilde. The entire ground, but all affected areas, have been completely ploughed. Bastards. Destroyed naval headquarters to such an extent. Sengoku punched hard and flew into a rage. It's dangerous. Almost lost hundreds of elites. Seeing that there were no casualties, Crane Vice Admiral breathed a sigh of relief tilde. Momousagi Vice Admiral sighed slightly. I believe you can also see it, that is Nico Robin's mercy. Hush. Hearing this, Crane Vice Admiral immediately stared at Momousagi, and said in a deep voice, don't say anything that will affect unity. On the deck of Going Merry, Nico Robin kept her hands crossed and she shouted, stop chasing, Marine, my physical strength can do it again, her words, a warning to Marine without a doubt, if you let it go, then you don't have to die anymore, if you still want to pursue, then she will not show mercy, when Robin's words spread throughout naval headquarters, Marine fell into a brief silence tilde, a large number of Marine soldiers all set their sights in the direction of Sengoku at this time, waiting for the command of the Marine Marshal, Sengoku looks ugly tilde, this battle, 5.6 so far, Marine can be said to have lost a lot. If forced to compromise now, Marine will probably become a big joke tilde. Moreover, Mary E. Joy is issued. Nor did he complete the order. Armistice? Totally impossible. But facing the threat of Nico Robin, Sengoku also knew that once he continued to pursue, the number of casualties of Marine soldiers will skyrocket in a terrifying trend. This is also a scene that Sengoku does not want to see tilde. Just when he was caught in a dilemma, a burly figure wearing a Marine Justice cloak climbed up from an abyss. Admiral, Ake Inu Admiral, seeing that Seikezuki was not dead, many Hawk faction officers and soldiers shouted excitedly. Seikezuki was full of anger. He was covered in billowing smoke, like a diesel engine tilde. He looked at Whitebeard and Liu Olan in front of him and shouted coldly, I can't spare such evil existences as pirates soon. Admiral is right. Destroy the pirates. Chasing and killing pirates, we will kill them all. Follow Admiral, go. All of a sudden, the officers and soldiers of the Hawk faction rushed up. Chapter 212 Me, Kirby, don't need help. Please subscribe. As Ake Ainu raised his arms and shouted, the Hawk Marine rushed forward screaming like he had been injected with chicken blood. Even many Marine soldiers who were originally ambiguous rushed towards the pirates in this passionate atmosphere. It looks like someone doesn't want me to leave. Seeing the Marine rushing up, Whitebeard sighed and murmured, Boy Liu Lan, let's go. Saying that, Whitebeard held his big knife Kong Yankee, facing the Marine who came like a tide, just when he was about to fight to the death. Let's stop here Tilda. A slightly youthful cry suddenly resumed it through naval headquarters. This cry directly let everyone's eyes turn to the source of the sound. Everyone looked over in unison, and saw an ordinary Marine soldier blocking Ake Ainu Admiral's front. Seikezuki is over 3 meters tall Tilda, and this Marine soldier is less than 1.7 meters tall. Such a disparity in height makes this Marine soldier look so thin in front of Ake Ainu Admiral. The camera of Xiaomili also caught up in time, and immediately gave a close-up shot of the Marine soldier and Ake Aina in the same frame. FK. This is Marine, Nani, am I blind? I saw a Marine soldier stopping Marine Admiral. It's so ironic. Doesn't 08 even look down on the Marine soldiers? He just jumped out to stop Ake Ainu's actions. Marine blocks Marine. Dot it s unheard of. Ha ha ha. World famous paintings. The melon eating crowd in front of the big screens looked at the scene in front of them and they were all scorched on the outside by Tilda. This scene Tilda, even if it is placed in the Lifetime series, it is definitely a top existence. That's, Marine. Kizaru's eyes widened, and he looked at the thin figure standing in front of Ake Ainu from a distance, showing an expression of disbelief. No way Tilda, it's Marine. Mark also murmured in shock. Question mark. As the person involved, Seikezuki's face was even more horrified. Looking at the Marine in front of him, he even short-circuited his mind for a while Tilda. This Marine is the wrong person? Question mark. Kirby. In the crowd of marine soldiers, a marine soldier who joined the marine with Kebi was terrified at this time Tilda. His name is Bombo, and he is the son of Colonel Munker, the former base chief of Shields Town. He was a second generation ancestor before, but after Menka Fufa, 
he changed his mind and joined Marine with Kebby. Fortunately, they were all included in the team by the passing Vice Admiral Garp, and they became Kaz's favorite students. The two walked along the way and supported each other. At this time, I saw Kebby going to Haydak A. I knew the first reaction in Bembo's mind is, it's over. Kirby is over. Ah hey, it's Kirby. Luffy opened his mouth wide and yelled, get out of there. You're going to die. Damn, this idiot. Zora also saw Kebby, and immediately frowned. Although they didn't get along with Kebby for a long time, they were anxious after all. Coupled with the fact that Kebby was helping them more or less at this time, Zora really didn't want to see Kebby die here. Stop, stop fighting. Stop it. At this moment, Kebby opened his arms and stopped at A. I knew. He seemed to shout with all his strength, don't trample on life anymore. Why? Dot. Why are you still chasing pirates? People have already shown mercy. Why don't you talk about the pursuit of martial arts? Do we have to watch young lives die in large numbers? The outcome of this war is already doomed. Chasing and killing them at this time will only increase sacrifices. Every soldier here has someone waiting for him to go home. In the face of soldiers who could be saved if they were treated, they would not save them. Dot 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 and continued to increase the number of victims. Dot. Speaking of this, Kebby burst into tears, overcoming the fear in his heart. He yelled at Dak hey, I knew, like a fool, tt. When Garp saw this scene, he felt bad in his heart. He knows Dak hey, I knew too well Tilda. What saves people Tilda? What sacrifice Tilda? Totally worthless in Dak hey, I knew's eyes. All he wants is absolute justice. As long as you can kill the pirates and all the forces that are against the world government, it is right for Dak hey, I knew. No amount of sacrifice matters, and now Kebby has said something that seems to make sense, but for Dak hey, I knew, these will undoubtedly have the opposite effect. Moreover, according to military law, even if Ake Ainu killed Kirby, it would be reasonable. In fact, Tilda, just as Garp thought, Ake Ainu listened to Kirby's nonsense, and felt so angry. Made, my bold words inspired the morale of the marine soldiers. As a result, what you are riding on is the hanging hair that came out of nowhere. Actually forcibly interrupted the momentum of marine's pursuit. Simply unforgivable. What's more, you are so naughty, you are fking me, aren't you slapping me in the face? Question mark. In front of all the marines and pirates, and live broadcasts all over the world. Hit me Marine Admiral Seikazuki in the face? Question mark. Nemas. Lozi can make you live. How old are you? Underscore. With the sound of biting his teeth, Seikazuki looked at Kebi as if he was looking at a dead body. You waste me a few seconds. Dot Marine Docenti needs someone like you. Saying that, Seikazuki swung his right fist. Rolling lava surged out of his arms, and scorching air waves rushed towards his face. Sad traitor, after talking a lot of nonsense, you can only die a miserable death in the end. Go to hell. There was anger in Seikazuki's voice. But just as he was about to launch a fatal blow to Kebai, he saw Kebai pull out his own knife suddenly. Clutching the handle of the knife with both hands, pointing the knife point at Seikazuki, Kebai panted heavily and shouted nervously and bravely, Although you are Marine Admiral, I will not sit still. Stop. Don't let more people die in this senseless pursuit. Stop. Let those comrades who can still be saved have a chance to live. Stop. If you are Marine Admiral, please cherish the lives of your subordinates. Zizizi Tilda. The moment he spoke. Following Kebai's breathing, his whole body and the blade were immediately entwined with dense electric arc stilda. What? Nanny? That marine, he has the courage to confront Admiral head on. Crazy. 557. Confronting Admiral, isn't it a dead end? Although he is bound to die. Damn. Although he must die, I think what he said is very reasonable. Yes, this war is over. If the war ceases at this time, the pirates will not attack again, and the injured marine soldiers can also be treated in time. What's more, even if we continue to pursue... Our marine may not necessarily be the one to profit. As he said, Nico Robin has shown mercy just now. But now, if Nico Robin is provoked, she will do the same energy bomb wash just now. A large area of our comrades will be wiped out. Hey, he is such a warrior. Kebai's behavior touched the hearts of a large number of Ding soldiers, especially when Kebi faced Ake Ainu's magma attack. Instead of having any idea of dodging, he held the knife and faced Admiral's attack directly. This boldness, if you don't fault today, you will definitely be a strong person in the future. Kirby, Luffy yelled and was about to rush over. Zora was also extremely anxious. Idiot, don't die for nothing. However, Liu Olan did not worry about Kirby, but felt his blood boil. The charm of this damned courage. It is impossible to ignore Tilda. He looked at Kirby's back Tilda, facing the highest combat power of Marine, yet fearless attitude. As if a line of words floated from the sky. Me. Kirby, no help. Chapter 213 Open the Madara Pattern. It belongs to Kebby's moment. Please subscribe. Question mark. Looking at Kebby who spoke boldly in front of him, Ake Ainu wondered if he was hallucinating Tilda. Did the marine soldier in front of him suddenly become an idiot? Oh Tilda. Suddenly, the sleepy day suddenly realized again. Do you want to be brave when you want to die? Maid. Then Lozi will help you. Rumble Tilda. The blazing magma fist burned towards Kebby with an unbearably high temperature. Thunder breath. One shape. 
Thunderbolt flash, Xylala tilde, with the sound of a rapid electric current, Kebi's body disappeared instantly like lightning, boom, the blazing magma mercilessly hit the ground, instantly melting the solid granite into stone water, then, the power of the explosion made these rocks that were burned into a hot solution splash up tilde, on the ground, a deep pit as big as a house appeared, in the deep pit, lava is rolling, a sea of fire, Admiral's casual strike shows the power, only, rush, Kebi's figure appeared on the right side of Seikezuki, on the blade, there was still magma dripping, what? He cut Admiral's body? No way. He's just a captain. Can he survive Admiral's wrath? Don't get me wrong. He didn't survive Admiral's attack, but he was fighting against Admiral. On a battlefield of naval headquarters, whether it was pirates or marine soldiers, they were all shocked by Kebi's counterattack. Playing against Admiral, isn't that something only the four emperors can do? Even the captains of the Whitebeard pirates can only fight Admiral for a short period of time by relying on bursts. Why can a marine captain dance in front of Admiral? Damn thing. Looking at her cut waist. Seikezuki's face suddenly became extremely dark tilde, although this blow did not cause any harm to him, it is a great shame that the dignified admiral was cut open by an unknown marine soldier. Gulilu tilde, the lava flowed back, and Seikezuki's wounds were reconnected. What a bastard, I will kill you. Taking a step forward, Seikezuki punched Kebi, thunderbolt flash, without thinking too much. Yuan deactivated the heavy breath again. Don't think that the breath of thunder is not strong just because Ghost Slayer's combat power is low. In fact, it can improve the physique of ordinary people enough to kill ghosts. It is conceivable whether this method of breathing is powerful or not. And the physique of the people in pirate world is recognized as ridiculously strong. In terms of basic physique, the world of pirates even beats the world of Hokage. With such a physical foundation, and then practicing thunder breathing, the effect is definitely far greater than 1 plus 1. Krabi did it the same way and wanted to slash Seikezuki again. But this time, just when his figure rushed to Seikezuki's side, an irresistible heat swept over Tilda. Seikezuki is admiral after all, possesses an extremely powerful observation haki. I was hit by Kebai just now, in fact, there is a lot of reason because I was careless and didn't dodge. After all, who would have thought that a mere marine captain would possess such powerful swordsmanship? Now, under the lock of the powerful observation haki, even though Kebi's speed is very fast, it has not yet reached the level enough to break through Seikezuki's upper limit of knowledge capture tilde, boom, magma hunting, Hong Kebi, ah, Kebi let out a cry of pain and was immediately knocked to the ground, if he hadn't tried his best to block it with a blade full of lightning, I'm afraid he would be burned to charcoal by the magma now, ah, feeling the burn of the magma blast on his skin, Kebi cried out in pain, sure enough, it was just a flash in the pan tilde, in front of Admiral, a marine captain has no chance at all. This is the fate of daring to speak against Admiral. He's done. Seeing Kobe being approached step by step by Seikezuki, the marine soldiers all thought that Kobe was finished. Even Liu Olan felt that Kebi had no chance to make a comeback. When Kebi fought Seikezuki just now, Liu Olan originally wanted to see how Kebi's breath of thunder performed in the battle, but he didn't expect to be instantly suppressed by Seikezuki. Suddenly, the magic power in his hands surged, and the shield of Klau appeared. In any case, he couldn't have watched Kirby die at the hands of Seikezuki without saving him. But at this moment, Kebi still roared loudly. Ah! This shout stunned Seikezuki for a moment. Kebi yelled, his face turned as red as a fire. He breathed heavily tilde. His complexion didn't look very good, but his heart was beaten fast tilde. No way. Dot. Seeing this scene, Liu Olan's face suddenly changed tilde. Others don't know what happened to Kebi tilde, but Liu Olan must know. Judging from Kebi's situation, his face was on fire so his body temperature must be rising, and he was breathing heavily, and his chest was constantly rising and falling tilde, apparently, his heart is racing, no doubt, this is what happens when you practice the method of breathing, that is, to open the Madara pattern, after opening the Madara pattern, it can greatly improve one's own combat ability, but there is also a big flaw, that is, once you open the Madara pattern, you will not live to be 25 years old tilde, although the physique of people in pirate world is different from that of ghost slayer, Liu Lan can't guarantee whether Kebi can live beyond the age of 25 once he turns on the Madara pattern. Thinking of this, Liu Olan immediately went to stop by, only, after all, it was too late. Ah, Kebi, who was originally lying on the ground, stood up straight in an anti-gravity form. The aura of the whole person seems to be completely new, especially in the center of his forehead. A cloud of flames like sunset is extraordinarily dazzling. Kizaru narrowed his eyes slightly, and said in surprise, Wu Tilda, what's going on? Why does it feel like a different person? What happened? Kirby. Luffy yelled. Whitebeard said in a deep voice, this kid's aura is obviously not as good as it was just now. Liu Olan also noticed that Kebi's strength had increased dramatically. However, his heart is very heavy Tilda. I don't know if the Madara pattern defect of Ghost Slayer will have any effect in this world. How about giving Kirby a chance to eat a devil fruit? If the side effects of the two systems exist at the same time, 
Will the negative be positive? Just when Liu Olan was thinking about it, Seikazuki showed a ferocious face. Stupid mysteries. Dot, 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 go to hell. With a roar, Seikazuki's right arm turned into billowing lava tilde. This melting, Zhao Zhao's, rock condenses into a terrifying hound in an instant, opening its bloody mouth wide. The lava dog bit Kebai fiercely. Crimson dog tooth. This time, Ake Ainu's treatment of Kebai was the same as Whitebeard's treatment. This shows how much Ake Ainu wants Kebai to die now. Admiral, I still say that. Stop. And, I will not sit still. Kebi's eye sockets are slightly condensed, and the Madara lines on his forehead are like flames tilde. At this time, under the sunshine, the Madara pattern seems to be able to breathe, and the color keeps beating, as if it is crazily absorbing the energy of the sun. Thunder's breath three shapes gather mosquitoes into thunder. Under the strengthening of the Madara pattern, Kebi's whole body burst out like a tide of lightning in an instant. It's not the usual lightning like before. It's wave lightning. Swish. Kirby disappeared in place. Resistance. Chapter 214 Everyone present, please do me a favor. Please subscribe. Buzz Buzz Tilda. The air in naval headquarters was suddenly filled with a strange sound. It's like there are countless mosquitoes flying in the air. Swipe swipe swipe. Dot. Kebi's figure is like a black lightning, spinning around Seikazuki at high speed. In an instant. Seikazuki's body was covered with wounds. Waves of thunder and lightning sizzled in these wounds. Cool. Kebi took a deep breath and stopped five meters in front of Seikazuki. His physical stamina itself is very average, and he has already consumed a lot after experiencing such a large-scale battle just now. Now fighting Admiral again, and opening the Madara pattern, the consumption is even more crazy. He knelt on the ground on one knee, with the tip of a knife sticking to the ground, sweat dripping down his face. Ah! Underscore. Seikazuki howled in pain shaking violently all over. Zizizi tilde. Those wavy lightnings danced in his wound, making Seikazuki's body bright. Looking at this situation, it looks like Seikazuki is about to explode from the body tilde. No way. What kind of sword technique is this? It's so terrifying. He didn't use Haki and still hurt Ake Ainu Admiral in elemental state. Is he really just a marine captain? A captain marine standards already this high? Seeing Kebi who can rival Seikazuki. The people present were shocked. Clatter tilde. The magma on Seikazuki's body dripped like plasma. But after a while, the 810 magma reorganized, and Seikazuki recondensed the entity. Damn, it's a shame to be wounded by a traitor like you. Seikazuki bared his teeth, although there were no major scars left on his body. The damage caused by those wave lightning was indelible. Even if things go wrong on the scene, fighting is not a show after all tilde. The one who can stand to the end is the only winner. Compared with the weak rookie Kebi. Seikazuki has been fighting in the sea for decades tilde. He is the pinnacle of fighting power. Even after fighting till now, he is still full of energy. On the other hand, Kebai was sitting on the ground paralyzed while taking a deep breath tilde. Seikazuki's arm turned into billowing lava. Facing Kebi was a lava shot great eruption. Die. Filled with Ake Aino's angry blow. The entire sky was dyed red by this terrifying magma. Facing the lava great eruption that was about to harvest his life, Kebi's face was full of fear tilde. He was thinking indiscriminately in his mind, it's over, I'm going to die. But I've already expressed my ideas, and I can die without regrets, rumble tilde. The lava was flying across the sky, full of aura of destruction. A shield floated in the palm of Liu Olan in the distance tilde. He was about to make a move when he got annoyed. Um, Liu Olan's observation Haki suddenly, Aidg, noticed a figure shooting towards him instantly. It's him. Here comes the man who feeds the fish with his left arm. Okay tilde, since he's here. We can't let people make a trip in vain. What should be shown has to be shown by others. Boom. Watching the lava great eruption about to fall on Kirby's face. Bang. A western sword lay in front of Kebby like a fairy flying from the sky. Why? Exclamation mark. What? The moment Shanks appeared. The entire battlefield was in shock. Well done, young marine. You risked your life to stop this short half minute, and successfully extinguished the sign that this war was about to reignite. Shanks holds a knife in one arm, but is as calm as a mountain. Making Seikazuki's lava and unable to take an inch of strength. A H H H. That apostrophe s. Dot 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 dot. Redhead Shanks vertical bar four miles. No way. Another four emperors in this war. What's going on? Isn't it the war between the white beard pirates and the marine? Why is the redhead Shanks here too? Redhead Shanks and Ake Ainu Admiral fought. Does this mean that the all-out war between pirates and marines is about to begin? Question mark. It's not just red hair Shanks. Look, it's the red hair pirates ship, Red Fourth County. The entire crew of red hair pirates is here. Is today going to witness the demise of Marine? What nonsense are you talking about? Don't underestimate Marine's strength. Even if two four emperors regiments want to destroy Marine, I'm afraid they have to fight with their lives. Two four emperors regiments? Question mark. You are an idiot. Take a good look. The straw hat pirates are not a decoration, in my opinion. Their strength is enough to match the main combat power of a four emperors regiment up. Yeah tilde, if it's an all-out war, 
Marine's crisis will be even greater, say by the archipelago. The people who were watching this battle turned into a group of keyboard warriors, constantly analyzing the situation on the battlefield. Naval headquarters, Marin for Tilda, Redhead, the guy who led Luffy into the pirate way. Garp watched Shanks from a distance, his two rows of big teeth rattling. Sengoku looked at this situation, and his face was dark. It turned out to be the Red Hair Pirates. Crane Vice Admiral's face was serious and he felt a little dizzy. Kyosha Shan Vice Admiral, you just had a conflict with Kaido yesterday, and you're here in the blink of an eye? Damn it, how did he appear here? Dorbum and Vice Admiral gritted his teeth and said in a low voice. At this time, Shanks looked in the direction of Marine Tilda. I'm here to end this war. If this battle continues, neither side will benefit, and it will only increase the casualties of the two armies. Having said this, Shanks' complexion sank, and he said in a serious tone, Everyone present, please do me a favor. Hash. Appeared, fruit of face Tilda. Listening to Shanks yelling such a sentence, Liu Lan raised his eyebrows Tilda. Now that this sentence has been shouted, it seems that this war is really over. In the entire One Piece, as long as Shanks yells this sentence, no matter how strong or powerful the other party is, it seems to give him face. Of course dot 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 except buggy. Kang Klang, hide how ye put the scabbard back. He looked at Zora, Rora Noah Zora. Today's battle has no results. But this is not a suitable battlefield for us to continue fighting. I agree with your point of view. Then, let's suspend this battle for now. When we meet next time, I will challenge you again with a brand new attitude. Zora nodded. His spiritual power converged, and the phantom of Qina on his body also dissipated. Hideoi's words were put into the sheath in response. In today's battle, Zora always has regrets in his heart. Because even though he has practiced Bankai in the Hidaoyi character, when he tried to use Bankai, there was still no response. But as long as he is given some more time, he believes that he will be able to find the reason, Yinching Bankai. He has a feeling that when he can actually use Bankai, maybe he will find the miracle he was waiting for. Rora Noah Zora. Will your pirate group go to New World? I'll be waiting for you to challenge on Kraykana Island. With that said, Hawkeye turned and walked towards the shore. Hawkeye, where are you going? A Marine Vice Admiral saw it and immediately shouted, I only agreed to fight the Whitebeard Pirates, but the Red Hair Pirates are out of the deal. Looking back coldly, leaving behind these cold words. Hawkeye left. Dorbum and Vice Admiral was furious. He yelled angrily, We can't just let the Whitebeard pirates go away easily like this. However, as soon as he finished speaking, he heard Sengoku's voice in his ear. It's okay, Your Excellency the Marshal. Dorbum and was shocked. Sengoku directly picked up the radio phone bug. This war, it's time to end. I will bear the responsibility. The next moment, he immediately shouted, Hurry up and treat the wounded. It's over. Very good. Although there was no shouting like this on the battlefield. The hearts of those ordinary pirates and soldiers shouted more and more excitedly. Chapter 215 Whoever has the biggest fist has the right to say, subscribe. I still have face Tilda. Seeing the marine soldiers getting busy, Liu Lan shrugged his shoulders and joked. Gula la la la. Whitebeard laughed too. There is no alliance between the four emperors, at least not yet. They all belong to mutually independent and hostile camps. But this time, the Whitebeard pirates undoubtedly accepted a favor from the Red Hair pirates. Not only the scene of mediation that happened in front of me, but also the incident when Shanks met with Whitebeard alone and persuaded him to recall this immediately. At this time, Whitebeard connected the two things together. Obviously, Shanks did not want the Whitebeard pirates to have major turmoil. Of course, Whitebeard wouldn't be so naive as to think this was Shanks' courtship. They are four emperors, even the youngest four emperors, they are real four emperors. One four emperors courting another four emperors? Question mark. Even little fledgling Carla wouldn't believe it. What's more, what about Whitebeard, who is also a four yellow? But no matter what Shanks's purpose is, if he intervenes successfully, the Whitebeard pirates will save hundreds or even thousands of people from dying. Whitebeard, as a man of great righteousness, would never ignore this great kindness. Okay, let's go back to the boat first, and we can't go to the roof when we retreat. Liu Olan made a reminder and headed towards going merry. Brat, hearing that Liu Olan was actually reminding him, Whitebeard laughed and cursed. After all, he is also a sea overlord who dominates one side. This kind of thing does not need a young reminder from you. But Whitebeard didn't mind either. He knows that with Liu Olan's strength and heart, the future is bound to be limitless. On the deck of the Golden Mary, when Liu Olan boarded the deck, the crew had almost returned. Sister Robin, remove those blooming arms, your physical exertion is too serious. Coming to Robin, Liu Olan spoke. For ninjutsu that Robin knows, Liu Olan also knows. Liu Olan couldn't understand how much these ninjutsu consumed chakra. It can also be said that Liu Olan is the only one who understands how big Robin's overdraft is at this time. Seeing that Liu Olan had returned, Robin finally breathed a sigh of relief. She believes that as long as Liu Olan is there, no one can harm the Straw Hat Pirates. Um, with a light exhortation, Robin's face suddenly paled sharply, and the sweat was like washing down. Clatter Tilda, the arms of the sea of 
flowers that blocked the marine soldiers, like the grass growing and flying, all disappeared in an instant tilde. When the tight strings in his heart suddenly loosened, Robin's whole body was like a deflated ball, which lost its support all of a sudden, and directly collapsed on Liu Olan's body. Liu Olan was about to tease Robin for taking advantage of him, but he found that Robin fell asleep on his shoulder. Robin. Robin sauce. Beautiful Miss Robin. Everyone in the straw hat pirates surrounded them nervously. Don't worry. Robin is exhausted and overdrawn, and he just collapsed from exhaustion. Seeing this, Liu Olan hugged Robin horizontally. Everyone continue to maintain vigilance. When Luffy arrives, we will retreat with the other two pirate groups. I will send Robin to rest now. Came to Robin's room, Liu Olan put Robin on the soft mattress. He looked at Robin's slightly pale cheeks, and whispered with some love, It's really hard for you today, take a good rest Tilda. After covering Robin with the sheet, Liu Olan is ready to go to the deck. But looking at Robin's exquisite face, Liu Olan's heart moved Tilda. By the way, you usually like to use a round of flowers on me right? Then this time you're sleeping like a dead pig. It's only natural for me to get back some interest tilde apostrophe. Thinking of this, Liu Lan bent down and brought his face closer to Robin's cheek. He waved to Robin's closed eyes, then blew on her cheek again. Robin remained motionless. Okay, I can't help this tilde he 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 tilde. Immediately, Liu Lan's face revealed the caring look that a man should have. He pointed at Robin's red lips and sipped gently tilde. MMMMM tilde. Delicious. After carefully looking at it for a while, I found that Robin was still indifferent Tilda. However, due to the serious overdraft of Chakra, Robin has become a sweaty man at this time. By the way, if Robin wakes up tomorrow and finds out that she fell asleep like this, he will definitely be angry. Liu Olan suddenly thought of a habit that Robin maintains every day, so he said to himself, forget it, I'll be a good person to the end, help her continue to check in on this habit. With that said, Liu Olan carried Robin out of the room. Outside Tilda, Luffy dragged Ace and ran all the way and finally came to going merry. Ace, get on my boat first. Luffy pulls Ace and is about to jump onto the boat. No, Luffy, I have to see Dad. Although Ace wanted to be with Luffy badly, Whitebeard was very much on his mind right now. He had seen Whitebeard's wounds on the battlefield just now, especially when Whitebeard was going to sacrifice himself to cover for the whole Whitebeard pirates. At that time Ace really thought it was the last time to see Whitebeard. Now that the road has turned around, Ace can't wait to run to Dad's side immediately. Of course. The younger brother is also very important. Otherwise, Ace wouldn't have followed Luffy all the way to going merry. Regardless of Luffy's strength, Ace, as the big brother, subconsciously escorted and escorted his younger brother to going merry. Now that his brother has arrived safely, Ace of course wants to get back to Whitebeard quickly. Okay, see you at Sabadi Archipelago. Luffy is not willing to part with Ace at this time. But he was educated by Leo Lan before. As a captain, he must unite with the crew at critical times. So at this time, even if Ace is a big brother, Luffy must stay on his boat. As the pirates began to board the unable to pirate ship on a large scale, the red hair pirates, white beard pirates, and straw hat pirates began to retreat slowly. Retreat Tilda. There are only two words to say. But in fact, it is a process that does not dare to relax at all. Because at this time, it is the time when the fighting spirit is at its lowest. If the enemy launches a premeditated counterattack, the consequences will be unimaginable. It only took half a day to retreat from Crescent Harbor to the distance beyond the Gate of Justice. Of course. The subsequent retreat route will be smooth. Not long after the withdrawal of the three big pirate groups, several warships of the world government arrived at naval headquarters from a special route. Marshal Crane Vice Admiral yelled Sengoku before setting his sights on the safe harbor behind naval headquarters. The ship of the government of the world. Seeing the flag on the ship, Sengoku frowned. Although the distance from Mary E. Joyce to naval headquarters is not far, if you arrive at naval headquarters now, at least you set off a few hours ago. Zero dot 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 seeking flowers. Sengoku thought about it. Probably when the celestial dragons were taken out by Liu Olan, these warships from the world government set off from Mary E. Joy's. As Sengoku expected, several CP0 agents appeared on the warship, followed by a large number of CP8 and CP7 fighters and killers. Where are people? The CPO with the yin and yang I mask asked as soon as he stepped on the ruins of naval headquarters. Watch your attitude. Who do you think you're talking to? T. Dolphin Vice Admiral stood beside Sengoku staring coldly at the CPO with the yin and yang eye mask. Hey, there are horses? Marshal Marine is so majestic. The CPO with the yin and yang eye mask sneered, and he glanced at Vice Admiral the T-Dolphin contemptuously, then looked at Sengoku, and asked again, where's the person? Sengoku is very upset about CP0's attitude. However, Marine and CP0 are parallel organizations under the World Government Council, and there is no hierarchy between them. It can be said that no one can control anyone, but there is one exception. That is, when there is a special order from the government of the world, the party with the order can hold a chicken feather as an arrow and shout at the other party tilde, and the CP0 in front of him speaks so arrogantly, obviously with chicken feathers and arrows. Taking a deep breath, 
Sengoku adjusted his mentality and said coldly, Retreat. What? How long has it been since such a large-scale war? The other party has been completely wiped out. Hearing this, the CPO with Yin and Yang I mask raised his voice. He he, Sengoku. In other words, when the pirates evacuated, your marines didn't have any obstacles at all, right? Hearing this, Sengoku took shape. Damn it. What are you doing? Lozi will give you face and say a few words to you. You are so f-king excited. Immediately, Sengoku was furious. It's not your turn to talk nonsense about our marine affairs. He he. Tell five elders what you said. The CPO with Yin and Yang I mask sneered, and stared at Sengoku with mocking eyes. It's really a group of cowardly things. Watching the murderers who killed the Tan Longren retreat safely without stopping them. The Tan Longren it s really a waste of feeding you dogs. Exclamation mark. As soon as his words fell, the ground shook for a while. The CPO with the Yin and Yang I area was embedded in the ground, the mask exploded, and the head swelled into a square tilde. Made, Lozi can't bear it. Garp didn't know when he appeared here, he rolled up his sleeves and cast his eyes on several other CPOs. Although each CPO is a loyal dog of the government of the world. It does not mean that they will not be afraid Tilda, facing Garp who was showing such a cruel gaze at this time, these people's throats were dry for a while, and they subconsciously took a few steps back Tilda. The guys who were so arrogant just a moment ago, but now they dare not say a word of bullshit. Seeing this scene, many marines immediately thought of what Liu Olan said when he executed the Tanlong people on the execution platform Tilda. With a big head, who has the right to speak? Good guy Tilda. It really is the truth. Chapter 216 2 billion. Shanks, sorry, I am superficial. Please subscribe, say buddy archipelago tilde. Here they come. They're coming this way. My god. It's really the four emperors grand fleet. Not only the white beard pirates, but also the red hair pirates appeared from the ship. Hey, hey, hey. The ship between the Moby Dick and the Red Forth is the going merry of the straw hat pirates? Question mark. Hey, the flagships of the two four emperors groups are escorted in the middle, and the straw hat pirates are definitely the strongest among the supernovas this year. What? Supernova? Please. Are you comparing supernova to the straw hat pirates? Question mark. Are you out of your mind? PFFT. It seems to be true. Although the Straw Hat Pirates have several supernovas this year, but after this battle, if anyone still treats them as a supernova, then they're pure fools! Exclamation mark. They're coming in the direction of the peninsula's 5059. They should be preparing for coating, right? Oops. Let's go to another island immediately. Those people are all famous big pirates in New World. If we accidentally offend their bad luck, we don't even know how to die. Whoa. Run. The pirates and Melanitas who were watching on the shore reacted suddenly and ran away in fright Tilda. Not long Tilda. When the pirate ships that dominate the new world arrive one after another, there is no ship on the coast of the Ten Islands 5059 Tilda. These ten peninsulas are mainly engaged in ship building, ship repairing and coating business. At this time, this is exactly what the three big pirate groups need. USS Red Forth Tilda. Shanks and the others were about to disembark when they heard an overjoyed voice. Shanks. Whoosh. This seems to be the sound of rubber bands stretching in the air tilde. Then I saw a figure landed on the 047 deck of the Red Forth, and it was Luffy. Hey, Luffy. Lady Lu gnawed on a big bone stick. His face was full of fat, and his small eyes were full of excitement. It's Luffy. Yasup also spoke. Wow tilde, look who this is. Isn't this the little brat crying and clamoring to go to sea with us? Ha ha ha. They are all old acquaintances tilde. After meeting, the guarders of red hair pirates did not save face for Luffy and directly started to talk about Luffy's dark history Tilda. I didn't expect it, Luffy, we agreed to meet in New World, but unexpectedly we met earlier. Shan Kekijin showed a wry smile. At East Blue, he bet his future on Luffy for an arm. They made a promise with Luffy that when he becomes a strong man at sea, they will meet in New World. But Shanks never imagined that they would meet today, when Luffy has only been out at sea for about half a year. And the meeting place is Naval Headquarters and say Paddy Archipelago Tilda. Although it is a little different from what was agreed at the beginning, the time and place are not the key. The key to the agreement lies in Luffy's strength, and can the fruit of Luffy be awakened? Regarding the awakening of rubber fruit, very few people know the inside story, and Shanks is one of them. It was no accident that he snatched this devil fruit from the secret escort ship of the world government. The secret to the importance of this devil fruit comes from Raftl. Before Roger turned himself in, he entrusted Shanks with his straw hat, and at the same time told Shanks what he had seen and heard in Raftl. Why do you say Roger Pirates went to raft early? The reason is that Joey Bowie has not yet appeared. And what Roger entrusted to Shanks was mainly to find Joey Bow. After getting the rubber fruit, Shanks still has no clue about this matter. But Roger told him that rubber fruit is completely different from other fruits. The other fruits are selected fruits tilde. And rubber fruit is the fruit picker. Before he surrendered, he told Shanks not to force him, but to follow the circumstances. When the devil fruit was accidentally eaten by Luffy, Shanks was shocked. After careful consideration, Shanks thinks that Luffy is very likely to be the chosen one. So, in order to lead Luffy into the pirate guidance, he gambled his left arm. But he never imagined that Luffy, 
who has been at sea for less than a year, would awaken rubber fruit. At this moment, Shanks was secretly happy. Captain Roger, I seem to bet right. However, Shanks also understands that Luffy's fruit awakening must have attracted the attention of the world government. It's not a good thing for Luffy. No matter how powerful the lion is, he must be careful when being targeted by hyenas. What's more, the government of the world is not a hyena. It is a hyena organization composed of densely packed hyenas. Then, become Luffy's protector now? Rubbing his chin slightly, Shanks thought. After thinking about it for a while, Shanks immediately dismissed the idea. Not to mention that Luffy would not agree with this proposal. What's more, Captain Roger once told him that rubber fruit is very spiritual, and he should follow the fate. Luffy hasn't arrived at Raft yet, and if he, Shanks, forces his way in, it could be counterproductive. That's all. It's better to wait and see what happens Tilda. Thinking of this, Shanks looked at Luffy. Luffy, do you have a life card? Ah, uh, Tilda? I have it. Luffy was stunned for a moment, then took out his life card from his small satchel. This is what Liu Olan helped him make. Shanks didn't talk nonsense, directly tore off a corner, then took out his life card tore off a piece, and handed it to Luffy. Very good. Luffy stuffed it into the small satchel like a baby. Luffy. At this time, Ace's voice came from the Moby Dick next door. Next moment Tilda. Bang. A string bridge was built from the deck of the Moby Dick. Ace. Seeing Ace running over the string bridge, Luffy excitedly gave Ace a bear hug. Shanks, let me introduce you. This is me. Luffy pulled Ace and introduced him enthusiastically. Hey, Ace. Stay safe Tilda. Shanks greeted Ace warmly. It's great to be able to see you alive. My idiot brother has been taken care of by you, and this time Summit War has received your great favor again. Thank you so much. Ace came in front of Shanks, and bowed at 90 degrees to Shanks with a swipe. Shanks smiled. Ha ha ha. Friends don't have to be so alien Tilda. Hey Tilda. Hearing this, Luffy was stunned. Friend? He immediately asked. You have known each other for a long time? Shanks was noncommittal, then smiled and said, Luffy. You have a big brother who really cares about you. Ace scratched his head and smiled. Before I joined the Whitebeard Pirates, I paid a special visit to Shanks. It turned out to be like this. Luffy understood, and suddenly felt a burst of warmth. How's Whitebeard's injury? At this time, Shanks asked a more serious topic. Ace's complexion also became serious, and he said in a deep voice, Dad was seriously injured in the Summit War, and he was already seriously ill, and the illness and injury bothered him at the same time, which made the situation worse. Very bad Tilda. Speaking of this, Ace couldn't hide the sadness on his face, but then he took a deep breath, but the only good news is that Dad's life is not in danger for the time being. As soon as I said this, there was a noise on the deck of the Moby Dick. Everyone looked over, and it turned out that Liu Ogang went to the deck of the Moby Dick. Luffy, is that your mate? Shanks looked at Roland's profile. This was the first time he noticed Liu Olan, and a surprised expression appeared in his eyes. The strong have a very keen sense of smell. With just one glance, he concluded that Liu Olan is a very powerful person. So. He whispered, a man like him is willing to be your first officer. Luffy, you are so lucky Tilda. Do you think so too? Wow ha ha. Me too. Hearing Shanks praise Liu Olan, Luffy's back molars were all exposed. Yeah, Liu Olan is the strongest among the Straw Hat Pirates. Since Luffy went out to sea, thanks to meeting Liu Olan. Otherwise, I don't know where he was abducted. Ace followed suit. Oh Tilda? You know him too? Shanks was curious. He just judged by his first impression and the sense of smell of the strong but Ace seems to be very familiar with Liu Olan, and his evaluation is so high. Ace nodded, yes, it's a long story. In short, he is a very miraculous person, a man with manga fruit ability, and the fruit ability developed by him is beyond miracles. Oh Tilda, Shanks looked interested. The other side Tilda. On the deck of the Moby Dick, Liu Olan came, accompanied by Kaya. It's you, the deputy captain of the Straw Hat Pirates. Marco is treating Whitebeard's injury. He is an ability user in the form of a Phoenix of the Zone Phantom Beast and he has a recovery ability. However, when this recovery ability is used on others, the effect will be greatly reduced Tilda. Because the Straw Hat Pirates had just joined forces with the Whitebeard Pirates, everyone's attitude was relatively friendly. But at this moment, Liu Lan walked straight towards the seriously injured Whitebeard, immediately alerting several captains. Someone even consciously stood on the road in front of Liu Lan. Gula la la la, Tilda you are here. Whitebeard opened his eyes, saw Liu Lan, and smiled happily. Fortunately, he told the captain to open. Although the captains are still vigilant, they don't mean to be rebellious. To see if my old bones can hold on? Whitebeard forced a smile and wanted to make a joke, but the serious injury immediately caused a severe cough. Liu Lan smiled, why don't you say that you are lucky? Your injuries happen to be what Kaya is good at. Huh? Wait. Hearing Liu Lan's words, Marco's eyes lit up. He said emotionally, you mean, the ship doctor on your ship can treat the old man's trauma? Suddenly, he looked at Kai in surprise. Could this weak-looking girl be the ship's doctor? Gula la la la. Whitebeard grinned. I am aware of my own injury. Even with surgery, 
It is difficult to be effective. People say that older people are more stubborn. I think it's true Tilda. Leo Land spread his hands and said with a smile, Captain Whitebeard, you have come home so hard. Do you really want to try Kaya's medical skills? Finally got home. Yeah Tilda. I almost died in naval headquarters Tilda. Now that I can go home, if I die like this, what is the point of my going home? For the sake of this family, I should actively go to treatment. Thinking of this, Whitebeard leaned on the handle of the chair, propped himself up, and gurgled. Then I will thank you. But Liu Olan showed a smile at the corner of his mouth. Don't rush to thank me, I plan to charge you. You la 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 la. There is a fee Tilda. Then you are looking for the wrong person. I have no money Tilda. Whitebeard immediately spread his hands. He's not talking nonsense, but he really has no money. As long as he has money, he will send it all to his hometown Tilda. Therefore, although it is the Four Emperors group, Whitebeard himself is really poor. Liu Olan smiled. It doesn't matter, your sons are rich Tilda. With so many Whitebeard sons. It would be a lot of money for one person to scrape together. How much dot 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 how much? At this time, Jaws asked in a low voice. Liu Olan raised two fingers. 2007? Seeing this number, Jaws was a little surprised, but it was still acceptable. Nanny? Liu Olan's face deformed. Look at your father, he is going to die. You sons, you only pay two million in total? Question mark. If I were Whitebeard, I would beat you to death. These unfilial sons Tilda W. All the captains suddenly turned black Tilda. But there seems to be nothing to refute. Yes. Dad's injuries are so serious. Even if only the captain's money is collected, each person is in the early 100,000. It seems to be quite picky. Okay, 20 million is 20 million. We are not stingy people. Liu Olan, as long as you can make Dad's injury better, 20 million Baileys will be yours. Marco said proudly. At this time Tilda, Shanks, Luffy and Ace also walked over the string bridge at this time. With 5.9 Whitebeard's injury, 20 million is really not expensive. Shanks commented honestly. Luffy grinned. Wow ha ha. Don't worry. Liu Lan is very reliable. Well, yes. Hearing that Dad's injury was saved, Ace said excitedly, as long as Dad's injury can get better, don't say 20 million, even 30 million. We must also give him. But at this moment, Liu Lan frowned. Ah, are you all the captains of the bearded pirates so stingy, Nanny? Question mark. Hearing this, the captains gritted their back molars at once. What do you mean? Did you mean 200 million? Question mark. Hey, hey. Hey, are you stealing money? Even for the most unscrupulous doctor, it is impossible to charge more than 10 million baileys, right? We are willing to give 20 million baileys, which is outrageous Tilda. This expensive one is out of line. This is not nonsense. Basically, the captains and pirates on Whitebeard Pirates exploded Tilda. This Nima Tilda. The black wall is not so black. When they thought they had seen the biggest unscrupulous guy in the world, Liu Olan shook his head, and then said unhurriedly, 2 billion. Patients plus injuries. All of them will be cured. Puff. Shanks had just stepped off the string bridge, and he hadn't stood still yet. When he heard this number, he immediately spewed out his old groove. 20 slash Z Tilda. This is on me. I have to sell myself to get the money Tilda. I am Nima. This young man. Just now I praised you a lot Tilda. Sorry, it seems I'm superficial. Chapter 217 A Manga for 2 billion treatment fees. How dare you open your mouth. Please subscribe. Nanny. Marco's sleepy eyes, which he couldn't wake up for 10,000 years, are now staring round and round like two eggs, dot 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 equals 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 plus z, Jaws's eyes widened even further, an expression as if he had seen a ghost appeared on his face, and his eyes were full of disbelief, boy, what nonsense are you talking about, what disease needs two billion berries, question mark, damn it, you're here to tease us, two billion, don't even think about it, when we are three year olds, question mark, outrageous for the price, there's no way we could do something so stupid, upon hearing the outrageous price, all the captains jumped up. If it weren't for the fact that Liu Olan was their ally who fought side by side, these guys would probably have already had a good time Tilda. Liu Olan. The price is outrageous. Ace walked quickly to Liu Olan's side. He has always been very grateful to Liu Olan. Not only did Liu Olan give him comic books and let him practice fire dragon magic and this summit war, the participation of the Straw Hat Pirates, on the surface they are fighting for Luffy, but in fact, they are also his ace's savior. The most important thing is that the Straw Hat Pirates have the brain of Liu Olan, so Ace doesn't have to worry about Luffy. Just hearing this price, Ace doesn't want to blame Liu Olan for anything Tilda. Re, really expensive. I knows that your pirate group has just been established for less than a year, so it must be very short of money. You are our friends, and we will definitely not be stingy. Liu Olan, if you can really make Dad's injury better, we will the entire Whitebeard Pirates will raise money for you. I dare not say too much but a few billion baileys can still be raised. Do you think this will work? Ace said that, on the one hand, he was bargaining for Liu Lan. On the other hand, it is actually speaking for Liu Lan. After all, 
The price of 2 billion baileys has obviously made everyone's impression of Liu Olan drop sharply. Ace now wants to quickly ease O8's atmosphere. Luffy also came over Tilda. Liu Olan, this uncle is a good man, why don't we avoid? A. Before he finished speaking, Liu Olan covered his mouth. Wipe, you idiot. If you are not in charge of your home, you don't know how expensive firewood, rice, oil and salt are. Originally, Liu Olan didn't care about money, but after raising Xi Amili, the money was seriously not enough. Little Melly's ration is too expensive. Not to mention anything else, the trunk of the precious tree Adam, worth two to three hundred million yuan, was dried up by Little Melly in one meal. When we got to the Fishman Island, Liu Lan was still thinking about the Sun Tree Eve. Considering Yang Shu Eve's particularity to the Fishman Island, Liu Lan definitely cannot steal Yang Shu Eve directly. His idea is to go to Neptune, the king of the Fishman Island, to buy some branches of the Sun Tree Eve. Of course, even if this is the case, it is estimated that it is impossible for others to agree. But Liu Lan has some plans in mind, and it shouldn't be a big problem by then. Luffy, don't worry about this matter. The price I gave is very conscientious. Letting go of Luffy's mouth. Liu Olan looked at Ace and the captains, and continued, Maybe you didn't hear clearly? I'm not talking about making Whitebeard's injury better, but completely curing all of Whitebeard's injuries and diseases. Return you a healthy Whitebeard. I don't need to explain how valuable this is to you Whitebeard pirates. When Liu Olan reiterated the point of his speech again, everyone shifted their attention from 2 billion to complete cure. Wait. You're saying, Daddy's body can fully recover? Question mark. Ace grabbed Liu Olan's hand excitedly and asked nervously. Um. Liu Olan nodded. This. Is it really possible? Mark also got excited at this time, and his palms were trembling. Hey, 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 dad's injuries are serious. Are you sure you can completely heal these injuries? Question mark. There's also dad's disease. It's been a chronic illness for more than 10 years, and dad's body is constantly being eaten away. Can this also be cured? Boy Liu Lan, even if you make up a story, you have to make it closer to the truth Tilda. The captains obviously have reservations about this complete cure. After all, this kind of thing is completely beyond their imagination. If dad's injuries can be completely cured, then for the past 10 years, dad has been hanging water, giving injections, and taking medicine day and night, isn't he just like a fool? Question mark. Hearing the captain's questions, Liu Olan pouted, Luffy, tell them, what is my occupation? Aha Tilda, occupation, Luffy was taken aback for a moment, and then said, oh, you are the cartoonist of our straw hat pirates. Did you hear that? Liu Olan looked at the captains again and spread his hands. So, I can only draw comics, not make up stories Tilda. The captains were dumbfounded. Good guy. Is this the point? Question mark. Everyone, don't get excited. Ace quickly blocked Liu Olan and the captain's vice admiral. He took Liu Olan's hand and said earnestly, Liu Olan, don't mind Tilda they just don't understand you, so they question you. I believe you, since you said that you can completely cure dad's injuries, then you can definitely do it. Afterwards, he patted his chest and said to the captains, Everyone, I can guarantee it with my life. Liu Olan is really a person who can do what he says. Since he said it, then he can really do it. Heal Papa's injury. This two billion baileys, in exchange for a good Papa, isn't it worth it? Value. Marco immediately patted his thigh in response. If we say, who in the entire Whitebeard pirate group cares about Dad the most? Definitely Marco. Even if it is Ace, you have to move back a little bit Tilda. Yi Zhang also gritted his teeth and said, Maid, if it can really cure Dad completely, two billion will be two billion. At worst, Lozi will go till you die. Joss said seriously, if dad can be cured, I will take out all my savings for so many years. I took all my money too. That's right. Everyone has the money to pay, but they don't have the money to borrow. No matter what, the two billion must be given to him. The captains may not believe Liu Olan's words, but they will not disbelieve Ace's words. Now that Ace has said so, they believe that Liu Olan can really completely heal Whitebeard's injury. They are willing to do anything for their father. I disagree. Just when everyone's opinions reached a consensus. A discordant voice was heard. It was Whitebeard himself. Daddy, Daddy? The captains had surprised looks on their faces. Gula la la la. How can Lozi spend all his son's savings to treat his illness? Whitebeard smiled, and then looked at Liu Olan. Liu Olan boy, you can ask your ship doctor to treat me casually. The old man can still hold on with his body. Father, we took the money voluntarily. Namur, the captain of the 8th division, said. Captain Blenheim of the 9th division also immediately said, Yes, Dad. This injury must be healed. In the past, even if we had money, we couldn't find a doctor to treat it. Now we finally have the opportunity, so we can't miss it. Ah, father, just listen to us this time. Yazang said earnestly. Stop talking, the old man has made up his mind. Whitebeard picked up a bowl of wine and damned it. But because of the injury, he coughed violently again. Captain, you must take good care of your body. Captain, you are getting an injection. You have to cooperate at this time Tilda. Several leopard nurses persuaded with concern. Is this what you said you could hold on to? Liu Olan rubbed his forehead, looked like he was having a headache, 
and joked. I said white beard, not I said you, you are so selfish, nanny? Question mark. As soon as these words came out, white beard put down the wine bowl in his hand, his eyes widened, boy. Be careful what you say, Papa is not a selfish person. The reason why he has no money is because he spends money. Father is so kind to us. He is not a selfish person at all. The captains were not happy either. The atmosphere suddenly became tense again. Don't feel wronged, I'm telling the truth. In this summit war, everyone in the world has seen your love for your sons and your father's love like a mountain. As if not seeing the faces of the white beard pirates, Liu Olan continued, but now, when your children want to show filial piety to you, you go and give them this secret servant. What does it mean? Only allow your father to love like a mountain? Don't allow your sons to be filial? Question mark. Well Tilda, when you hang up, the world will know that there was such an opportunity in front of you, but the white beard pirates are unwilling to take the money. Think about it. At that time, your sons will be scolded for being unfilial Tilda. If you want me to say, during the summit war, you were like a mountain of fatherly love. But when it comes to dealing with the current matter, your fatherly love is like a mountain falling apart. Listen, white beard, a loving father and a loving son. That's perfect. Be a truly loving father and give your sons a chance to be filial. Also let your sons enjoy the praise of being called filial sons. Leo Lan said such a big deal in a long-winded manner, but in fact, to put it bluntly, it is just to make money Tilda. No way Tilda. Originally, the captains were willing to pay, but the person involved was not happy. It seems that it is not easy to make money by crafting, not only craftsmanship, but also eloquence Tilda. In contrast, Catching pirates and exchanging bounties is much easier Tilda. Father, just give us a chance to be filial. We have been taken care of by you for many years. We also want to be a dutiful son. If your injury worsens because we didn't get money for your treatment today, our conscience will be disturbed. Yeah, in the years to come, we will all spend it in self-blame. Dad, don't hesitate anymore. The captains also prayed earnestly. I have to say, Liu Olan's words really put Whitebeard on the line. As for his own affairs, Whitebeard could care less. Oh, 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 but if his own child bears the notoriety of being unfilial because of this, Whitebeard would rather die than have such a thing happen. He fell into deep thought Tilda. After a while, he raised his head to look at Liu Olan, and immediately grinned. You la 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 la, you kid said it so nicely, I don't even think about it, who asked for these two billion baileys? Damn it, can't it be cheaper? Question mark. When Liu Olan heard this, he immediately felt happy with Whitebeard's character, since he wants to bargain. It means that he has agreed in his heart. But, if you bargain Tilda, Leo Lan sighed suddenly, Hey, every family has its own heart to read scriptures. Whitebeard, I am actually the same kind of person as you. You care about your son, but I love your daughter. Do you think I want two billion a lot? Actually I don't need any of this money myself. It's all for my daughter's food expenses. PFFT, you're lying to a ghost. Whitebeard rolled his eyes and said, Two billion for food expenses. Do you have a daughter from a reinforcement camp? No, no. I'm just a daughter, but she has a big appetite. She ate nearly 300 million yuan in one meal. If she couldn't eat so well, who would want to go out to practice medicine under the sun in this hot day, holding her daughter at home aren't you having fun? Liu Lan said, and then pointed to Luffy. If you don't believe me, you can ask him, he won't lie. Luffy nodded. Artilda, yes. The food that little Millie ate last time did cost more than 200 million baileys. More than 200 million baileys? Question mark. Beast opened his mouth wide. I can't save so much money for this meal in my life. So, if the price is concerned, don't cut it down. It's really conscientious. Liu Olan spread his hands, grinning slightly. However, I can buy one and get one free. Buy one get one free? Two such opportunities for treatment? In this way, on average, it is equivalent to one billion times? Whitebeard thought to himself, this seems to be okay. But the next moment, he almost burped out a mouthful of old blood. I only heard Liu Olan say, buy a treatment. Get a comic book as a gift! Exclamation mark. All the captains were dumbfounded. I am Nima. Comics? Question mark. What the hell are you talking about? Question mark. But the moment Liu Olan said this, Ace hastily shouted, Dad! Promise him! Chapter 218 Whitebeard, Liu Olan is right. I am a complete idiot. Please subscribe, Father. Promise him quickly. When he heard that Liu Olan could present a comic book to Whitebeard, Ace jumped up excitedly. If it wasn't for the fact that the two billion funds hadn't been raised yet, he would have put the two billion directly into Liu Olan's hands immediately, and the deal was done. What Tilda? Jaws looked at Ace with a confused face, and said incredulously, Ace, didn't you hear clearly, this guy said that buy ten and get ten free is to give ten man and books, what's the use of that thing? Admos, the captain of the 13th squad, also said, yes, what can a broken comic book do Tilda? Our father doesn't read comics, speed o gear. The captain of the 14th squad, curled his lips obviously thinking that the gift of a comic book is just a joke Tilda. No. Stop talking. Ace hurriedly stopped the captains from chattering, and then looked at Whitebeard, 
Dad, believe me, this deal is definitely profitable for us. I guarantee it with my life. Ace, are you sure you're serious now? Marco stared at Ace, and with his familiarity with Ace, he concluded that the Ace in front of him was indeed Ace. But the problem is, why is Ace so determined to give two billion baileys to Leo Lan? After thinking about it, Marco couldn't figure it out. Just don't think about it. Let Dad decide for himself. Whitebeard studied Ace carefully for a while tilde. He took a deep breath. Okay, Dad, I believe you. Then, he looked at Liu Olan, boy Liu Olan, do you charge first and then treat, or treat first and then charge? As for the money, it may take some time to raise. What are you talking about? With your reputation as Whitebeard, I won't worry about your refusal. Liu Olan spread his hands, and then he looked like Bailey, and said with a smile, then let's start the treatment right away. Whitebeard laughed, Goo -oo -oo -oo. I can do it anytime. Okay, for the convenience of treatment. Let me change the size for you first. Now that Whitebeard had agreed, Liu Olan didn't ink any ink, and just turned his palm over, and the small card of Clow appeared. Magical energy enveloped Whitebeard Tilda. Um, at this moment, Whitebeard suddenly felt as if some external force enveloped him. The jet black substance immediately appeared on his body surface. Only, due to serious injuries and illnesses, Whitebeard is in poor condition at this time. Those armament haki are trembling violently, as if they are like candles that may go out at any time. Tilda, Liu Olan reminded. Don't resist, or there will be no cure. Hearing Liu Olan's words, Whitebeard immediately understood that Liu Ogang used the external force just now. Generally speaking, an emperor of the sea with the identity of Bayou would definitely not let the power of outsiders act on him easily. But Liu Olan is different. In the previous battle at naval headquarters, he had already decided to die, but it was Liu Olan's words that brought him back from the emotion of death. If Liu Olan wants to harm him, then there is no need to be the king of mouth escape before, just watch Whitebeard go to die. With this in mind, Whitebeard removed armament haki. The magical energy formed a halo around the surface of Whitebeard's body. Then this layer of halo shrunk rapidly, making Whitebeard's height and size shrink along with it. In a blink of an eye, Whitebeard became a 1.8 meter tall existence. Puff, looking at Whitebeard in front of him, Shanks didn't hold back immediately, and burst into laughter. Ha 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 ha, I didn't expect to have the opportunity to see you from such a perspective. Shanks walked up to Whitebeard, looked down slightly, and grinned. You know, Shanks is 1.99 meters tall, and Whitebeard's real height is 6.66 meters. Every time I saw Whitebeard in the past, Shanks had to look up to Whitebeard. Even his angle of elevation has to be even close to that of Han Gushu's contemptuous hero. But now, looking at Whitebeard, who is a head shorter than him, he feels so much better. You boy, you can really take advantage. Whitebeard curled his lips. It was the first time for him to experience so many tall and strong from the perspective of a dwarf. Ha ha. This kind of cheapness will never come across once in a lifetime. Don't take it for nothing. Don't you think? Shanks smiled and deliberately adjusted his perspective to the best overlooking state tilde. Pull out these useless things first. Liu Olan grabbed the water pipes on Whitebeard's body and tore them off with a snap. Hello. Seeing Liu Olan being so cruel, the captains immediately exclaimed. Afterwards, Liu Olan called Kai over. He urged, I will take care of the front injuries, and you will take care of the back injuries. In theory, Liu Olan can handle it all by himself. But although Kai has learned medical ninjutsu, she has never practiced it. With white beard in front of me, a clinical patient with suitable conditions, isn't it just suitable for Kai to practice? Question mark. Certainly. It was also for Liu Olan to practice. Mastering this stuff belongs to mastering. But there is still a difference in effect between those who have used it and those who have not. Um, Kaya nodded, tension and joy appearing on her little face. In the past, she felt like a waste on the straw hat pirate ship. Since Liu Olan gave him a comic book, the number of medical doctors Kaya practiced, she seems to have found the goal of life at once tilde. And, with a craft at hand, Kaya is finally confident. Otherwise, no matter how well everyone treats her, she will always feel inferior because of her incompetence. Whitebeard got into position and Liu Olan and Kaya pinched Whitebeard back and forth. The next moment, the energy brilliance of Chakra emerged on the palms of Liu Olan and Kaya at the same time. This is healing jutsu in medical ninjutsu. What is this? Devil Fruit's ability. Marco leaned over and asked cautiously, but then he shook his head immediately. No, if it's Devil Fruit's ability, both of you can use it. Beast wondered. The problem is how to treat it. Is it enough to put your hands on the old man's body? Lakio said seriously, no, they didn't press on the old man. Their palms and the distance between one palm of the old man are transmitting energy through the air. It really looks like Devil Fruit's ability. It looks like Wanokyuni's ninjutsu line. Yazang came over, as a warrior of Wanokyuni, he also had a lot of understanding of the ninja lineage. Finally someone who understands Tilda. Liu Olan smiled and didn't explain much. If you want this kind of confusion, let the other party guess. Hearing this, Yazang's eyes lit up. Is it really ninjutsu? Have you ever been to Wanokuni? Roland smiled. Wanokuni is not the only one who has ninjutsu. As the chakra energy in their hands penetrated into Whitebeard's wound, 
The cells in Whitebeard's wound immediately activated visibly with a naked eye tilde. OMG, look at daddy's wounds, my god. This is really an exaggeration. The speed and effect of this self-healing can at least catch up to one-tenth of Marco's Phoenix Flame. Absolutely. But Marco's Phoenix Flames only have a huge effect on himself, and the effect on others is less than one millionth of his own. The captains gathered around at once, watching in shock the rapid healing of Whitebeard's wound. Soon, within a few minutes, an unfathomable knife wound on Whitebeard's body was healed as was a single hole in his back. Liu Olan and Kai each replaced a wound and continued treatment. Where is ninjutsu mastered? Yazang continued to ask. This, is a secret. Liu Olan pouted, not wanting to say anything more. Especially in the face of big bosses who wear women's clothing, they don't want to talk to each other. Time flies. Three hours have passed. Whitebeard's injuries are finally fully healed. Gula la la la. Whitebeard clenched his fists tightly, and let out a deep drink with a red face. Really healed from the injury, you really have real skills. It's just that. Whitebeard's tone of voice was obviously lacking when he spoke. Marco quickly said, Wait, Daddy just healed from the trauma, right? The serious illness that has tortured Daddy for many years is still not healed. I can hear it from Daddy's voice. Don't worry, I just checked Whitebeard when he was treating him. His condition is advanced pulmonary fibrosis, and two thirds of his lungs are white. Such a situation. He can continue to live. I really admire his perseverance. Examining it himself, Liu Olan determined the cause of Whitebeard. Then, how about treatment now? The captains all looked at Liu Olan eagerly, they couldn't wait to have a healthy dad. Liu Olan shook his head, his lungs cannot be treated. For a lung that has been completely fibrotic, no matter how powerful the healing jutsu is, it will not be able to wake up the completely dead cells. R, hey, 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 you could have said just now that the treatment of injuries and patients will be included. Aren't you lying like this? When the captains who were full of expectations suddenly heard such an answer, Xu immediately went into the riot, but Whitebeard grinned and said, Goo. <laughs> then, he looked at Liu Olan, boy, since the treatment did not meet expectations, then I will only pay you 10% off the treatment fee, is that okay? Hey, I said, what are you in a hurry for? Liu Olan shrugged his shoulders and said teasingly, Whitebeard's lungs can't be cured but they can be transplanted. I said that the disease can be cured, but can I treat you half and half? With regard to organ transplantation, pirate world is not like the rejection effect on earth. In this world, even animal limbs can be transplanted into human beings. Besides, that money. I want to raise my daughter, so I have to earn it. Is it easy for me to raise a daughter tilde? Can it be transplanted? Good. Transplant mine. You stay and go. My reminder is similar to dad's. Transplant mine. I'm the oldest, let me do it. When they heard that dad's lungs were saved, the captains were excited again Tilda. After all, you are also the captains of the Four Emperors Regiment, why are you so restless? Looking at the situation of the captains, Liu Olan pulled down with black lines all over his head Tilda. He said calmly, not to mention, Whitebeard will definitely not agree to use your organs for transplantation. And, in this war, many brothers of your pirate team died in the battle. You can use their lungs transplanted entirely to Whitebeard. No way. Hearing this, Whitebeard refused without hesitation and even his face became stern, I will never use the body parts of my sons to keep myself alive. This is absolutely impossible. It's actually easy to do. You just need to find a few damn pirates and use their organs for transplantation. Liu Olan was not angry, but asked lightly, what I just don't understand is that the reason why you are angry is because it will destroy the remains of your sons, right? Certainly, Whitebeard said angrily. Liu Olan smiled, if you think so, then I have to criticize you, you are such an idiot. Whitebeard was furious all of a sudden. But Liu Olan has continued to say, I have seen my father be killed, and before he died, he transplanted his own organs to his son, so that his life can be continued on his son's body. I have also seen someone who died unexpectedly, before he died. He asked his family to transplant his organs to those in need. In a sense, his life is also extended. And now, you have the opportunity to allow one of your dead sons to continue life on your body in this form. Instead of accepting it with pleasure, you even angrily refuse it? Question mark. Oh bastard. Whitebeard. You say dot 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 aren't you an idiot? When Liu Olan said this, Whitebeard's face was blue and purple, extremely ugly. What Liu Olan said, he is speechless. Father, Liu Olan is right. Brothers who died, who wouldn't want their own body organs to continue to live on daddy's body. That's right. If it were me, I would be happy to die underground. Using the organs of my dead body to transplant to my father, not only will my life continue in a special form, but it is also a great filial piety. Father, why use someone else's daddy? The captains were also awakened by what Liu Olan said, and they all persuaded Whitebeard impassionately. Whitebeard pondered for a long time, then patted himself on the head heavily, Liu Olan, you are right, I am a complete idiot, 
Get Jizel, obviously I can allow my son's life to continue in my body. But I still want to refuse. I'm hopelessly stupid. Listening to Whitebeard's confession. The captains had tears in their eyes and joy in their hearts. Later, when a reminder and Whitebeard reminded similar lungs from the pirates, Liu Lad performed the medical ninjutsu technique. After a few hours of surgery, a brand new Whitebeard came back to life in situ Tilda. How's it going, Dad? Daddy. The captains gathered around. Whitebeard stands up, fists pumping. Boom. This solid and powerful force. And that breath of air. There is no doubt that Whitebeard's patient is completely cured. Good. Dad. Great. Dad's injuries are gone. Dad is healthy. I'm so happy. The captains were excited and jubilant one by one. But Ace was not too busy to be happy about this. But looked at Liu Olan, and asked cautiously. Um, that manga, are you still giving it away? Speaking of, Ace has never spoken in such a low voice in his life. But there is no way tilde for him. Liu Olan healed Whitebeard's injury, which is already a great kindness. He shouldn't have urged Liu Olan in any way. But he is also afraid that Liu Olan will forget about this matter tilde. You know, he is a person who has benefited from comics and he understands how precious a comic of Liu Olan is. So, in order not to let Dad miss such a precious comic, Ace had the cheek to remind Liu Olan at this time. After finishing speaking, he bowed to Liu Olan in shame. I'm very sorry, please don't mind my rudeness. I. I. Value your comics too much. Order. Chapter 219 Shanks Wonder 2. Please subscribe. The captains of the Whitebeard Pirates are all immersed in the excited atmosphere of Dad's complete recovery, and no one cares about whether manga is not manga tilde. But Ace didn't care about his father's physical condition first, but went to ask Liu Olan for some comics, and everyone was very puzzled. Hey, hey, Ace, the old injuries are all healed. What comics do you still care about? Yeah, don't say it's a comic, even if it's 100 million baileys, you won't say anything unless you give it to us. That's right, Dad's health is the most important thing. But Ace ignored them at all, but looked at Liu Olan sincerely. But in fact, he was actually too anxious. Liu Olan promised to give Whitebeard a comic book as a gift. For anyone who knows the comics, this looks like a huge boon to Whitebeard. But for Liu Olan himself, he is also the one who benefits, especially someone as powerful and talented as Whitebeard. No matter what manga he gets, he will definitely be able to cultivate to a very strong level. And the stronger Whitebeard cultivates, the stronger the ability that Liu Olan gets at the same time. So this kind of thing, Liu Olan has no reason to break his promise tilde. Ever since, Liu Olan stretched out his hand into his bosom to model tilde. The mind communicated with the system space, and Liu Olan randomly took out a comic. I was about to hand it to Ace, but I saw the title of the book is question mark recover warlock's past and present life question mark tilde fk. With a shake of his little hand, AI Gang immediately took back the text comic. Then he stretched his hand into his bosom, pretending to search for it. Take out a comic again question mark the legend of heroic spirit Hercules? Exclamation mark. 12. Uncle B. Tilda. It seems that it doesn't match Whitebeard's style. But, if Whitebeard is allowed to read this manga, it seems that it is not impossible Tilda. At this time, Ace also noticed the wild and unruly Hercules on the cover, and his heart suddenly moved. F.K. Tilda. This guy looks fierce. Immediately, Ace looked at Liu Olan eagerly. Tilda. Looking at Ace's A's that seemed to spark electric sparks, Liu Olan couldn't help but gasp Tilda. Wipe. 610 here you are. Hurry up and throw away the comic book in your hand. Nima Tilda. A big old man actually looks at me with that kind of eyes. It's so embarrassing. Thank you so much. Ace held the manga tightly in his hands as if touching a peerless treasure, and bowed to Liu Yuan rollingly. Then he rushed to Whitebeard excitedly. Dad, you must put this comic away. Believe me, after reading this comic, you will never put it down. Whitebeard is completely confused by Ace Tilda. What's wrong with me being so big? Question mark. Could it be that he was tortured so much by Marine, that his brain was lost Tilda? But with so many people present, Whitebeard didn't want to make Ace lose face. Gula la 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 Tilda. Grinning happily, Whitebeard reached out and took the comic. Okay. Since you have been emphasizing the importance of this comic, Dad must read it carefully. Speaking of it Tilda, Whitebeard had never read comics before. But since he promised Ace to read this comic, he will definitely not break his promise. This is why he can convince many people to agree with him as an old man. The captains didn't pay much attention to the comics. But, Ace's emphasis on comics caught the attention of red-haired Shanks. Don't look at the red-haired Shanks who usually looks like a fool, but his mind is very meticulous. He had communicated with Ace for a while before coming to the Moby Dick. What he can confirm is that Ace is absolutely normal. Then a normal person does a very abnormal behavior. There must be a link here that is something special that is different from ordinary people. After thinking about it for a while, it is obvious that the problem is Liu Olan's comics. Whitebeard, congratulations on having a perfectly healthy body. If this had happened before the summit war, Sengoku might not have dared to start this war. Shanks came over to congratulate Whitebeard. Gulalalala. Whitebeard looked at Shanks and smiled knowingly, speaking of which, 
I still want to thank you very much. I'm just a little bit of icing on the cake when the war is over. The red-haired Shanks shook his head slightly and smiled. If you want to be grateful, you should thank the Straw Hat Pirates. If they hadn't participated in this war, I'm afraid when I came, the situation of the Whitebeard Pirates would have been very difficult up. Although what Shanks said was not pleasant to hear, everyone present understood that the facts were indeed as he said. Those who have experienced this war and witnessed the fighting power of the naval headquarters all know how powerful it is. If only the Whitebeard Pirates face naval headquarters this time, the consequences will be disastrous. Everyone looked at Luffy and Liu Olan. Luffy scratched his head. Ace is my brother, I will definitely save him. You don't need to look at me either. The captain's battle is the battle of our straw hat pirates. There is no need to say thank you, and the two billion baileys can be collected as soon as possible Tilda. Liu Olan spread his hands. What's the use of words of thanks Tilda? Money is the real thing. Ha 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 ha. Everyone in the white beard pirates laughed. Shanks said at this time, Liu Olan, I just saw that you took out a comic and gave it to white beard. Do you usually like to read comics? Well, let's see. Liu Olan pouted and suddenly noticed something. Obviously, Gux is directing the Tropic to comics. Wow, Shanks, Liu Olan is the manga artist of our Straw Hat Pirates. The manga presented to Uncle Whitebeard just now was actually drawn by Liu Olan himself. Noticing that Shanks seemed interested in comics, Luffy immediately explained. In a sense, his relationship with Shanks is even as close as a mentor. Oh Tilda? You are so talented, and your job is actually a manga artist. Hearing this, Shanks showed a horrified look. Hey, hey. Mango artist? Isn't it true? Can mango artists be this strong in battle? Refreshed my understanding of mango artists Tilda. Okay, our strength is not even as good as cartoonists. So what excuse do you have to say that you are not lazy in your cultivation? Mango artists can cultivate Haki to that level. It seems that such a thing as talent really exists. When they heard that Liu Olan's job is a cartoonist, the captains of the Whitebeard Pirates present felt extremely ashamed Tilda. By the way, Liu Olan, do you still have the mango you drew? I want to buy a copy. Seeing that the topic was ripe, Shanks stated his purpose. Whitebeard sneezed with a smile, isn't it? A guy like you actually likes to read comics. Ha ha, that's not true. Didn't I take in an adopted daughter before? She likes to read comics very much. It just so happens that Liu Olan has comics here, so I plan to buy ten copies and take them back as an anus for her. The redhead explained with a smile. Then, he looked at Liu Olan, how is it? I wonder if Yuta-chan will be lucky enough to become your fan tilde. Yuta sauce, I think it's you, the old watermelon sauce who wants to become my fan. From the behavior of the red hair, Liu Olan has already judged it. This guy must have had, Ayaj, doubts about Ace's behavior, so he wanted to find out with a comic, only. Liu Olan's comics are not given randomly to Whitebeard, on the one hand, because of the two billion treatment fee, it is nothing to give a comic book. On the other hand, Whitebeard is a man who only thinks about his family, and he will not bring any hindrance to the straw hat pirates. Hash. If the Whitebeard pirates need help in the future, with Whitebeard's character of reciprocating, he will definitely help without hesitation. As for the redhead Shanks, it's not that Liu Olan thinks Shanks is a bad guy, it's just that when he crossed over, One Piece hadn't ended yet. Liu Olan's spoilers can only spoil the plots he has seen. When Luffy finished the Wanokyuni chapter, the redhead Shanks also wanted to compete for the big secret treasure. This is a bit strange. It stands to reason that if Shanks wants to know the secret of Raftl, he can tell him the original Roger Pirates. And according to Liu Olan's guess, after the Roger Pirates came back from Raftl, they must have shared this secret with Shanks. So, after Luffy defeated Kaidos, why is Shanks ready to take the Red Hair Pirates to Raftl? Question mark. There are some things here that are actually not difficult to judge Tilda. Arrow. Before Luffy showed up, Shanks didn't think about going to Raftl because he knew it would be useless if he went. So, on a darker note, maybe Shanks is using Luffy. Although the probability of this is relatively small, Liu Olan has to guard against it. Blackening this kind of thing is not uncommon in comics. Of course, if you really give Shanks a comic, Liu Olan doesn't have to worry too much. After all, the system is his, and he can take back other people's abilities anytime he wants. Thinking of this, Liu Olan smiled and said, Since I bought it for your daughter, I don't want more Tilda. Hearing this, Shanks was secretly happy, and immediately said boldly, You make an offer, I will never bargain. Liu Olan nodded, Well, let's give two billion pel some meaning Tilda. Puff. The smile on Shanks' face hadn't fully bloomed yet, and he was immediately shocked back. He widened his eyes. How much? How much? Two billion friendship price. Liu Olan confirmed. Not only Shanks is stunned, but the Whitebeard pirates are also stunned. FK. A manga is worth two billion tilde. Quartering with our father's treatment is a bonus tilde? No dot 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 not. Shanks looked stiff, turned his head to look at Whitebeard, then looked at Liu Olan and said, You treated Whitebeard's injury just now. Didn't you use comics as a gift? You sell me two billion for a gift? Isn't that outrageous? Question mark. Ah, that's right. 
didn't he I say it, buy one get one free, buy a treatment worth two billion and get a manga worth two billion as a gift, isn't he there anything wrong with that? Liu O Lan spread his hands and looked at the crowd, puff, everyone spewed out the old gutter again, what the hell, if you want to say that, there is nothing wrong with it, after working on it for a long time, it turns out that what you said about buying one and getting one free is really a gift of equal value, dot 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 no, you're not kidding me, are you, is it really worth two billion baileys for a manga, Shanks was a little dazed, wanting to make sure if Liu Olan was joking, of course I'm serious, if you don't believe me, ask Case, is my comic worth two billion baileys, Liu Olan said, worth it, so worth it, Ace answered without hesitation, 20 slash Z, let me say the value is far more than two billion, it can cultivate the ability no less than that of devil fruit, and the ability will not be restricted by sea stone, if such an ability is sold on the black market, I am afraid that the price will be auctioned to the sky, Shanks didn't know what to say, after a moment of silence, he murmured, is there no room, or, Liu Olan rubbed his chin, his eyes fell on Shanks shoulder, I'll treat your shoulder, and I'll give you a buy one free, Liu Olan is not out of kindness for a while, but because Shanks shoulder is deliberately betting on Luffy, this is a great kindness to Luffy, with Shanks strength and connections, if he wants to transplant an arm, it's not a big problem, prosthetics can also be produced by eating a devil fruit, but Shanks didn't do that, I'm afraid it's not that simple, as long as his left arm is broken, Luffy will always be a head shorter than him, if Shanks arm can be connected, then Luffy's debt to Shanks will not be so heavy, not sure, but what if Shanks really turns black in the future, Liu Olan also needs to make preparations in advance to open the shackles in Luffy's heart, hearing Liu Olan's opinion, Shanks asked hesitantly, how much is the treatment fee? Liu Olan stretched out two fingers, two billion, puff, everyone present couldn't keep their mouths open tilde, anyway, it's two billion after all, chapter 221 handed big move, no, it's a physics level A, please subscribe, 201 Z, hearing this number, Shanks turned green, although he is four emperors, for him, two billion is an astronomical figure, the white beard pirates still have an advantage in numbers, everyone can raise some, two billion is not impossible tilde, but red hair pirates is taking the elite route, compared to the sheer size of the white beard pirates, the red hair pirates are basically the same ship as the red fides, even if it is raised, it will not raise a few dollars, a constipated expression appeared on his face, after thinking about it, Shanks could only say with difficulty, I can't afford that much money, Liu Olan smiled and said, it's okay, you can come to me for treatment after you raise the money, for Luffy's sake, you can jump in the queue if you come tilde, Shanks was speechless, still jumping in line, Nima, the treatment fee of two billion baileys needs to be lined up, Liu Olan, Shanks has been taking good care of me, can the treatment be cheaper, seeing Shanks in such a difficult situation, Luffy couldn't sit idly by, after all, in his eyes, Shanks is not only the leader who led him on the pirate road, but also his savior, even Luffy, who is an idiot in terms of human relationships, knows that it is time to come out and give Shanks a favor, this was completely within Liu Olan's expectations, he nodded, hey, Luffy, if you speak up, I will definitely consider it, how about it? Let's subtract 10 million baileys from the total price. If Shanks is treated, he will give 1.99 billion baileys. Although the price is ridiculously high, you can't bargain too much. On the one hand, Whitebeard is here. If Shanks cuts too much, what about Whitebeard? Cut too? On the other hand, Luffy moves his lips very lightly, but what he chops off is real money. Even if it's 10 million baileys, it's enough for Luffy to eat alone for a long time. Ah can we only give you a little discount? Luffy doesn't have a strong concept of money thinking that cutting from 20 to 19.9 means not cutting, what, Liu Olan was stunned on purpose, and then said in a surprised tone, Luffy, you don't know, this treatment needs to consume lifespan, if it wasn't for earning some food expenses for Xiaomili, how much would it cost, I don't even want money, he made up a random reason, not only blocking the way for Shanks and Luffy to continue bargaining, but also preventing Luffy from losing face, after all, I'm going to spend my lifespan to heal, Luffy cut 10 million baileys at once, you shanks can't say anything, Luffy's face changed when he heard that his lifespan was going to be consumed, ah, I'm sorry, Liu Olan, I didn't know that you were wasting your lifespan, scratching his head guiltily, Luffy bargained again, seeing this, shanks knew that Luffy's way would not work, so he said, 2 billion pel is really too much, let me think about it, shanks cares more about comics than about healing his arms, no problem, anyway, we should travel together for a while, and we will go to the new world together, before we part ways, you have plenty of time to think about it, Liu Olan didn't rush anything, anyway Tilda, regarding the treatment of Shanks, he himself has an indifferent attitude, okay, I'll think about it Tilda Shanks said in a deep voice, after a while, Liu Olan chatted with Whitebeard for a while, and then took Kai back, as for Luffy, he'll be here with Ace for a while, coming to the deck of the Golden Mary, 
Liu Lan saw an unexpected guest. In front of the deck, Usopp was happily chatting with a man with a sniper rifle. Yasop Tilda, Usopp's biological father. Liu Lan, seeing that Liu Lan came back, Usopp waved excitedly to Liu Lan, and then introduced, Liu Lan, this is my father. I finally met my father. Usopp pulled Yasop and walked towards Liu Lan. Hello. Liu Lan greeted him politely. In fact, it was to save face for Usopp. If Usopp wasn't here, Liu Lan wouldn't bother to talk to Yasop at all. This guy, is probably the only guy in the red hair pirates who can't be cleansed. Because of the phrase the pirate flag is calling, he resolutely followed the red haired shanks into the sea. As expected, they made a name for themselves. Once became one of the four emperors group that dominated the sea. This sounds like such a passionate and inspirational story Tilda. The man has passion in his heart, and goes forward bravely for the goal regardless of everything. There is nothing wrong with that. But the problem is, when a man becomes a father from a hot-blooded youth, his responsibilities become different. That is the duty to wife and children. It can be said, on the premise that his wife and children are very sensible, if a man can't even be responsible for his wife and children, then this man is definitely a complete garbage. If you're alone and you drop everything to chase your dreams, that's pretty bloody. But if you have a wife and son, but when your wife is sick and your son is only a child, you can pursue your dream. You are chasing Nima's dream. That's not called chasing dreams, that's called abandoning wives and children. Anyone who has seen One Piece knows. Usopp's mother can be said to have died because of Yasop. In the process of Usopp's growth, if it wasn't because he had an absolutely optimistic heart, he would never have grown up normally. If it was someone else, their mentality would have been distorted, and they would have turned into a madman who kills and wipes out corpses. FFLX Liu Olan doesn't like Yasup at all Tilda. Mad, a disgrace among men. Such a young deputy captain really reminds me of when I was young. Yasup said with a smile in an elder tone. When you don't like a person, no matter how you look at it, you won't be pleasing to the eye. You soap. Talk to your dad about your upbringing in Westrobe. I just finished treating Whitebeard. It's too exhausting. I need to go to rest now. What Liu Olan said was quite polite. After all, Usopp's face and mood still have to be considered. Ah, then go and rest. Hearing this, Usopp nodded quickly. Ka, this is my father. Usopp looked at Ka again and announced excitedly. For him, his father is his role model. Ka, Yasup was taken aback, and asked in surprise, could it be Miss Terry's family? Although it has been a long time since Yasup left Xiluabu village. The name of the lady from the richest family in the village can still be remembered. Usopp excitedly said, that's right, it's Kaya. I didn't expect that a young lady like you would become a pirate, your father must be very angry, ha ha Tilda. Yasup said jokingly, both my father and my mother have passed away for more than three years. Kaya's emotions suddenly became sad, and then she said politely, I also participated in Whitebeard's treatment just now, so I went to rest first. Kaya regards Usopp as a big brother, but will not transfer this feeling to Yasup. Moreover, she followed the golden melee all the way, and most of the time other people were practicing, and she had nothing to do. So she often chats with Liu Lan. I learned about Yasup from Liu Lan. In connection with Usopp's hard growing up, Ka also hates Yasup very much. Compared to his parents, Yasup really sucks. On the other side, Liu Lan entered the cabin and rested on the bed. He has to think about his next itinerary. Now that Luffy's Joey Boy's identity is exposed. Liu Olan doesn't think that the world government will sit idly by. Liu Olan also wants to see what happens when Luffy arrives at Raftler's Joey Poi. A burst of fragrance comes to the nostrils Tilda. Ah hello, why did you show up without saying a word? Suddenly realizing that there was a delicate face in front of him, Liu Olan exclaimed reflexively. I knocked on the door, but I don't know what your stinky brother is thinking, and you didn't notice me coming in. Robin didn't move his cheeks away, but just stared at Liu Olan's eyes so closely, with a unique smile on his face. I said Sister Robin. You seem to be a bad person Tilda, sensing Robin's aura, Liu Lan teased with a smile, the corner of Robin's mouth raised slightly, and he suddenly grabbed Liu Lan's ear with his fingers, you did such a good thing secretly, and you still want to pretend that it never happened, ha Tilda, Liu Lan was stunned, and asked in confusion, what are you talking about, don't wrong good people, Robin pretended to be slightly annoyed, pretend, you carried me back yesterday, and then everyone was not in the cabin, what did you do, B, hearing what Robin said was about yesterday, Liu Olan suddenly felt guilty Tilda. Wipe. This is to settle accounts with me Tilda. Immediately, Liu Olan raised his voice. Are you talking about taking a bath? Robin didn't speak, but there was a little more scrutiny in his eyes Tilda. Liu Olan shrugged his shoulders. If it's because of this, then you're blaming me. I know you've always maintained the habit of washing every day and never stopped. So I thought twice yesterday and decided to check in for you. Otherwise your record for many years will be broken. Oh Tilda? So, I should still thank you, then? Robin's beauty raised her eyebrows and the scrutiny in her eyes became stronger. Oh, that's not necessary. After all, I only do good deeds and don't ask for anything in return Tilda. Liu Olan's two eyebrows are dancing, revealing a honest man smile Tilda. But Robin curled his lips, 
I didn't see it. Your stinky brother is also full of lies. How can I lie? Still pretending? I woke up later yesterday. Wake up when you wake up. Nanny, hearing these words suddenly, Liu Lan opened his mouth in shock. FK Tilda, you pretended not to wake up when you woke up, and now you deliberately test me again. What a black-bellied sister. Do you want to keep pretending? With a little force, Robin turned Liu Lan's ears around. Liu Lan is embarrassed Tilda. Immediately, Liu Lan had no choice but to forcefully argue. So what? You have shot at me so many times, and it is reasonable for me to earn back the principal with interest. Reasonable, right? Robin said angrily, are you carrying interest on your principal? You have earned back at least ten times your capital, right? Liu Lan was speechless. It seems that he really woke up, otherwise it wouldn't be so sure. Um, okay. Anyway, I just seized the opportunity to fight back Tilda. What do you want Tilda? Now that Robin knew about it. Liu Lan simply put his hands behind his head and looked at Robin cheekily. What else? You nasty guy, give me a move. A round of flower blooming. Now that Liu Lan admitted, Robin made a move immediately. FK suddenly caught in the trick, Liu Lan was caught off guard. Depend on. Fighting without declaring war is really disrespecting martial arts. Moreover, this time the power is obviously much stronger than before. Looks really a little angry? Question mark. I said dot 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 your fruit ability is really stupid Tilda. Liu Lan felt helpless. The ability of flower flower fruit was impossible to guard against. Even if there is a strong observation Haki, it is useless Tilda. After all, it grows instantly. But the next moment, Liu Gang suddenly realized something was wrong. He wondered, no, your right hand is pulling my ear. How did you activate the flower flower fruit ability? When the ability of flower flower fruit is activated, it must be activated with both hands at the same time. But now, Robin is pretty sure Robin's right hand is not moving. Damn, when will she be able to make a big move with one hand? However, when Liu Olan looked at Robin's other hand, he opened his mouth wide. Damn, how can there be any one-handed rubbing big move? How can there be any fruit ability to activate? Robin didn't activate the flower flower fruit ability at all, but physical level A. Chapter 221 White Beard and Hercules Please subscribe, Moby Dick, in the cabin Tilda. Ace took Whitebeard to Whitebeard's bedroom. What the hell is it? It's so mysterious Tilda. Whitebeard bold and grandiose sat on the chair, looking at Ace cheerfully. In such a hurry, I pulled it to a place where no one was around Tilda. If it wasn't Ace who pulled him, but the leopard print doctor, Whitebeard would probably think that the other party had some unreasonable ideas. Dad, where is the comic book that Liu Olan gave you? Ace didn't have time to pay attention to Whitebeard's teasing but asked seriously. Oh Tilda do you still remember this? Whitebeard took a model from his pocket, then took out the comic book. Is there anything special about this comic book? He's not an idiot. When he was outside just now, he felt that there was something wrong with Ace's attitude towards comics. Now that Ace is still so important, Whitebeard naturally wants to ask clearly. Okay, it's good to be here. Looking at the muscular Hercules on the cover, Ace exhorted, Dad, I know you must have a lot of questions, but please believe me, from now on, don't worry about other things. Just read this comic book carefully. One day at most, you will understand everything. Although Ace doesn't know what kind of ability Hercules possesses, but compared with the fire dragon magically obtained, he is sure that the ability that Whitebeard is about to obtain will not be inferior. What's more, this fierce man who looks like a wild beast is extraordinary at first glance. Whitebeard froze for a moment, and realized that Ace didn't mean to be joking at all. Tilda, after pondering for a few seconds, he nodded heavily, okay, seeing that Whitebeard agreed. Ace walked out, but as soon as he got to the door, 603 turned around and said, that's right, dad, if anyone wants to borrow this comic book, don't, okay, I won't borrow it, Whitebeard nodded again, Ace has already said so, and Whitebeard can't take it seriously, after Ace left, Whitebeard turned on the lights in the room, and put the manga, the legend of heroic Heracles, on the table, heroic spirit Hercules, looking at the fierce man on the cover, Whitebeard is very satisfied with the protagonist of this comic, after all, he also admires power, a child born of gods and humans. Turning to the first page, Whitebeard saw the life experience of Hercules, and became interested Tilda. He continued to read the manga Tilda. Seeing Hercules growing up, Whitebeard was furious. This divine woman named Hera is such an arsehole. What about children born to gods and humans? Should they be discriminated against? A well-behaved child, because of her disgust and torture, abruptly turned into a violent savage maid. This old man really wants to crush this hero with his own hands. As a father who attaches great importance to family and affection, Whitebeard despises this kind of thing the most. For him, the more he reads this cartoon, the more annoying he gets. When Heracles was driven mad by Hera and killed his wife and children by mistake, Whitebeard was furious. Damn thing. This hero is simply inferior to a dog. Whitebeard can't wait to rush straight into the comics and crush Hera to death. Although Hercules is not Hera's biological son, 
He is also her child in name. I didn't expect this woman to be so vicious, vibrantly driving a good boy into a demon who killed his wife and son Tilda. Looking higher and higher, Whitebeard continued to flip through the comics. Next, Hercules became the king's slave, and because the king was jealous of Hercules, the king proposed twelve trials to him on the grounds that Heracles would atone for his crimes. God, such a person deserves to be called a god. Whitebeard is completely furious. In a trance, a gust of cool wind hit. Whitebeard fought a cold war tilde. Um, he looked around in a daze, and suddenly realized that the surrounding environment had changed. This is a flat hillside, overgrown with weeds. There is a dense forest in front of the hillside. At this time, a muscular man with a bow is walking towards the direction of the dense forest. However, Whitebeard was shocked when he saw this person. Nanny, isn't the muscular man in front of you the protagonist in the comics, Hercules? Question mark. I was overworked, so I fell asleep and dreamed Tilda. Patting his forehead, Whitebeard smiled self-deprecatingly. But when his palm touched his head, he was shocked to find that. This sense of touch Tilda. He pinched himself hard again. No. This is not a dream. Whitebeard squatted down immediately, picked up a handful of grass on the ground, and chewed it in his mouth Tilda. Yes, this is true. He looked again at the muscular man in front of him walking towards the dense forest Tilda. Make no mistake, it was clearly Hercules without a doubt. Moreover, because I saw this place in the comics just now, Whitebeard knew that Hercules was going to the jungle at this time, in fact, to find the half-human, half-demon giant lion Nemea. It was the first of his twelve trials. How did I get into the manga world? After thinking it over, Whitebeard left and realized that things were not easy. That's right, Ace told me. Suddenly, he thought of what Ace said to him before, and a look of enlightenment appeared on Yuzi's face. It seems that this is why Ace attaches great importance to this kind of comics. But what puzzled Whitebeard is, why did Ace know that this comic is not normal before reading this comic? Has he also read similar cartoons? After thinking about it, Whitebeard decided to ask Ace later. As for now, Whitebeard suddenly had a whim. Since Hercules is going to face the twelve trials, why can't I help him? If you can, be sure to say that sentence to this poor child who has lacked the love of his father and mother since he was a child. Who are you? Just as Whitebeard was thinking, Hercules' voice came from ahead. Hey Tilda? Whitebeard looked at Hercules, and grinned. I'm a passing traveler, you can call me Whitebeard. 87. Hercules looked at the man in front of him who was almost two or three times his height, and his eyes fell on his white beard. It is indeed Whitebeard. Whitebeard asked knowingly, little guy, what are you doing here, brat? Dot. Heracles was a little surprised when he heard someone call him that for the first time. However, considering Whitebeard's height and size, Hercules thinks it is not a big problem for the other party to call him that. I will carry out a trial to kill Nemi the lion. Regarding the purpose of his trip, Hercules did not hide anything. After all, he is kind by nature and honest. Lion Nemi, hearing this, Whitebeard deliberately showed a surprised expression. That's a half-human, half-demon monster. The strength is very strong. Although you are also very strong, you may not be Nemi's opponent. It doesn't matter, no matter what, I must pass this trial. Hercules spread his hands and said it doesn't matter. Afterwards. He kindly reminded, if you just came here by accident, then you should leave here early. If our battle affects you, then you will get into trouble. Little guy, you are very kind-hearted. But old man, I am also a person who pays attention to fate. Since we met here, it is a fate. Just to remind you of your kindness to the old man. The old man decided to help you deal with the giant lion Nimea. Seeing the tragic fate of Hercules in the comics, Whitebeard suddenly became overwhelmed with fatherly love Tilda. Looking at the muscular man in front of him. Whitebeard is like looking at his own son. In the Whitebeard Pirates, the children of Whitebeard, almost everyone had this not-so-good childhood, and this kind of life experience can make Whitebeard arouse the desire to protect. The same is true for Hercules in front of me Tilda. No need, uncle, I am different from you. Although I am much smaller than you, I actually have the power of a god. If I can't deal with a giant lion, you will be impossible. Following the past can only lead to death in vain. Hercules shook his head, although he didn't say much. He felt a warm feeling in his heart that Whitebeard wanted to help him. During his growing up, he almost never received positive love. At this time, a stranger, just because of fate, wants to help him. For Hercules, it was undoubtedly like seeing a candle in the middle of the night. Maybe this candle doesn't have such a strong temperature to warm it up, but it can make him see a glimmer of light before he is about to fall into the boundless darkness. Oh Tilda, it turns out that this world is full of fire. Little guy, don't underestimate this old man. Although this old man is human, his strength is not bad. Saying that, Whitebeard punched Fang. Boom. Question mark dot. The atmosphere cracked in an instant, like a spider web spreading towards the past. The power of the gods is greater than that of humans. But what about the power of devil fruit? Question mark. Whitebeard's light show made Hercules open his mouth in surprise. That is also the power of the gods? Question mark. Gulalalala. Little guy, 
Don't be confused by the word God. The earliest gods are actually no different from humans when their strength is insurmountable with ordinary humans when there is a gap between them. They proclaim themselves gods. Whitebeard has no reverence for the gods in this comic. He just treats these gods as ordinary humans. Although I am a human being, when I am so strong that I am not afraid of gods, you think I am a god. So, it doesn't matter whether it is a god or a human being. In fact, they are all the same, and they all rely on their strength to speak. Listening to Whitebeard's words, Hercules thought deeply Tilda. His eyes are also constantly twinkling. The color of shock and enlightenment. Whitebeard continued, you know what who hates the most. What is it? Hercules asked suspiciously. What I hate the most is that those who have the highest strength want to interfere in other people's affairs. Whitebeard spoke coldly, with a look of disgust on his face, especially those guys who claim to be gods. They even interfere in other people's marriages. Did you know? In this world, there will be love between gods and humans, but in the eyes of some gods, this kind of beautiful and romantic thing has become a taboo. Exclamation mark isn't this a ridiculous thing. When Whitebeard said this, Hercules trembled violently, because Hercules himself is the crystallization of gods and humans. So what Whitebeard said just now directly touched his heart. Yes, why is such a beautiful and romantic thing not allowed? Is it because the gods have the supreme power and can control the life and death of human beings at will? Thinking of this, Hercules agreed very much, those guys, really damn it, little guy, let me tell you. The old man has a wish, which is to correct this world controlled by the gods. One day, the old man hopes to see the gods and humans. No more class distinctions. This is not white 1.4 beard talking nonsense. When he just realized that he had entered the comic world, this idea had already sprouted in his mind. And now, after chatting with Hercules for a while, Whitebeard is even more determined. Hercules took a deep breath and exhaled again. Fix the world. Let the gods and humans no longer have class distinctions. The idea. How crazy. Even Hercules himself never had such a brave idea. Then looking at the old man Whitebeard in front of him, Hercules suddenly realized something. There is no shortage of strong men in this world. But there are very few existences like the one in front of me who have both strength and incomparably ambitious goals. Exactly Tilda. Clark also had this idea in his own subconscious. It's just that Hercules hadn't really thought about it because of the solidification of class ideology over the years. But now, when Whitebeard's words sent ripples of thought through Hercules' heart, his heart was surging. Uncle Whitebeard, your wish makes me admire. If you really want to put this wish into action. Hercules took a step towards Shang-5, hammered the chest with his left hand, and roared seriously. I, Hercules. I would like to help you. Chapter 222 The craziest reward offer in history. Marine has a big change. Please subscribe. Going Merry Tilda. Robin sits at his desk, staring at his fingers, his mind wandering Tilda. Suddenly, the scene of the spring bursting out just now appeared in his mind. It really shocked me just now. So it turned out that this matter ended up like this. Speaking of which, although Robin has been wandering in the sea for so long, but one thing to say, this is the first time for her to observe this matter. Of course. Robin is not just a bystander, but also a hands-on person. She wanted to read a book for a while to divert her attention, but found that she couldn't help it. Really, I wanted to punish a little bit, but I didn't expect it to mess up my mind. Pursing her red lips, Robin thought for a while, then frowned beautifully. Wait, is that really a punishment? Suddenly realizing this problem, Robin cupped his hands on his face, and took a deep breath. Huh, it seems that not only does it not have the effect of punishment, but it's even cheaper for this stinky brother Tilda. Oh Tilda. Thinking of this, Robin stroked his forehead. It seems that the surrounding air is filled with an inexplicable sweetness, and then forms a vortex-like quicksand Tilda. Robin is in the center of this quicksand, even with all his strength, he can't get out Tilda. Of course dot 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 she didn't seem to have any intention of escaping. Time flies, days have passed. Big event, big event. World government issued the largest reward order in history. Anyone, any force, any organization, as long as they can destroy the straw hat pirates. A reward of 8 billion baileys will be offered. And the world government promised that 08 will also include all of a non-world government's affiliated countries in the reward land. As long as it is a person, force or organization that can eliminate the straw hat pirates, it will directly become the new nobleman of a country. Especially Captain Monkey D. Luffy and Deputy Captain Liu Olan of the straw hat pirates. Each of them has a bounty of 3 billion baileys. What's even more exaggerated is that even the crew of the straw hat pirates, as long as they can kill Monkey D. Luffy and Liu Olan, not only can the crime be cancelled, but also a reward can be obtained. When news one after another spread in the streets and alleys, everyone exploded. 8 billion baileys! Exclamation mark. Such an astronomical figure, many people dare not even think about it. But now, the government of the world is furiously offering a reward to a pirate group. And it's a new pirate ship that just went to sea for more than half a year. Everyone was shocked from ear to ear Tilda. Oh my god Tilda 8 billion baileys, if you give me this money, even if you ask me to kill my mother, I won't hesitate at all. It's not just about money. As long as you do things well, 
The world government will not only give you money, but also help you build a country and make you the king of this country. All your relatives will become nobles. The government of the world really spent a huge amount of money. This is the terrible consequence of killing the Dan Longren Tilda. He didn't just kill Draconians. Execution of a Draconian in naval headquarters is telling the whole world that Draconians are not gods. Yeah. This has seriously violated the bottom line of the world government. This Liu Olan is finished. His crew probably won't give up the chance to kill him to outsiders. They are really close to the water. Killing Liu Olan, they will not only get the biggest reward in history, but also their own crimes will be cleared. They have no reason to refuse. The government of the world is playing tricks. There is really nothing to say. The most unlucky thing is this monkey D. Luffy. Although he is the captain, it was Liu Olan who did it. He was definitely tricked by the deputy captain. Ha ha ha. That's not. Even if he showed strength comparable to Admiral in the Summit War, his bounty will never suddenly increase to three billion. It is definitely because of Celestial the Dragon's matter has been implicated. What a tragedy Tilda. When the news spread all over the world, almost everyone was discussing this matter. Holy Land, Mary E. Joy's, Pungal Castle, Five Elders Office. As soon as the burly figure wearing the Cloak of Justice was standing in front of these five old men with the highest power in the world, Joey Bowie, when the big old star revealed Luffy's identity, Seikazuki's face was stunned in shock. He never expected that Garp's grandson would have such a terrifying identity. Even the five elders are worried about Joey Poi Tilda. It stands to reason that he was not qualified to know these things, but now, he has just been appointed by the five elders as the new Marine Marshal. In the original plot, after the summit war, Sengoku resigned. Before retiring, he recommended Okiji to the Five Elders to become the next Marine Marshal. And Five Elders prefers an obedient guy like Seikazuki. That's why Ten Days and Ten Nights of Ice and Fire Showdown. And now, Marine is completely defeated in the Summit War. Sengoku has an undeniable guilt. An execution platform was set up in a high-profile manner, but Ace didn't execute him. Instead, he had someone execute a Dan Long Man on this execution platform, which really swollen the face of the world's government. This is one of them. Watching Joey Boy show up but failing to stifle. This is the second. When Seikazuki wanted to pursue at all costs, Sengoku slipped his shoes on the pirates and ordered a truce. This is the third. Although Sengoku has successfully protected the lives of many marine soldiers, for the world government, the fate of marine soldiers is a fart. In that case, when Joey Poi appeared in front of his eyes, even if it cost the lives of all the marines, as long as he could kill Joey Poi, everything would be worth it. In this regard, Seikazuki did a great job. The five elders were even thinking that if Seikazuki had become Marine Marshal before the Summit War, then Joey Boy wouldn't necessarily be able to leave Naval Headquarters alive. Now, Sengoku was ordered to abdicate by five elders as a blame man, so he is not qualified to make any recommendations for the new Marshal. Then Seikazuki is the perfect choice for five elders. I see, as soon as I get back to Naval Headquarters, I will immediately arrange to capture Straw Hat Luffy and cartoonist Liu Olan. Make sure to bring them to justice as soon as possible. Holding the Marshal's commission in his hand, Seikazuki's blood boils. In his opinion, I can finally do a big job without looking at people's faces. But at this moment, the big old star said seriously, don't care about that Liu Olan, you can even ignore it. In the next period of time, you must eliminate the Straw Hat Luffy. Yes, Seikazuki accepted the order subconsciously, but he was still puzzled and asked, does that Liu Olan really not care? He executed a Tan Long person live in front of the whole world. The big old star glanced at Seikazuki, just make sure that the straw hat Luffy is dead, and ignore everything else. Kill the Draconians? He he tilde, in the eyes of Master Yemu. The Tan Long people are nothing. The life of a celestial dragon may not even compare to a butterfly in Lord Im's back garden tilde. But, since this Liu Olan is not important, why not highlight the reward price of the straw hat Luffy? Instead, it should be the same as the reward price of this Liu Olan. Seikazuki was a little puzzled. Stupid. We want Straw Hat Luffy to die and prevent more people from knowing the importance of Joey Po. It was not the big old star who answered Seikazuki, but the blonde old star. The blonde old star stood up with disgust on his face, looked at Seikazuki, and continued to say in a lecture tone, What we want is the current effect. Let everyone want to hunt Straw Hat Luffy but only think they it was because of Dan Long people that such a reward was offered. Seikazuki understood, sure enough, none of these old men are fuel-efficient lamps. The next day, breaking news was flying all over the sky again. Heavy news. Naval headquarters big change. Marshal Sengoku took the blame and resigned. Vice Admiral Garp hastily retreated. Crane Vice Admiral went behind the scenes. The three mainstays of Marine resign collectively. Seikazuki succeeds Marine Marshal. Naval headquarters is about to move to New World. Marine will conduct a world conscription. News about Marine was released one after another, directly shaking the world. Golden Mary Tilda S. So, now we have become the most expensive pirate group? Question mark. Looking at the newspaper Nami slapped on the table, Liu Olan twitched his mouth and smiled teasingly. Yo ho 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 tilde, how about we tie up 007 Luffy and Liu Olan, 
and replace him with six billion Baileys. That's a good note. I have no opinion. Seconded. Seconded. Everyone was discussing intensely, and several figures came to the deck of the Golden Mary. It was the red-haired Shanks and Whitebeard and several carders from both sides. Isn't it? You also want to come to get the six billion bounty. Nami pursed her lips and raised her eyebrows lightly. If that's the case, I can only tell you with regret that we plan to digest the six billion bounty internally. la 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 la. Whitebeard laughed loudly, then looked at Liu Olan and said, Boy Liu Olan, all the ships of the Whitebeard pirates have been coated, we can set off. It's the same here Tilda. Shanks also spread his hands. Now that the government of the world has issued such an unprecedented reward to you, your next journey will be extremely difficult and dangerous. With the company of our two pirate groups in front, there may be no problem. But when you are alone when you act, those lunatics from New World will definitely keep an eye on you. Eight billion bounties for the whole group, plus an additional bounty from a country. Such an exaggerated condition of ultimate is enough to make many people risk their lives, isn't it? Even those guys have become ignorant. Liu Olan looked out of the deck, and there were a large number of pirates and bounty hunters thinking that going merry was approaching. These idiots, Shanks shook lightly and then a burst of invisible power burst out from him. Just like an electromagnetic pulse, this invisible force penetrates the approaching pirates and bounty hunters in an instant. Before these people had time to react, they all fell to the ground, unconscious. After a while Tilda, the ships of the Straw Hat Pirates, the Whitebeard Pirates and the Red Hair Pirates sank below the sea one after another, heading towards the Fishmen Island Tilda. Chapter 223 Dao Yi text materialized. It turned out to be her. Please subscribe. Located in the deep sea near the bottom of Sabadi Archipelago Tilda. A large number of pirate ships are going here along the ocean currents. One of them is going merry. In the comic studio, Liu Lan opened the system interface and found the system mail in the log. Question mark your manga fan army has conquered double cards in the manga? Card Kaptisura? world. You gain the dual card ability simultaneously. You get points plus five. Your manga fan Rora Noizora has improved his world strength in the manga, Zaraki Kenpaki biography, and he has completed the evolution of Daoi characters and evolved into a materialized state. You get points plus fifteen. Question mark your manga fan Usopp has cultivated the ability of the god-killing star Shikai Sword Wheel Star in the world of the manga? Essence of two houses. You simultaneously get the God-Killing Star Shikai Ability Sword Wheel Star. You get points plus eight. Your fan Nico Robin has improved his world strength in the comic, use Yumaki Naruto biography, and practice the A-level summoning technique Triple Rashomon. You simultaneously obtain the A-level summoning technique Triple Rashomon. You get plus five points. Question mark. Your comic fan Chopper developed the Amber Rumble Ball of the Bullhead King in the world of the comic. Xiao King and the Twelve Beasts. You simultaneously acquire the Amber Rumble Ball ability of the Tauren King. You get points plus four. Question mark your manga fan Frankie has improved his world strength in the manga? Janos biography? And cultivated a spiral incinerator. You simultaneously get the spiral incinerator. You get plus six points. Question mark. Your fan Kai has improved his strength in the world of the manga, medical ninjutsu, and heals wounds through practice. You simultaneously obtain yin healing injury elimination. You get plus one points. Question mark. Your manga fan Ace has cultivated the fourth layer of flame dragon slaying magic in the world of the manga? Fire Dragon Natsu. You simultaneously acquire the fourth layer of Fire Dragon Magic ability. You get points plus seven. Your fan Edward Newgate completed the first trial of the twelve trials in the world of the manga. The Legend of Heroic Spirit Hercules and condensed the first stage of the treasure 12 trials. You simultaneously condensed the first stage of the treasure treasure 12 trials. You get points plus one. After the summit war, the partners of the Straw Hat Pirates did not relax in training. Due to the targeting of the world's government, they are more urgent to upgrade the step. That's right. These days, it seems that everyone is very serious about their cultivation. Looking at these logs, Liu Olan expressed his satisfaction, opened all of them immediately, and accepted the ability. Huh? Zora this time. When receiving Zora's reward, Liu Olan was surprised. Zanpakuto materialized? Question mark. In the Shinigami storyline, those Zanpakuto materialize because of Morimasa's influence. But now the reminder in the log email is that the head Oi text has evolved to a materialized state. Can it still be like this tilde? But if you think about it carefully, Zora's Zanpakuto is very special after all. It didn't eat come from Soul Society, but evolved into Zanpakuto from the Japanese character of Hei Dao. It's strange to the rules of Zanpakuto in the Shinigami world and there is nothing wrong with it tilde. Moreover, Liu Lan remembered that Liu Lan couldn't synchronize the ability of this Hidao Yi character. This is also the only ability obtained by Liu Lan's manmi training that will not be synchronized to Liu Lan. It's kind of interesting. I don't know what it looks like to materialize the words of Hidao Yi. Is it a man or a woman? Thinking of this, Liu Lan was looking forward to it. He rubbed his chin lightly, and suddenly smirked. It would be fun if it was a boy tilde. This time Robin practiced summoning beast Triple Rashomon which is a summoning technique with strong defensive ability. Of course, 
If it is used by Robin, I'm afraid that the word three in the triple rashomon must be followed by at least two zeros tilde. Huh? Chopper made Amber the bull king this time. Seeing Chopper's training log email, Liu Ogang's eyes lit up with joy. It was a bullhead king made of magma, and its weapon was a giant axe. Moreover, when the Tauran king wields his battle axe, he can even turn the rocks on the ground into spikes of lava, blocking and attacking the enemy. If you make an analogy, you can refer to lava lava fruit. Of course, Amber and Lava Lava Fruit ability users are still different. Although Amber of the Tao King is also magma, its ability is more like a combination of Zone and Paramecia. I don't know what will happen if Chopper fights with Seikazuki next time tilde. Liu Olan is already looking forward to the scene where Chopper knocks Seikazuki down with an axe tilde. It would be nice if Chopper stepped on the back of Seikazuki's head and announced, I am the King of Magma. Continued to receive tilde. Frankie, Kaya, and Ace are all quite satisfactory. Then Whitebeard Tilda. Hey, what Beard got in the comics is not the power of Hercules, but his precious Q. Question mark. This is awesome Tilda. You know, the noble phantasm, 12 trials, can make one's physical defense as strong as armor. Moreover, it can also be immune to physical attacks with insufficient power and the magical attacks with little power. In short, if the power of an attack is quantified by numbers Tilda. When the power of your attack or the power of magic fails to reach a certain critical value, it will not have any effect on Whitebeard. This ability sounds almost meaningless Tilda. But if you think about it carefully, you will find that the effect of this ability on the battlefield is very terrifying. In the original plot of One Piece, when Whitebeard died, he suffered a total of 267 knife wounds, 152 bullets, and 46 shells. If Whitebeard at that time had the Noble Phantasm, 12 trials, then the damage of bullets and shells in these three maths could be reduced to almost zero. Because the power of bullets and cannonballs is impossible to break through the defense treasure. 12 trials. As for the knife wound, it depends on the strength of the knife man. In addition, the most buggy ability of the noble phantasm, 12 trials, is that the owner of the noble phantasm has the effect of automatically reviving the body after death. Although this rebirth ability is not unlimited, but the full, 12 trials, can store 11 times of rebirth energy. As long as you don't get killed 12 times in a row, you won't really die. The number of rebirths will slowly recover after use. Simply awesome plus. Finally, the Noble Phantasm, 12 trials, also has a super powerful ability. That is, once a certain kind of attack is suffered, in a short time, this type of attack will not cause any harm to the treasure holder. For example, Seikazuki's magma blasted Whitebeard's body, no matter whether Whitebeard was injured or not. Then in the next certain period of time, the damage caused by Seikazuki's magma to Whitebeard can only be zero. Thinking of this, Liu Lan immediately communicated with the treasure in his body. The first stage of the twelve trials with the spiritual communication treasure, Liu Ogang immediately understood what the first stage of the twelve trials was. It is roughly equivalent to one twelfth of the complete twelve trials. The current regeneration ability is only one time. The degree of immunity to physical and magical attacks is only about one twelfth. The duration of immunity to the same type of attack is also one twelfth of the full form. To put it bluntly, this is equivalent to one of the twelve fragments of the Noble Phantasm, twelve trials, but it also has the weakened ability of, twelve trials. Even so, it is already very powerful. For Liu Olan, his own defense and speed have already perverted to ultimate. If Whitebeard fully condenses the, twelve trials, then Liu Olan's physical defense power at that time, I am afraid that no one can break through it. Whitebeard, Whitebeard, you have to work hard. My twelve trials depend on you Tilda. With a good mood, Liu Olan closed the log interface, and then opened the achievement reward interface. Unfortunately, it's not time for the draw yet. But it's coming soon Tilda. It is reckoned that the next time you collect points, you should be able to draw a lottery. Standing up and stretching, I heard the door creak. Dad, hearing the sweet voice, there was no doubt that it was Little Mary. With a sprint, Little Mealy jumped onto Liu Olan and hooked his hands around his neck. Liu Olan habitually hugged her two legs looked at the little Mealy hanging on him like a sloth and said with a smile, What's the matter? It has something interesting to share with me. Little Mealy shook her head and pouted, No, I came here to tell you that I made a new friend Tilda. Little buddy? Liu Olan frowned. There are only a few people in the Straw Hat Pirates. Where's the new buddy? And this place is 10,000 meters deep in the sea. Where can I find new friends? Yes, my little friend wants to meet you too. Little Mealy sways her body from side to side making a wax burden. Okay, male and female. Although Liu Olan had a happy expression on his face, his first reaction was to ask men and women first. Although I don't know how a new little partner will appear in this deep sea, but if some little bastard who doesn't know what to do dares to hook up with my little Mealy, I will interrupt you Tilda. He he. Little Mary kept silent, just smiled foolishly. Question mark is it a man or a woman? Liu Olan asked again, apparently not hiding a trace of anxiety. Little Mary still didn't speak. Hey, hey, if you don't talk anymore. 
I'm going to beat your little skin drum. Liu Olan's heart is throbbing. Could it be some bastard who wanted to marry my emerald jasper cabbage? Seeing that Liu Olan was really anxious, Xiaomili pouted triumphantly and said, It's a girl Tilda. Liu Olan breathed a sigh of relief. Hee hee. You seem to care a lot about whether it's a boy or a girl tilde. Fingers like lotus root gently poked on Liu Lan's nib, and little Millie showed a happy smile. What's the matter? Liu Lan pouted proudly. Does not exist. Impossible. Not that. Deny triple. By the way, where are people? Since it was a girl, Liu Lan was immediately curious. Little Mary shouted outside, come in. Crunch tilde. The door opened again, and a figure came in. That green algae head is particularly conspicuous. Question mark. Liu Lan poked his neck forward, narrowed his eyes and his face was full of question marks. He asked with a confused face, Your new friend is, Zora, what's the situation? Question mark. How Zora became new, made a partner, or little? Buddy? Question mark. What happened? Liu Olan was stunned suddenly. Did he go to the season again tilde? Ah ha ha. Seeing Liu Olan's confused face, Zora laughed. Of course it can't be me tilde. Then, he pulled out the word he dao with a clang, and stretched forward. It's her. She, hearing this, Liu Olan was taken aback for a moment and then suddenly realized, his eyes fell on the He Dao Yi character, and he said, Ah, I remembered, your He Dao Yi character can be materialized, could it be the entity of the He Dao Yi character, is it a girl, Matilda, Zora nodded, the corners of his mouth slightly raised, and then his soul communicated with the Tao, I saw that the knife instantly became a power of the soul, changed shape quickly, then, evolved into the silhouette of a girl, Tilda, when the soul energy gradually condensed, Liu Olan's eyeballs suddenly popped out, Nani, ku dot 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 Qina, looking in shock at the eleven-year-old girl in front of her, Liu Olan was surprised that her mouth could fit a big steamed bun. Ah! Uh, the next moment, little Millie stuffed the fist made of her white tender hands into Liu Olan's mouth in a funny way, and said with a happy smile, Wow, this is the first time I've seen you eat like this, you look surprised, but I recorded it tilde. The other hand waved the video phone bug, and the scene of Xiaomili and Liu Olan swallowing her small fists was also recorded tilde disturbing tilde. Chapter 224 I, Sanji, Prince Charming, please subscribe. This this, 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 this is really Qina, question mark. Liu Olan looked at the girl with the short hair in front of her in horror, she couldn't believe it. He looked at Zoro again with a questioning look. However, his words shocked Zoro. How do you know it's Qina? Zoro mentioned Qina to Liu Olan but he doesn't have a photo of Qina Tilda. Why did Liu Olan recognize Qina immediately? Hearing this, Liu Olan also realized that he was talking bald Tilda. Yes, how did I know Qina? Thinking of this, Liu Olan immediately pretended to be puzzled and said, did I guess wrong? It turned out to be a guess. Hearing Liu Olan's answer, Zora breathed a sigh of relief. I thought Liu Olan was so powerful. No, you guessed it right. She is indeed Qina. Zora nodded, with a joyful smile on his face. Speaking of which, even myself, I still can't believe this tilde, forehead. Liu Olan looked at Zora. He felt that Zora might not have understood him, so he stepped forward, pulled Zora to the corner outside the door, bowed his head and whispered, I mean, this Qina is the real Qina, or is it just a Zanpei Kuto entity in the form of Qina? I get the meaning. She is the real Qina, but the body is a solidity condensed through Zanpei Kuto. Zora grinned and said happily, real Qina? Question mark. Liu Olan looked at Zora suspiciously, and shook his hands in front of his eyes. Hey, are you sleepwalking now? Do you know what a real Qina is? In fact, although Liu Olan pulled Zoran out to ask this question, he was actually prepared to get a negative answer. After all, Qina had died years ago, and the bones had been buried for so long. How could it possibly reappear? Of course, if Liu Olan uses resurrection coins, it may be able to do it. Zora thought for a while, then replied, as I understand it, her soul is Qina's soul, so she is Qina. After finishing speaking, Zora looked at Liu Olan again. Is there any problem with this understanding? No problem. Liu Olan raised his eyebrows lightly, but suddenly caught the point of Zora's 427, and was surprised. Wait, you just said that her soul is Qina's soul? Question mark. Did she tell you? Are you sure what she said is true? Although this kind of news is exciting, Liu Olan is worried that Zora will simply believe the lie of Zanpei Kuto's materialization just because he misses Qina too much. After all, in the Shinigami world, Zanpei Kuto, once materialized, are initially rebellious and need to be repaired before they come back. She did tell me, but I can tell it's true. If you doubt it, I can explain it to you. Zora is also a sensible person, knowing that Liu Olan is for his own good. So I explained something about Qina, according to the sword spirit Qina in it. When Qina died, he died holding head Dao Yiwen, because this sword has been with him since he was a child, and it has created an extremely strong bond. So her soul was attached to this knife at that time. Originally attached to it would not have any effect. But when Zora entered the Shinigami world, everything is different. In the soul society, there are souls between heaven and earth. 
The soul can absorb spirit particles in the soul society, so as to make one's soul stronger. Q. Ena's soul was brought to the soul society by Azura, so after a period of non-stop absorption of spiritual seeds, the soul began to wake up. But because the power of the soul is still very weak, it has not been fully awakened. Because the carrier of her soul is the knife of Hedao Yiwin, the Hedao Yiwin is also gradually transformed into Zan Kuto because of this. Until today, when Kyuinu absorbs enough spiritual particles to fully awaken the entire soul, she was resurrected in the materialized form of Zan Kuto. After listening to the whole process, Liu Lan didn't find any problems. Moreover, according to what Zora said, Zora asked several little secrets between him and Kyuinu, and Kyuinu could answer them with a little recollection. That being the case, Liu Olan is almost certain that this Qina is the real Qina. At this time, Zora's A suddenly turned red, and there was some choking in his voice. Liu Olan, I really want to thank you very much. If you hadn't given me this manga, I wouldn't be able to touch the spiritual power, and Qina wouldn't be able to come back. Ah, hello Tilda, you bastard. Aft, you still want to fk? Seeing the tough guy crying suddenly, some people in Liu Olan were at a loss and punched Zora's chest hard. Hold back your horse urine to Lozi. I don't want to see a Zara who likes to cry. Speaking of which, at the beginning Liu Olan specially drew a book, the biography of Zaraki Kenpaki, for Zora, just because he wanted Zora to have the ability of Zaraki Kenpaki. But I never thought that Qina would be given a chance to be reborn by mistake. Speaking of which, this is Qina's own fate Tilda. Originally showing his true feelings, but was forcibly interrupted by Liu Olan's horse piss, Zora was furious. Ah, you bastard. I'm really touched. Pull a few and pour it down. Liu Olan curled his lips, glanced through the crack of the door at Qina, who was playing with little Melly inside, although he suddenly took Zora's arm with a dirty face, and said with a mean smile, I said you, nine years ago losing his girlfriend was a blessing in disguise. Your childhood sweetheart girlfriend turned into your current lily girlfriend, you've made a lot of money. Hey hey hey. Don't talk nonsense. Horror suddenly appeared on Zora's face, he quickly pulled Liu Olan away from the door and looked inside nervously. After confirming that Qina didn't hear it, he breathed a sigh of relief and said, You idiot. What nonsense. Qina and I are friends. Not the relationship you think. Yo 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 Tilda why aren't you blushing? Looking at Zora's embarrassed appearance, Liu Lan is so happy Tilda. I, I am radiant. Choking for a moment, Zora immediately found an excuse. Why is it yellow again? I make you glow. Is it yellow? Zora molded his face and asked with a guilty conscience. Yes. Liu Lan nodded, teasing deliberately. Could it be the anti-cold wax? Ah yes, it's the anti-cold wax. Say hello to your grandma. Liu Olan rolled his eyes speechlessly. You thought you were Yang Zirong. Immediately, Liu Olan pouted towards the door. Here, Qina is inside. You go in and tell her that you will never like her in your life. Zong Nen is an ordinary friend. Ah Tilda. Hearing this, Zora was stunned. How could he have thought that Liu Olan would let him say such a thing? Liu Olan had a relaxed expression. Go ahead and talk. If you dare to talk, then I will really convince you. Zora's face was red as if he was being roasted on the fire tilde. As soon as he said the words, he slapped himself in the face in an instant. But if you really want him to say it, Zora is definitely not willing in his heart. Okay, don't embarrass yourself. I can tell you, even if you and Qina are childhood sweethearts, if you don't grasp it yourself, you will be snatched away by Sanji. I can't blame anyone tilde. Gently patted Zora on the shoulder, and walked away with a smile. Although Liu Olan is a philanthropic person, Qina's words. Liu Olan really doesn't have the slightest thought like that tilde. Qina can only belong to Zora, let alone Zan Kuto of Zora tilde. Sanji, hearing this, Zora's heart tightened suddenly tilde. Not to mention, that guy Sanji, if he knew about Qina's existence, he would post it like a mangy dog. This thought made Zora feel a sense of urgency. Although he has never confessed his love to Qina, is he really not greedy for her body? Zora is a road idiot, not an idiot tilde. Obviously, he likes Qina in his heart. Just because Qina is now reborn in the materialized form of his Zanpei Kuto doesn't mean Qina will necessarily be his. Thinking of this, Zoro gritted his teeth. When the time is right, I must confess my love to senior sister. Time flies. It will soon be dinner time. Wow, can't wait. Luffy rubbed his hands and went straight up to catch the big grilled fish. Snapped. Liu Olan activated the rubber fruit ability, extended his arms, and knocked Luffy's hand back with chopsticks. Don't worry, there are still people who haven't arrived yet. Anyone else? Hearing this, Luffy looked around with a snot, and then broke out in sweat. It's Zora Tilda, it's okay, he doesn't need to eat. That's right, that green algae head, he just needs to eat the knife. At this moment, Sanji came in from the kitchen with the last dish, and then appeared next to Robin with a flattering face. The gentleman put this plate of nine red deep sea lobsters in front of Robin. Thank you Sanji-kun. Robin smiled slightly, then activated the flower flower fruit ability, and passed the plate of Juzan deep sea lobster to Liu Olan's table with a row of arms. Let's give Liu Olan such a nourishing dish, 
he must replenish it well tilda, puff, several partners who had just picked up the water glasses all spit out in one gulp, Liu Olan was even more shocked, what the hell, is Robin going to tease me in front of everyone this time, however, at the next moment Robin said, as the brain on board, I have to draw so many cartoons every day, so I need to supplement my nutrition, the guys who sprayed water just now were ashamed tilda, Nima, think wrong, ha 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 tilde, Nami was also amused by Robin's U-turn, Robin was also speechless, and then knocked off Luffy's hand who wanted to steal it again, and said, Luffy, don't eat, this time I have a new friend for everyone to meet, when the new friend comes, move your chopsticks together, new friend, when everyone heard this, they all frowned, in this deep sea, where do new friends emerge, question mark, could it be that you have a second daughter again, question mark, a new partner, we don't seem to have any partners recently, right, Luffy scratched his head, a look of confusion on his face, Liu Lan explained, there is no, she is everyone's partner, but I believe that after seeing her, you will definitely accept her as a partner, at this moment, the door to the restaurant from the outside opened tilde, Zara's figure appeared at the door, only, dot, on his shoulders, sat a lily girl, wow tilde, there was a sound of falling to the ground, and almost all the partners of the straw hat pirates sat on the ground, everyone looked at the lily girl on Zara's shoulder with wide eyes, they were all dumbfounded tilde, what's happening here? Question mark, why did a strange girl suddenly appear, and why is this girl sitting on Zara's shoulder, wow, who is this cute little sister, please allow me to introduce, as if dancing a waltz, Sanji came to Kyuina in a circle, and bowed like a gentleman, I, Sanji, Bama Yuzi Tilda, the bastard, seeing Sanji like this, Zara immediately remembered what Liu Olan said to him, fk Tilda, it seems that I really can't relax, boom, Zara kicked Sanji away and yelled, don't scare my Qina with curly eyebrows, my Qina. These words fell into Qina's ears, and immediately made the girl's cheeks blush tilde. After all, she is a relatively traditional girl, not good at expressing her emotions, let alone taking the initiative. However, she had secretly taken a liking to Zoro a long time ago. Otherwise, it would be impossible to practice sword alone with Zoro every day. Because she doesn't take the initiative to express her love, she competes with Zoro every day, so that they can spend more time together. But because Qina is very competitive, she tries her best every time she competes with Zora, and finally knocks Zoran out of her head. At this moment, she suddenly heard Zora yelling my Qina, and she felt so sweet Tilda. This scene, of course, fell on Liu Olan's eyes. These two guys probably met each other more than ten years ago when they were still elementary school sword practicing apprentices in the gym Tilda. Bastard green algae head, how dare you? Huh? Wait. Who did you say she was just now? Sanji stood up and was about to fight with Zora but suddenly he froze and looked at Qina in horror, you so asked suspiciously, okay dot 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 it seems to be dot 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 Qina, I think I heard that too, Frankie nodded, Brooke laughed and said, yo ho 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 tilde, I heard that too, isn't it, didn't Qina long ago, Nami covered her red lips slightly, the words came to her lips, but swallowed them back, okay, let's not go around in circles anymore, let me introduce it to you, at this time, Liu Olan stood up and stretched out his hand towards Qina, you heard me right, this girl is Qina who grew up with Zora's childhood sweetheart, wow Tilda, everyone shuddered again, and all lay down on the ground, is this, is this true, chapter 225 want to eat Yang Shu Eve, dad will get it for you, please subscribe, early the next morning Tilda, the three big pirate groups have arrived on the Fishman Island, Fisherman Wharf Tilda, this is the relay station for the first half and the second half of the Grand Line, whether entering New World from the first half of the Grand Line or returning to the first half of the Grand Line from New World, Many pirate groups like to rest at Murloc Wharf for a day or a half. You can add some food, and you can also sell some objects and information on land to the Fishmen Island in exchange for money. Certainly, there are also some criminals trying to traffic people from the Fishmen Island. If it weren't for the fact that Whitebeard classified the Fishmen Island as his own territory, I am afraid that various human traffickers would have joined together to take the Fishmen Island. Originally, a lot of sea thief ships were docked at the Murloc Wharf tilde, but when the three big pirate groups arrived, the place was immediately cleaner than the princess's leather drum. Of course, the pier is clean, but the harbour is very lively. The guards of the Fishmen Island lined up neatly, and the burly and tall ceremonial soldiers were playing the unique welcome song of the Fishmen Island. On both sides of the road, many beauties from the Fishmen Island poked their heads curiously tilde. Is the Whitebeard Pirates coming? Are the Fishmen Island is protected by the Whitebeard Pirates, and those criminals dare not come to the school in large numbers, Whitebeard must be a handsome guy, of course, such a great hero must be more handsome than our prince, pfft, ha ha ha, you little girls are so cranky, Whitebeard is in his early 70s, where can I get along with handsome guys, ha Tilda, no way, well, my beautiful fantasy is disillusioned Tilda, golden Mary Tilda, all the members of the straw hat pirates have come to the deck, you know, this is an island 10,000 meters below the sea, bars, every adventurer's travel list must come to check in the red spot, so if you haven't been to the fishmen island, 
Are you ashamed to say that you are an adventurer? Wow ha ha, an island under the sea. Let's go ashore. Luffy sat in his special seat, raised his hands excitedly, and couldn't wait. Chopper's two eyes stared like light bulbs. It's amazing that there is such an island with sunshine in the dark sea but, Khan, what's the matter Tilda? Usopp curled his lips in disdain, and said to Chopper with a proud face, I have been to deeper sea beds, then you have bigger islands, and there are many female warriors of sea kings on the islands. They all adore it. You are too good. Listening to Usopp's bragging, Chopper simply showed adoring eyes Tilda, which one's a starfish Tilda. Zora frowned and looked at a group of starfish murlocs, subconsciously asked Sanji, these should be made into food, right? But when Sanji heard this, he was furious. Stupid green algae head. Such a cute starfish sister, you actually want to make them into food? I swear, next time I will make food out of poop for you. Ahahaha <laughs> Tilda, on Zora's shoulder, Kuina wagged her little feet and laughed out loud. Lovely, Kuina chan you will slowly discover the various shortcomings of this idiot's green algae head, why don't you come to my side earlier? My shoulders are also very wide Tilda. Sanji took the opportunity to invite Kuina to sit on his shoulders. Arsehole curly eyebrow. Do you want to fight? Zora was furious, and immediately held down the knife Tilda. Next to them, Nami held Liu Olan's arm and said with a smile, I heard that there are many specialties on the Fishman Island, come shopping with me later Tilda. Of course, Liu Olan showed a gentle smile and gently scratched Nami's little nose, speaking of which, it seems that I haven't gone shopping with you for a long time, yeah, well, then make it up to me this time, Nami hugged Leo Lan's arm tightly, behind the two of them, Robin looked at the figures of the two of them, feeling a little sad in his heart, but soon relieved Tilda, she never expected to be intimate with Leo Lan as openly as Nami Tilda, I never expected to be able to go shopping with Leo Lan's arm Tilda, in fact, if she hadn't met Leo Lan, she would still be a child of the devil walking in the dark. Not to mention having such a group of partners, even if you want to live a normal life, it is impossible. But now, not only does she have a life that she never dared to imagine before, but she has also established a special bond with Liu Gang. Robin understands that she cannot do without Liu Olan in her life. Even if she doesn't get all of Liu Olan, she doesn't mind. Being able to have the current relationship with Liu Olan, she is already very satisfied. But, you show your affection in front of me like this, it's only natural for me to punish you a little. Right? Thinking of this, Robin immediately activated the flower flower fruit ability for a round of flower blooming handle! Exclamation mark. Liu Olan suddenly felt scalp tingling. Tilda, what's wrong? Sensing Liu Olan's strangeness, Nami asked with concern. Cough cough dot 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 It's okay, it's okay Tilda. Liu Olan made a ha ha, and quietly turned around to make a fake wolf face at Liu O Tang Tilda. Dad, I want to eat that. At this time, little Mealy, who was being held by Liu Olan with one hand, pointed forward and said softly. Liu Olan could see the past, and saw the golden sunlight in the distance illuminating this island in the dark deep sea extremely brightly. And the thing that little Mary pointed to was not a bystander, but the glowing root system of the poplar tree. Eve. 7. Good guy. Sure enough Tilda. When I saw Xi Amil eating Bozu Adam before, Liu Olan guessed that Yang Shu Eve must also have a strong attraction to Xi Amili Tilda. It's not. As soon as I came to the Fishman Island, I was already hungry Tilda. However, this matter is not simple. Yang Shu Eve is a magical tree that runs through the red line. Its branches and leaves are above the red line. The trunk is inserted into the red line and then its roots come to the Fishman Island below the seabed city. Yang Shu Eve can absorb sunlight and nourish your whole body. And the sunlight is transmitted to the root system of Yang Shu Eve through the branches Tilda. When the root system is nourished by sunlight, it becomes the only large-scale light source in the deep sea. If someone destroys all these roots, then the Fishmen Island will be completely plunged into darkness. Although lights can be lit, without sunlight, the Fishmen Island will inevitably slowly go to destruction. So, although the root system of Yang Shu Eve made Little Millie very greedy, Liu Olan also had to treat it with caution. It is absolutely impossible for him to obtain the route system of Yang Shu Eve by robbery. Don't say anything else. It's impossible for me to be the partner of the Straw Hat One Piece to agree to such a thing. It is definitely impossible to buy in large quantities, but Liu Olan already has an idea in his heart. Now Whitebeard owes him favors, and Whitebeard is the guardian of the Fishman Island. If he can show up to the king of the Fishman Island, Neptune, it will make sense. Presumably Neptune will sell him one or two for face Tilda. Of course. It would be better if there are three or four. Thinking of this, Liu Lan looked at Whitebeard, and went to look for him when he was about to get off the boat. Soon, many pirates boarded the pier. However, considering that there are too many pirates in the Whitebeard Pirate Group's Grand Fleet, in order to prevent unnecessary tension and troubles to the Fishman Island, Whitebeard ordered that the number of people who can disembark from each ship of the Grand Fleet should not exceed the total 10%. Suddenly, disembarkation became the privilege of every ship, basically, carders and small carders enjoy this power, and those ordinary crew members and young people dare not say anything, this is the world of pirates, where the strong prey on the weak, the strong must listen to the weak, Whitebeard, when the crowd walked forward, 
King Neptune of the Fishmen Island greeted them with a big smile on his face. Neptune, you la 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 la, long time no see my old friend. Whitebeard stepped forward and had a bear hug with Neptune Tilda. Although Whitebeard is tall, Neptune is more than 12 meters tall. If Neptune hadn't bent down, Whitebeard would only be in an awkward position Tilda. Haven't seen you for a long time. Neptune smiled, and then asked, when you were fighting in naval headquarters, I was watching you nervously, old friend Tilda. You la 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 la, fortunately, there is no danger. Whitebeard smiled, then pointed in the direction of Liu Olan and the others, and said, I met a group of noble people to help, otherwise, this time, my old bones may really be broken in naval headquarters Tilda. Neptune saw the past, and his eyes lit up, oh, they are the straw hat pirates. I saw it in the live broadcast, they are really a group of powerful young people. You la 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 la, come on, let me introduce you. This is Luffy, the captain of the straw hat pirates. His big brother is my second captain, Ace. This is the deputy captain of the Straw Hat Pirates, and also my great benefactor. My old diseases and serious injuries were all cured by him. This is. My memory is not bad. Report the members of the Straw Hat Pirates Tilda. After introducing the Straw Hat Pirates, he pointed to the redhead again and said, This is. Neptune interrupted immediately, and said with a smile, This one doesn't need to be introduced, if the redhead Shanks, one of the four emperors at sea, still needs to be introduced. Wouldn't it be a big joke Tilda? Ha ha Tilda, it's okay to introduce. After all, it's the first time we've met. Shanks smiled, a very accommodating smile on his face. Although he has been to the Fishmen Island many times, this is the first time he has seen Neptune. Zero dot 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 seeking flowers. Wish wish wish. Suddenly, there was a sharp cutting sound in the sea Tilda. Then there was an axe that spun rapidly and passed over everyone's heads. Rubber rubber? Chicken catch. Luffy activated the rubber fruit ability, stretched his arm and grabbed the axe back Tilda. Wow, throwing such sharp things around, who is not so unqualified? Looking at the axe in his hand, Luffy suddenly asked angrily. Shanks came over. This axe is very strange, it obviously doesn't have too much power, but it seems. It flew over from the deep sea far away. Old friend, it seems that the law and order on your island is not very good Tilda. Whitebeard patted Neptune, teasingly. However, Neptune sighed with a somewhat uncomfortable expression, wanted to say something, but hesitated to speak. He thought that Whitebeard had just experienced a war, and the words that he wanted to ask for help were swallowed back abruptly. Also, he can't guarantee that Whitebeard will be able to help. Although Whitebeard's strength is nothing to say, but the guy who threw the axe was in a dirty style. As long as he does not show his face, he will stay in the deep sea, and it will be difficult for the gods to find him. Whitebeard didn't notice his expression, but Liu Olan did. He is a time traveler, of course. He understands what is embarrassing for Neptune Tilda. The axe was thrown by Van der Dicken, the ability user of the target fruit and the target was the mermaid princess Shirohushi. Although he doesn't like trouble, this incident is a good opportunity for Liu Olan. Now Xiaomili wants to eat Poplar Eve. Liu Olan wanted to ask Whitebeard for help and said Tilda. But now he has changed his mind. If it can help Neptune solve this problem, wouldn't it be logical for Liu Olan to ask Neptune to buy the roots of the Yangshu Eve tree later? You know, Shirohushi has been trapped in the Shell Tower for eight years. Neptune was also a little crazy because of this Tilda. If this matter can be resolved, it will definitely be a big favor to Neptune. Besides, one thing to say, little Shirahashi is so cute, how can an ugly creature like Van Der Dicken be a scourge? Immediately, Liu Olan said, King Neptune, if you have any difficulties, just tell us, we can help you solve it. Hearing Liu Olan's words, Whitebeard also noticed Neptune's strangeness at this time, and he also reacted Tilda. So he also asked, old friend, did you encounter any trouble? Didn't the axe just happen by chance? Neptune pursed his lips in confusion, then sighed, hey. It's useless even if you tell me about it Tilda. You, Liu Olan also imitated Neptune's tone, and sighed heavily, Hey, you are so old, and you still look like a big girl. What's the matter? You should say it out, no matter whether it can be solved or not, it won't matter if you say it Tilda. You la 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 la. That's right, old friend, let's talk first. If we can't solve it, just treat it as listening to a story. You hoozy laughed. Good. That acts just now. Immediately. Neptune revealed everything about Van der Dakin's target fruit ability and Shirahashi being trapped in the shell tower tilde. After finishing speaking, he entered into a frown tilde. The bastard. I'm going to beat him up. Luffy was furious immediately, and was about to strike out of righteous indignation. Kiyaza was also very angry. This guy is really a scum. It happens that dad is here, and watch my wife beat that bastard to death. However, Neptune shook his head. It's useless, we don't even know where Van der Dakin is but he can cast anywhere in the deep sea, throwing weapons. When everyone heard it, it was as if they were pressed down by an invisible palm. Congested Tilda. What's the use of being stronger? I can't find this guy at all. All of a sudden, Whitebeard, Hongfa and others also fell into silence Tilda. For an opponent who doesn't show up at all, strength is completely useless. Sensing the silence of the people around him, 
Neptune sighed and looked at Whitebeard. I'll tell you the truth, if someone can save Shira Hashi, I will do anything for me. Oh? Hearing this, Liu Olan's eyes light up another level. With your words, what am I waiting for? Immediately, Liu Olan cleared his throat. Although this matter is difficult, I like this kind of challenge. He looked at Neptune, and said in a firm tone, Give me a day, and I will take care of this. Chapter 226 Stealing a Little Shira Hashi Please subscribe. Is it hard to solve the Shira Hashi thing? If Liu Olan is not a time traveler, this matter is really difficult. But even if he can handle it, he can't make it look too easy. You have done a thing casually, and a thing done with a lot of hard work. Although the result is the same, but the value in the eyes of others is absolutely different. One day, Yu Soap suddenly exclaimed. He looked at Liu Olan. Hey, hey, didn't you hear clearly what the old mermaid said just now? That bastard named Vander Dakin didn't show up at all, let alone a day. As long as he if you don't take the initiative to come out, you won't be able to catch him for a month or even a year. This little brother is right. Neptune he glanced at Usopp and nodded. It's not a matter of strength. Otherwise I would have asked Whitebeard for help even if I had to risk my old face just now. Whitebeard patted his head. In this case, I really can't help. It would be easier if I could know his exact location. Shanks also nodded in agreement. Yes. The trouble with this matter is how to lock this person's location. It's not a big problem, I just like this kind of difficult challenge. Liu Olan shrugged his shoulders, looked at Neptune with a smile. Besides, we will leave the Fishmen Island tomorrow. Isn't it idle? Luffy also said, if it's Liu Olan, it will definitely be done. Uncle Mermaid. Don't worry, this matter will definitely be fine. Yes, there is nothing Liu Olan can't do that he wants to do. Nami held Liu Olan's arm, his face full of pride. Neptune thought for a while, and then said, since you're so enthusiastic. I thank you in advance. If there is anything I can cooperate with in a day, I will definitely help with all my strength. Okay, time is tight. Can you let me meet your daughter, so I can ask something about 18-0? Now that Neptune has spoken, the next thing will be easy. Hearing this, Neptune was stunned for a moment, and then bonded. It's okay, but Bay Ixen is a little timid. If so many of you are going to see her, it will scare her. Oh, I'll just go see her by myself. Liu Lan immediately said that this is no problem. But Luffy immediately became unhappy. Ah Tilda, I want to go too. For this kind of thing, Luffy is very positive. Don't worry, because I have to investigate clues, it's easier for me to act alone. When I find out the location of Vander Dakin, I will definitely come to inform everyone. At that time, we will go to Vander Dakin together to settle the score. Liu Olan patted Luffy on the shoulder, persuading him. If the timeline hasn't changed, Liu Olan doesn't mind Luffy's participation in this matter. But the current timeline is two years earlier than in the original plot and there are still two years before Hody Jones and his gang launched an armed seizure of power on the Fishmen Island. So, if Luffy intervenes now, not only will it not be helpful, but with his reckless personality, it will only make things messy. Is that so Tilda? Luffy rubbed his chin. Stupid. What are you still hesitating about? If you intervene in this kind of investigation, we won't be able to find anything in ten years. Nami showed the Merlock mouth emoji and shook his fist at Luffy. Zora laughed loudly. Ha ha ha. That's right. Don't get in the way. Liu Olan can handle it. Sanji pulled Luffy over. What a waste of time you are here. I still have to hurry to see the mermaid sister Tilda. Before the departure of the Seibadi archipelago. Sanji had inquired about the Fishmen Island, and knew that the mermaid sisters here are as good as the water spirits. He couldn't wait to raise his eyes tilde. Afterwards, everyone entered the Fishmen Island. As for Shira Hashi, Neptune should have come in person. But because Whitebeard is also very important to him, he sent his most powerful assistant, Prime Minister Gui, to lead Liu Ogang to meet Shira Hashi. Here, Princess Shira Hashi is in this shell tower. Prime Minister Gui stretched out his hand to guide forward, with a sad look on his face. After all, he is also the elder of Princess Shira Hashi. Seeing Princess Shira Hashi being locked up in this ivory tower and losing her freedom since she was a child, Prime Minister Yu couldn't bear it. But he also understood why Neptune asked him to come in person. No matter how painful it is for Shira Hashi to lose his freedom, he will never let anyone take Shira Hashi out of this shell tower. Although this Liu Lan in front of him says he wants to help Princess Shira Hashi, who knows what he really thinks. What a poor princess. Looking at the tall shell tower in front of him, Liu Lan shook his head slightly tilde. Mr. Liu Lan. You only have half an hour to ask Princess Shira Hashi about the situation. Please hurry up. With that said, Prime Minister Gui gestured to the guards on both sides. The guard door opened slowly, revealing a gap tilde. Liu Olan quickly stepped into it. The inside is quite spacious, and various glowing shellfish on the seabed are inlaid on the surrounding walls, making it very bright. The door behind him was quickly closed again by the guards. Who are you? A timid and frightened voice suddenly came from the tower room on the left tilde. Liu Olan turned his head and looked over and saw the legendary top beauty, Sun Xing. You, you, you came in like this, are you a bad person? Two little hands held her cheeks, and Princess Shirahashi shrank nervously beside the shell bed. Have to say, 
Princess Shirahashi deserves to be one of the three ceilings in the pirate world. I really feel pity for this lovely and charming appearance. If Sanji came here, I'm afraid he would have lost too much blood and died by this time. Don't be afraid, your father asked me to help you. Liu Olan didn't want him to continue to misunderstand such a pitiful little mermaid. Finally, he pointed out the door again. The guards let me in just now, you should have seen it too. Although Princess Shirahashi heard what the guards said just now, she was naturally timid so she confirmed it with Liu Olan. This kind of behavior seems to be a bit out of mind in the eyes of normal people, but for a coward like Princess Shira Hashi, it's normal. After all, she has been persecuted by Van der Daken since she was six years old, so she has been living in the Shell Tower without going out Tilda. Thus developed such a timid character. Oh Tilda. After hearing Liu Olan's confirmation, Princess Shira Hashi breathed a sigh of relief. But she suddenly noticed something, hugged her fish tail, and asked curiously. You just said that my father asked you to help me? Liu Lan nodded. Yes, I'm here to eliminate that villain who threw a weapon at you. Because talking to such a cute little mermaid as Princess Shira Hashi, Liu Lan's words and words also cater to Shira Hashi as much as possible. Really? Princess Shira Hashi's eyes lit up when she heard that the villain who threw the weapon could be eliminated. Princess Shira Hashi is too innocent, so she will not doubt whether Liu Ogang is lying Tilda. Since she believed that Liu Lan was called by her father to help her, Princess Shira Hashi would not have any doubts. Certainly, even if Elias sneaks in, this silly and sweet girl still trusts her Tilda. For example, Luffy in the original plot Tilda. At that time, the guards had already told Princess Shira Hashi that Luffy was a pirate, and Luffy's partner was also arrested for committing a crime. But Princess Shira Hashi still felt that Luffy was not a bad person. You know, do really crooked bad guys make themselves look like bad guys? With Princess Shira Hashi's silly and sweet personality, if she really went out to wander the rivers and lakes by herself, she might have arrived at the traffickers market within two miles. It's true, I assure you, starting tomorrow, you will be free, and you will no longer be trapped in this small shell tower. This guarantees that Liu Olan still dares to fight. Wow! You're such a nice guy. Princess Shira Hashi threw herself on the bed with excitement, and a fish tail moved up and down which is what a mermaid would do when she was happy. By the way, you are so powerful, you must have been to many places, right? Have you ever seen the sun? Also, have you seen all kinds of flowers and furry animals? Have you ever been to the green place called forest? As a poor little girl who has hardly seen the outside world, Princess Shira Hashi has a hundred thousand reasons in her heart and wants to ask them all at once. Listening to Princess Shira Hashi's barrage of questions, Liu Olan suddenly remembered that in the original plot, Luffy bewildered Shira Hashi for asking too many questions, and then made Princess Shira Hashi cry three. That idiot Tilda. Afterwards, Liu Olan said with a smile, the places I have been to are like stars in the sky. Oh yes, you have never seen the stars in the sky. Anyway, there are a lot of them. I have seen thousands of flowers competing for beauty Tilda. I have also seen lions, tigers, rabbits, licking dogs, cats and other animals with long hairs Tilda. I have also seen a vast and boundless forest, where there are many animals and animals and the scenery is beautiful Tilda. If there is a chance, I will take you out to play Tilda. Liu Olan casually said a lot of things that Princess Shira Hashi was interested in. But the poor princess listened with gusto, her face was full of anticipation and excitement. It turns out that there are really so many magical things in the world Tilda. Princess Shira Hashi clasped her hands together and was extremely excited. She picked up Liu Olan and held him in her palm. Is there anything else magical? Tell me all about it, I really want to hear it. Okay, anyway. The guard outside gave me half an hour, so I'll tell you slowly. Liu Lan didn't come here to ask about the situation, but just to show it to Neptune's people Tilda. Otherwise, if he went directly to someone, wouldn't that make no sense? Time flies, and half an hour has passed. There was a sound of conch shells outside Tilda. It was to inform Liu Lan that it was time to go out. Okay, Princess Shira Hashi, it's time for me to go out. If all goes well, by this time tomorrow, you should be free. Liu Lan stood up ready to bid farewell to Princess Shira Hashi temporarily. Hot Hilda? Why so fast? Although Liu Olan has already talked about a lot of scenery and animals, but Princess Shira Hashi is listening to it, how can it be stopped? It's like when others applaud for love, you are suddenly pulled away, and they won't fight you hard Tilda. Yeah, put me down, I should get out. Liu Olan stood in Shira Hashi's palm and pointed to the ground below. Woo 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 woo. Shui Lingling's big eyes suddenly turned red, and tears flowed out. Why? Question mark. Liu Olan was stunned. Why are you still crying Tilda? Woo woo woo, but I still want to hear it, and I also want to hang out with you. Woo 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 woo. Tears dripped down, immediately pouring tears on Liu Olan's head. Dot. Wiping away the tears that poured down his face, Liu Olan was speechless Tilda. He was about to get angry, but suddenly seeing Princess Shira Hashi's pitiful appearance, the anger that had risen up immediately subsided. You still want to hear it? Yeah Tilda happy princess nodded again and again, and a happy trend appeared on her little face. Well then, 
I'll take you out together. Anyway, you'll be free tomorrow, and it doesn't matter if you go out a day earlier. Standing in front of the weeping princess Shira Hashi, Liu Lan is sure that no one in this world would refuse her proposal tilde. Really? Shui Lingling's big eyes usually glowed with light, but then, the light faded. There are guards outside, they won't let me go out. It's okay, this matter is settled. As he said that, Liu Lan flipped his palm, and the small card of Clow appeared in his hand. Magic surge tilde. Princess Shira Hashi instantly transforms into a miniature little mermaid. Liu Olan landed on the ground and reached out to catch Princess Shira Hashi who fell from the sky. R. Underscore W. Suddenly seeing that she had turned into a miniature mermaid in Liu Olan's hands. Princess Shira Hashi cried out in horror. Don't be afraid, don't be afraid Tilda this is my ability, I can make you bigger or smaller. I'll turn you back right now, don't shout about it Tilda. As he said that, Liu Olan's magic power surged and transformed Princess Shira Hashi back again. R. I really changed back again Tilda it's so fun. The innocent princess Shira Hashi suddenly became happy again. At this time, the sound of conch shells sounded outside the door again. Liu Lan reminded, if you want me to take you out, I have to decide on 3.1 quickly. Why? Shira Hashi looked anxious, of course I want to. But the guard who delivered the food later found that I was not there, so my father is going to be in a hurry Tilda. It's not difficult Tilda. Liu Lan flipped his palm again, and the double cards of the Kuluo card appeared in his hand. Magic surge Tilda. Princess Shira Hashi suddenly became too, huh? Exactly the same as me? Princess Shira Hashi was surprised at first, and then immediately understood what Liu Lan meant, and she was very pleasantly surprised. Liu Lan smiled, use this substitute to temporarily replace you for a day, so you can rest assured. Ah, uh, the little head is like pounding garlic. Princess Shira Hashi urged, help me get smaller tilde. The magic power in Liu Lan's hand moved again and Princess Shira Hashi instantly turned into a miniature little mermaid. Liu Lan stuffed Princess Shira Hashi into the clothes on his shoulders, and said, Don't make a sound, I will let you out when you get outside. Princess Shira Hashi replied obediently, Yeah, I won't talk until you call me Tilda. Liu Lan is a little speechless Tilda. This little Shira Hashi is too good to be cheated. Fortunately, he is a good person, otherwise, wouldn't little Shira Hashi have been successfully trafficked Tilda? With the sound of the third conch sound. The door of the shell tower opened. Did you ask for useful information? Prime Minister Gui immediately greeted him, and then gave the guards on both sides a look. The guard immediately checked and saw that Princess Shira Hashi was inside, so he made an okay gesture to Prime Minister Kane Tilda. It's okay, I asked a lot. This matter generally has a direction, I have to hurry up and investigate. With that said, Liu Olan bid farewell to Prime Minister Turtle, and went out of Dragon Palace with little Shira Hashi in his arms. Chapter 227 What can my special mother do? Two four emperors come fk me. Question mark please subscribe. After leaving Dragon Palace City, Liu Lan headed towards Merlock Street. When it came to the water, Liu Lan took Shira Hashi out of his shoulder. Magic surge tilde. Liu Lan transformed Princess Shira Hashi to a level that is almost in line with her figure. Judging from Liu Lan's height of 1.8 meters, Princess Shira Hashi is about 1.7 meters tall Tilda. It's really fun to be able to grow bigger and smaller too Tilda. Princess Shira Hashi happily swims around Liu Olan, as if a piglet has just been released to have fun after being imprisoned for a long time. Not to mention how happy I was. Is Merlock Street right in front? I came here once when I was very young. Places like Merlock Street, to put it bluntly, are the ghost caves of the Fishmen Island. There are all kinds of low-level Merlocks and mermaids here. They don't have too many pursuits. They fight and make trouble every day, doing nothing Tilda. Of course, this is only on the surface. Today's Merlock Street has been ruled by a Merlock named Hody Jones. He has gathered a group of capable men to rhythm and imprison the humans who come and go to the Fishmen Island. May not rob money, but also rob people. And don't T be picky at all, you want any materials and people. Relying on this method, the life on Merlock Street is getting worse and worse Tilda. More and more Merlocks are turning to Hody Jones. In a sense, although Hody Jones is an unforgivable person, he is also a remarkable hero to the people at the bottom of Merlock Street, but these are meaningless to Liu Olan Tilda. Howdy Jones's hatred for humans is even ten times and a hundred times more than the hatred of dragons for humans. Liu Olan didn't mind crushing this little reptile to death. Is that villain Van Der Daken on Merlock Street? Looking at the entrance of Fool's Street, which was already close at hand, Princess Shira Hashi leaned towards Liu Olan with some fear, and asked nervously. Liu Olan shook his head. The bad guy is not here. But the people here are all followers of different religions and ranks, and some of them must know the location of Van der Daken. By the way, there are vicious villains here. In order to prevent them from plotting against you, you should hide on me first. I'll make a maze for you to play with, okay? Considering that he may be tortured later, Liu Lan doesn't want such a cute creature like Princess Shira Hashi to see his brutal side tilde. Hearing this, Princess Shira Hashi tilted her cute little head. Maze? What is that? Is it a game? Oh wait. 
the dignified princess doesn't even know the maze. It can be seen what kind of lonely childhood our little Shira has she spent Tilda. Yes, a very interesting game. After you go in, you need to go from one end of the maze to the other. There will be many false intersections in the middle to mislead you into a dead end. If you choose every intersection correctly, then you can come out from the other end of the maze. Liu Olan introduced the rules of the maze to her. Later, Liu Olan used the maze to turn his body into a human maze. Then used a small card, turned Princess Shirahashi into the size of a finger, put it in the maze, and said, You have fun in it, wait until I find out the location of the bad guy. Just let you out. If you feel scared inside, just call my name. I can cancel the maze at any time. Yeah Tilda, I will definitely be able to get out of the maze by myself. Little Shirahashi clenched his fists. The more innocent the person, the more confident he is. Okay Tilda. Liu Olan made a gesture to Shirahashi, and then closed the knot of the maze. In this way, Princess Shirahashi can neither see nor hear what is going on outside Tilda. Humanity. Before taking a few steps, a suspicious voice came from the direction of Murloc Street. The next moment, more than a dozen Murlocs with Shamat hairstyles came from all corners. He <laughs> he. I didn't expect that to be someone who offered to deliver it to your door. Ha ha ha, is this a lost little sheep? Come on, big brothers will take you to a fun place. There are many of your kind the Tilda. These murlocs surrounded Liu Olan with playful faces, like a group of cats teasing a mouse. Liu Olan has seen this kind of plot in novels and TV countless times. He didn't want to waste time, he grabbed the void with his right hand, and a burning soul chain appeared in his hand instantly. Whoosh, accompanied by a dull sound of breaking the wind. The soul's chanting skipped over a dozen murloc bodies. Although the murloc's physique is more than ten times that of a human's, it is like a bunch of loose twists in front of the ghost knight's soul chain tilde. It was smashed into pieces. In the blink of an eye, only one of the dozen or so murlocs remained. This is not a fish that slipped through the net, but one that Liu Olan deliberately left alive. A lot of blood and minced meat poured all over his body tilde. When the little murloc reacted, his face changed drastically in fright. Ah, ah exclamation mark. The strong murloc screamed like a woman tilde. His face was full of frightened expressions, and Lian's body trembled unconsciously. Take me to Hody Jones. At this time, Liu Olan, who turned into a ghost rider, had a voice as cold as coming from the nine nether hells. The murloc gangster is already frightened and stupid at this time, how can he move? You only have three seconds, if you don't lead the way after more than three seconds, you will be like them. Liu Olan straightened the soul chain in his hand and the flames of hell burning on it exploded. Ah, shouting again in horror, the little murloc hurriedly led the way, rolling and crawling. At this moment, he only hated his parents for not giving him eight more children. Not long after, a large number of broken ships appeared ahead. Liu Olan saw this scene in comics Tilda. These broken ships are all human ships, destroyed by murlocs in the deep sea, and then brought here. Then it became a prison for human beings. There, that's Lord Hody Jones. The murloc gangster who had already made up his mind didn't care so much anymore and just called Hody Jones by his name in front of Hody Jones and the others. Huh? Jerry, you actually brought a human to find me? Hody Jones was discussing with Bao Zhang and others whether they should make a vote in the next few days, when he suddenly saw a human figure that disgusted him. Rush. As soon as his words fell, Liu Olan's arm stretched out instantly, grabbed his neck and hid him tilde. No van der Decken. Liu Olan didn't talk nonsense. He stretched out his arms and pressed Hody Jones to the ground and asked, Van der Day I can, my fanny milk, a human dares to attack me on Murloc Street. He also questioned me like Uranus Lozy. You are courting death, with a ferocious shout, Hody Jones opened his sharp teeth and bit Liu Olan's arm, crunch. The moment his teeth touched Liu Olan's arm, the Murloc's teeth, which were as hard as titanium alloy, instantly shattered. Ow! Underscore day. Hody Jones screamed and the painful eye oil rolled in the eye sockets tilde. Rebellious? Liu Olan frowned slightly and then activated the rubber fruit ability. His palm instantly covered Honey Jones' entire head. Cool. Dash. The flames of hell exploded from his palm tilde. Hody Jones didn't even have time to say pain before being burned into a headless mermaid tilde. Ah, Hody Jones. Impossible. Bazang, Hardman and others originally planned to watch Hody Jones perform, but they never thought about it, and Hody Jones immediately hung up. Run. Seeing that the situation was not good, Leopard Zhang immediately gave the order without hesitation. Then Liu Olan flipped his palm and the fire guard appeared in his hand. Rumble Tilda. Billowing flames soared into the sky, forming a circle of fire around them, blocking Bazang and others. Want to run? He also curled his lips slightly, and swished out the soul chain in his hand. Boom. A Merlock Carda exploded into a pile of black ash Tilda. Boom. Liu Olan flicked the soul chain again, and another Merlock Carda was knocked out of his wits. Boom. 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 Liu Olan waved the soul chain casually, and the Merlocks around him disappeared in a blink of an eye Tilda. Leopard Zhang was frightened and hurriedly shouted, I know Van der Daken. Do you know where he is? Liu Olan stopped killing murlocs, cast his eyes leisurely at Leopard, and said calmly, Tell me about you, 
since you know where he is, tell me sooner. Don't these guys have to die? Leopard Tibetan just wants to curse Tilda. You didn't even ask me. Seeing Bazang's appearance, Liu Olan looked at him coldly, ask you again, are you sure you can lead me to find him? Yes, yes. This Van Der Daken is the captain of the Flying Pirates. We often encounter them when we rob passing human ships. Their base camp is in the Black Coral Sea. Sometimes our people will go to him to negotiate things. Bazang nodded quickly not daring to be slow. This guy in front of him is a murderous existence. Okay, that's all right. You come with me. Liu Olan removed the firewall, turned around and walked towards the entrance of Merlock Street. Leopard Zhang looked at Liu Olan's back, then at the disappearing walls of fire around him, and suddenly had the idea of running away quickly. But after only half a second, his thought was immediately suppressed. He had seen Liu Olan's method with his own eyes just now. In front of such a strong man, he didn't think he could really escape. The Gate of Dragon Palace Tilda. The people who received the notification from Liu Olan were already waiting here. Gula la la la. The butcher already knew that Liu Olan is reliable in everything. Whitebeard patted Neptune on the back. How is it? Are you glad you didn't miss Liu Olan just now? Yeah, I really didn't expect that he could actually do it. And he did it in such a short period of time. It's really outrageous Tilda. Neptune's old face was full of disbelief. Wow ha ha. Things that others think are outrageous are not worth mentioning to Roland Tilda. Luffy grinned, holding his hands up. The red-haired Shank's eyes glowed, and he thought to himself, this kid is really not simple Tilda. Soon, a figure was seen galloping towards him. When it landed, Liu Lan threw the leopard in his hand to the ground and said, the location is confirmed. I knew that someone in Merlock Street must have contacted Van der Daken. Dazed by the throw, Bazang got up and looked around. With just one glance, he immediately jumped down at the speed of light. F.K. His heart bet violently, and then he looked back at the person in front of him. His mouth trembling non-stop. Four. Four emperors. Even if you live on the bottom of the sea for a long time, you will not know the four phoenixes on this sea tilde. Such a big man appeared in front of his eyes, and there were two of them. This moment, Leopard Zhang's heart, liver, spleen, lungs and kidneys were frightened and rearranged tilde. Do you know where Van der Decken is? At this time, Neptune asked him patiently. There were two four emperors in charge, and Bao Zhang didn't dare to delay, and nodded quickly. Yes, 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 I know. It's in the Black Coral Sea. The Black Coral Sea. Unexpectedly hid in that kind of place. Hearing this, Lipton was furious immediately, and said to Prime Minister Turtle beside him, Go and order the army. Set off immediately. However, Whitebeard immediately dissuaded him. Gula la la la. Don't mobilize the crowd, since we already know the location. We just have nothing to do and we have nothing to do. Why don't we go with you? Shanks also nodded. Indeed, we should treat this kind of thing as entertainment. Dot. Neptune hesitated for a moment. What are you waiting for? Don't you want to let your daughter out of the sea of suffering as soon as possible? Liu Lan looked at Neptune and said with a smile, Let's go right away Tilda. Good. Now that so many strong pirates have spoken, Neptune no longer hesitates. Soon, Dragon Palace City's special ship for sailing in the deep sea sailed towards the Black Coral Sea Tilda. Black Coral Sea, a pirate ship that looks like a ghost ship is parked on the platform of the reef on the bottom of the sea. In the cabin Tilda, Van Der Dicken was standing in front of his equipment window, carefully selecting his weapons. Last time I threw an axe, this time it's time to throw a spear. I really want to see Princess Shirahashi crying out of fright. Just thinking about it makes me excited Tilda. HMPH, that idiot Neptune. Let me be the son-in-law of Dragon Palace earlier so the princess of the common people won't have to keep being locked in the tower. I'm so mad at Lozy. While choosing a weapon, Vanderday read, J2, boom. The door to the weapons room was pushed open. A pirate stumbled in, his face swollen like a pig's head. Van der Dicken frowned, what's going on? How did you make it like this Tilda? It's not good, Captain. Come dot 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 come dot 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 a great character. As soon as the pirate passed the word, he immediately rolled his eyes and passed out. Incredible character. There was a sneer at the corner of Van der Daken's mouth. In this deep sea, no one can be the opponent of the Murlocs. As long as he takes the opportunity to imitate the other party, the other party will have to live under his shadow for the rest of his life. Thinking of this, Van der Daken is ready to go out and have a look Tilda. But before he could move his legs, boom. The terrifying concussion force swept over in an instant. His pirate ship was like a piece of paper. It fell apart in an instant and turned into pieces of damage, spraying everywhere. The pirate ship, which was originally quite large, suddenly turned into a small open sampan tilde. Although Van der Daken was standing in the cabin, it was no different from the deck at the moment. After a short look of bewilderment, Van der Daken looked up at the deck ahead tilde. Neptune, seeing the Coelacanth Merlock, Van der Day recognized it immediately tilde. Then, he noticed that there were two humans standing on the left and right of Neptune. A height three, crescent-shaped white beard tilde. A height of about two meters, one arm, red hair, hiss. Dash, with just one glance. Van der Dicken suddenly took a deep breath. E. How can my special mother heed her? Two for emperors to do it? Chapter 228 Shirely Divination 
holding Liu Olan and refusing to let go. Please subscribe. White, white beard, red red, rub your eyes. Van der Daken, you have to erase this terrible illusion tilde. But after wiping it down a few times, Whitebeard and the redhead are still standing in front of him. Boom. Van der Daken's heart seemed to fall into a bottomless abyss. Isn't the reason why he dared to blackmail the princess of the Fishmen Island so arrogantly because he couldn't be identified by the other party based on his whereabouts. But he never expected that one moment he was still happily choosing weapons, and the next moment he was suddenly slapped in the face by two four emperors. Most importantly, in the middle of the two quadruples stands Neptune king of the Fishmen Island. This made it clear that the other party was here to stand up for Neptune. Under such circumstances, Van der Daken didn't have any thoughts of resistance at all, and just turned around and wanted to sneak away Tilda. Rush. Just as Van der Daken rushed a few meters away, two knives were crossed on his neck Tilda. In the shadows, Foil Beaster came out slowly, with a teasing smile on his face, who gave you the confidence to run away in front of Dad. The sharp blade forcefully forced Van der Daken back in front of the crowd. Poof. Van der Daken's knee hit the deck hard and he prostrated himself at Neptune's feet, crying bitterly, I was wrong, I was wrong, please forgive me, I was just a moment the ghost is fascinated Tilda, boom boom boom, Van der Deacon slammed his head on the deck, crying and begging for mercy, forgive, a contemptuous sneer twitched at the corner of Gian Bister's mouth, first pretend to be pitiful and beg for sympathy, once you escape from birth, it will get worse, you see this kind of person a lot, it sounded like he was talking to himself, but he was actually reminding Neptune not to soften his heart. Neptune's face was full of anger. HMPH, you caused such misery to little Shira Hashi, and you still want to be forgiven? Although he is a merciful king, he is not merciful enough to ignore the suffering of his own daughter. Bring me my big knife. Neptune waved his hand, and soon a Merlock guard brought his 18 meter broadsword. If I show mercy to you today, tomorrow you will retaliate even more crazily. Van der Daken, I will not spare you. As he said that, Neptune raised his long knife high and chose it with one blow. That night, the Fishmen Island held a celebration on the island, and Neptune gave a big banquet to all the ministers. The Straw Hat Pirates, Whitebeard Pirates and Red Hair Pirates were entertained with the highest royal banquet. Liu Olan, as the biggest contributor to this incident, was invited by Neptune to be a minister. In addition, the three captains Whitebeard, Shanks and Luffy also sat at the main table. Princess Shirahashi has now regained her freedom, and finally she no longer needs to be kept in the Shell Tower. Her seat is next to Liu Olan's. Liu Olan used a small card to make her into a human size. While eating, she pestered Liu Olan to continue giving her tell outside stories. Gula la la la. Neptune, it seems that your daughter likes boy Liu Ogang very much. Tilda, Whitebeard, and Neptune clinked a glass and said with a smile, Yeah, Liu Olan is not only young and promising, but also handsome. The key is little Shira Hashi's savior. If it weren't for me, I would have just had such a daughter. I would have wanted little Shira Hashi to go to sea with Liu Olan. Neptune was also cheerful. On the surface, Liu Olan saved little Shira Hashi. But in fact, Neptune knew in his heart that Liu Olan has saved countless people. With the identity of little Shira Hashi, if he is finally held hostage by Van der Daken, the consequences will be extremely dire. By the way, Liu Olan, what wish do you have? As I said before, if anyone can save little Shira Hashi, I will agree to anything. Neptune looked at Liu Olan and asked kindly. Good. Didn't I just wait for you to ask me this? Immediately, Liu Olan showed an embarrassed expression. I want to talk about things. There was nothing wrong at first, but now suddenly there are. Neptune waved his hand boldly. Just ask, as long as I can do it, I will never be rich. Seeing Neptune like this, Liu Olan also said happily, Okay, since your majesty the king is so generous, then I do have a heartfelt request. Can I buy some Yang Shui roots from you? Wow. As soon as these words came out, the audience instantly calmed down. All the murlocs and mermaids all focused their eyes on Liu Olan's face. Their eyes were shocked with vigilance. Even Neptune's complexion turned bad all of a sudden. Tilda, gula la la la. Whitebeard's laughter interrupted the frozen atmosphere and time, and he smoothed things over. Guy Liu Olan probably doesn't know the importance of Yang Shui to the Fishmen Island, so he opened his mouth like this. Then, Whitebeard looked at Liu Olan again. Let me tell you, old man, the Fishmen Island should have been in total darkness in the deep sea of. 10,000 meters. But Yang Shui absorbs sunlight through its branches and leaves, and then then spread to the route system, thereby illuminating the sky of the Fishmen Island. So, the importance of the route system of the Yang Shui to the Fishmen Island, I think you should be able to understand. Thanks to Whitebeard's peacemaking behavior, the faces of the Murlocs and Merfolk present eased up. Those who don't know are innocent. Neptune pondered for a moment, then frowned and asked, Liu Olan, why do you need the root system of Yang Shui? Neptune can still understand if branches are needed. After all, sticks can be used to build ships. The boat built from the branches of a sun tree Eve must be extremely strong, no less than the boat built from the branches of the precious tree Adam. But the problem is, 
The branches of Yang Shui are completely hidden inside the red line, which makes it almost impossible to obtain the branches of Yang Shui. But the root system can't be used in shipbuilding at all. Liu Lan smiled. My condition sounds a bit inexplicable, right, dude? So you know, please come to other fishmen island to ask for the root system of Yang Shui. That's not inexplicable. That's simply unreasonable. Why? Liu Lan sighed, then patted his rock tilde. To his left is Princess Shira Hashi, and to his right is Little Mary. Little Millie immediately sat on Liu Lan's lap with understanding. Your Majesty Neptune, I would like to introduce to you, this is my daughter Little Millie. Liu Lan gently patted Little Millie's little hand, and introduced it to everyone at the same table. PFFT. You already have a daughter? Neptune almost spit out a mouthful of old wine. Ahem, he adopted it. Whitebeard, as an insider, explained immediately. Then he added, Although she was adopted, Liu Lan paid her more sincerely than her own daughter. Wow, you are so cute Tilda. Princess Shira Hashi couldn't help but came over and touched Xiaomai's little face Tilda. As one of the three most handsome people in the world, Princess Shira Hashi can also be called the cutest person in the world. But at this time, in front of Little Millie, no one dares to say that Princess Shira Hashi's appearance and cuteness will definitely win over Xiaomai Tilda. Your Majesty Neptune. Do you know why I was so active in trying to help you before question mark tilde? Liu Olan looked at Neptune and asked softly. Neptune pondered for a moment, then said, I was a little confused before, but now I think I should understand. Everyone has a daughter, and you can definitely feel the pain I have suffered over the years. Roland nodded, yes. It is because of this empathy that I am determined to help little Shira Hashi get out of the sea of suffering. Wow. Neptune stood up suddenly, and bowed deeply in Liu Olan's direction. Thank you very much. Standing up. Neptune looked at Liu Olan seriously, you want the root system of Yang Shui? is it also for your daughter? Yes, dot. Liu Olan sighed, hugged little Mili into his arms, and said with a heavy face, my daughter is not an ordinary human race, she has a very special constitution, she not only needs to eat, but also needs to eat wood, eat wood, Whitebeard was astonished, and suddenly remembered something, and said, the old man finally understands. No wonder your daughter's food expenses are so expensive. It's not just about eating wood. When she becomes addicted, ordinary wood can't satisfy his appetite. Rare and rare wood must be used to appease this appetite. Otherwise, she will starve to death soon. Liu Olan went on to say. The red-haired eyebrow raised slightly. The situation you mentioned is a bit similar to aunt's craving disorder. I remembered. At this moment, Luffy patted his forehead. Last time, little Mealy kept shouting that she was hungry, and she had no strength. Later. She returned to normal after eating the tree hand of Adam, the ten-cut treasure tree. Liu Olan spread her hands. Yes, now she's hungry again. Luffy became anxious immediately. That's not good. I have to find something to eat for her quickly. Is that so? Hearing this, Neptune also understood. But he is really difficult Tilda. With a sigh, Neptune said, Liu Olan, you are the great benefactor of me and little Shira Hashi. I should meet your ten requirements. But this matter is too much for the Fishman Island! Exclamation mark. It doesn't matter, I'm just asking for your opinion. I'm not buying or selling by force. When we enter the new world, we'll go to the underground black market to see if there are other branches of the treasure tree Adam for resale. Liu Lan showed a smile on his face, signaling Neptune not to care too much. The fact that Xiao Mili was greedy was true, and AI Gang did not lie. But when Liu Lan left the Sebadi archipelago, he stored a large amount of almond mangroves. Although these mangrove trees are far inferior to the treasure tree Adam and Yang Shui, and they can't completely eliminate little Mili's lust but they can have a suppressive effect, and can relieve Little Millie's lust a lot. The stock of mangroves is still sufficient for the time being. If there is no substance that can replace the treasure tree Adam and the poplar tree Eve in the new world, then Liu Olan can only come back and steal. Oh no, let me borrow the root system of Yang Shui Eve Tilda. Apostrophe father, can't we help a bunch of Little Millie's? At this time, Princess Shira Hashi said pitifully. This matter, Neptune's tangled old face turned into a rag, so he sighed. Well, after the banquet is over. I will go to Mrs. Shirley for a fortune telling on this matter. If the fortune telling shows no bad omen, I will send you to root. That. Thank you so much. Liu Olan got up and performed a pirate's attic at a Neptune. After drinking and eating, Neptune and his party came to Mrs. Shirley's coffee shop. When she suddenly saw such a big person coming, Mrs. Shirley was really taken aback. When Neptune told the purpose of their coming, Mrs. Shirley was shocked again Tilda. What? Suntree Eve's root system? Question mark. Looking at Neptune with an unbelievable look. Mrs. Shirley almost cursed Tilda. She forcefully calmed down her anger, and said slowly, Do you still need to think about this kind of thing? As the lord of the country, you still want to ask me to take over this matter? Isn't this nonsense? Neptune blushed when he was told, but when he thought of the happiness that Liu Olan brought to Shira Hashi, he said with an old face, Anyway, please, just do a divination Tilda. Seeing Neptune's insistence, Mrs. Shirley also understood that today's occupation must be taken. Your Majesty, let's say I didn't remind you. Divinate this kind of thing. 
and the result of the divination will definitely make you unforgettable forever. Saying that, Mrs. Shirley ordered a Merlock to move out the crystal ball, as she began to chant some ancient spell. The crystal ball glowed white tilde. Mrs. Shirley's eyes also turned white. Liu Olan rubbed his chin, also very interested in the result of this divination. Okay, he knows Mrs. Shirley's character design, and her divination is 100% correct. So, this result is very curious tilde. In this kind of commentary, within a few seconds of the divination, Mrs. Xiali's face suddenly became extremely shocked. Dot. Neptune sighed and covered his old face, knowing that he was too willful this time. After a few seconds, the horror on Mrs. Shirley's face became even stronger. After a few seconds, Mrs. Xiali's mouth also opened, and she was completely stunned. Hula. The white light of the crystal ball suddenly disappeared, and Mrs. Xiali seemed to be suffocated in the water for a while, breathing heavily. How about it? Although Neptune knew that the result would not be too good, he still asked. Step aside. Mrs. Xiali put aside the king of the fishmen island, and rushed to Liu Lan. Caught off guard, Neptune fell down on the chair next to him, and he shouted loudly, Don't be impulsive, he is Shirahashi's savior no matter what. Don't hurt, kill him. Then the next moment, before he could say anything, he saw Mrs. Shirley kneel down in front of Liu Lan, hug Liu Lan's leg, and burst into tears, grateful. Thank you, thank you. Question mark. Walter fake? Question mark. At this moment, everyone was dumbfounded. What's the situation? Question mark. Didn't it mean that the result of divination will definitely make Neptune unforgettable forever? Question mark. Good guy. Now it looks like it will never be forgotten tilde. But, the person who will never forget it seems to be you. Skin. Chapter 229 Manga for Little Shira Hashi. Please subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Mrs. Shirley hugged Liu Olan's leg tightly, crying tilde. She raised her head, looked up at Liu Olan devoutly and the red pie trembled excitedly, it's finally here, it's finally here, my lord, you can do whatever you want tilde, this sudden scene really fooled everyone around, fk, what's the situation, how did mrs shirley suddenly become like this, especially the murlocs and mermaids present, who doesn't know mrs shirley, anyone who lives in a fishmen island knows that mrs shirley is a dignified woman with a calm personality, even if someone mentioned vulgar words in front of her, she would immediately get angry and become very terrible. But who would have thought that Mrs. Shirley would throw herself at the feet of a human being so recklessly, hugging the human leg, and speaking in such a humble tone? This is unbelievable. Even Liu Olan himself was fooled Tilda. Hey, this. Although Liu Olan had already guessed that it probably had something to do with Mrs. Shirley's divination, he was still very confused. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Subconsciously, Luffy wanted to go up and help Mrs. Shirley up. Shanks watched the scene with a puzzled look in his eyes. Although he was also a little confused, based on what he knew, he could probably guess that Chong Lai Wiren must have seen the future. Liu Olan has been of great help to the Fishmen Island. But what Shanks can't figure out is, Luffy is Joey Bowie Tilda. Even if the future of the Fishmen Island is really changed because of someone, that person must be Luffy. Are you sure this woman is right? Wrong. He must have read it wrong. Shanks remembered that Liu Olan had used Rubber Fruit's ability before and he specifically asked Luffy about it. From Luffy's mouth, I learned that Liu Olan can imitate the abilities of others through the ability of mango fruit. Thinking about it now, Shanks feels that it must be because both Liu Olan and Luffy can direct the rubber fruit ability from the past, causing Mrs. Lee to see the wrong person in the vague future. Um, that must be it. 360. Whitebeard froze for a few seconds, looking at Neptune. Neptune hurriedly asked, Mrs. Shirley, what happened? What did you see? Sunlight. We in the future. All live in the sun. It's Lord Liu Lan. He'll let us live in real sunshine. Mrs. Shirley is so excited. Her face is full of desire. Her eyes are full of longing. That is the infinite desire to live in the sun. What? What you say? Hearing these words suddenly, Neptune was shocked and dumbfounded. He looked at Mrs. Shirley with a face full of horror. Are you sure you read it right? I'm sure. Although I don't know what will happen in the future, I can see the future. The Fishmen Island is floating on the sea. The bright sun is shining on everyone's faces, and the children are playing on the green grass frolicking in the lush grassland and river tilde. I also saw a sculpture erected in the very center of the Fishmen Island. The Murlocs admire this sculpture very much tilde. Mrs. Shirley didn't see many scenes, but she told them all, forehead. Liu Olan pursed his lips, and asked with some doubts, the sculpture you are talking about is... me? It's you. Mrs. Shirley crawled down again, hugging Liu Olan's leg tightly, Master Liu Olan. That sculpture is exactly you. Good guy Tilda. Also gave me an immortality, right? Luffy became excited all of a sudden. Wow ha ha. Liu Olan has become the hero of the Fishmen Island. Let the Fishmen Island live in the sun. This is something that even this old man can't do. Whitebeard looked shocked. He looked at Liu Olan, and gave a thumbs up. Boy Liu Olan, it seems that you have really done a great thing in the future. Shanks added. It should be that their entire team will become an immeasurable existence. I didn't see those. I just said what I saw. Mrs. Shirley spoke again. She raised her head, 
looked at Neptune, and said sincerely, Your Majesty, the reason why we on the Fishmen Island regard Yang Shuiv as a sacred thing is because Yang Shuiv can transmit sunlight to this dark 10,000 meter seabed. But after all, it cannot be compared with a real sunlight, and Master Liu Lan brought us this real sunshine in the future. Lush forest, soft grass tilde, bright flowers tilde, children's laughter tilde, freedom for murlocs, for pirates, these scenes seem to be very commonplace. But for the people of the Fishmen Island, that is an unreachable existence. When Mrs. Shirley narrated these beautiful scenes one by one, all the murlocs around showed longing looks. Mr. Liu Lan tilde M men, especially Princess Shira Hashi, who was leaning against Liu Lan at this time immediately grabbed Liu Lan's arm with joy, thank you so much, you saved me, and let the whole the Fishmen Island live in Yangwen next, you are our great benefactor at the Fishmen Island, tsk tsk tilde, little Shira Hashi's expression tilde, this look, who can stand it, forcibly suppressing the distracting thoughts in his heart, Liu Lan smiled and patted Princess Shira Hashi on the head, it's okay, we are already friends, Mr. Liu Lan said I was his friend, oh tilde, the simple little Shira Hashi immediately swung her fish tail happily tilde, if this is true, then Master Liu Lan is really a great benefactor to us. The Fishman Island. That must be true. Lady Shirley's divinations never come up wrong. Yeah, Mrs. Shirley's divination is 100% correct. 100%. All the future she predicted before have come true, and this time will definitely be no exception. The surrounding murlocs have already begun to discuss in low voices. Judging by the excitement on their faces, they are very excited about the future of the Fishman Island being able to live in the sun. Neptune didn't know how to describe his mood at this moment. He never imagined that the person who saved Shira Hashi would save the entire the Fishmen Island in the future. But he is not a fool tilde. As the king of the Fishmen Island, Neptune's IQ is definitely above the standard. He was thinking secretly tilde. Liu Lan will be able to bring the Fishmen Island to live in the sun in the future. It must be because he has gained some kind of income from the Fishmen Island, or has established a special relationship with the Fishmen Island tilde. If it has just a relationship like now, then it's obvious that the Fishmen Island owes Liu Lan a big favor, why should others do such a big favor for you in the future? Question mark. Although the future can be predicted, who says the future cannot be changed? Question mark. If the opportunity that prompted Liu Lan to help the Fishmen Island is accidentally changed, then what is life, a eh, ik, in the sun? Question mark. Now, Liu Lan wants the root system of Yang Shui, which is definitely an impossible request for the current the Fishmen Island. But it is precisely because it is such an impossible request. If he agrees to Neptune tilde, isn't this a great kindness? In this way, a special bond has been established between the Fishmen Island and Liu Ogang. Thinking of this, Neptune has already made a decision in his heart. An hour later tilde, in the palace cabinet of the Fishmen Island, all the ministers unanimously approved of Neptune's decision. Afterwards, Neptune asked Liu Olan to meet alone. Of course, he also brought Shira Hashi with him very scheming. He still remembered that at the banquet, little Shira Hashi was very sticky Liu Olan, and Ai Gang also said that little Shira Hashi was cute. Although he didn't want to sell his daughter or anything, he felt that with Shira Hashi around, things should be easier to talk about. Ah, your majesty Neptune, I really don't need so much. I only need a few sticks, as long as it can make little Mally's hunger disappear, and then save two or three sticks as a gift. Leftovers will do. When Liu Olan came here, when he heard that Neptune wanted to give him more than half of the roots of Yang Shui, he quickly declined. Although Xi Amili wanted to eat it, Liu Lan didn't like to do this kind of thing. Moreover, when it comes to New World, maybe there are more things that can replace Yang Shui. Your Excellency Liu Lan, you don't need to have any psychological burden. This matter has been unanimously agreed by all the ministers. You will bring other Fishmen Island to live in the sun in the future, even if you cut off the roots of the entire Yang Shui view. We, the Fishmen Island, are all willing to. Neptune explained. Liu Lan continued to decline. No. I really don't need that much. Little Millie can't finish eating. What if these routes rot? Really, listen to me. Only five. Five root will suffice for now. How about five? In case you feel less in the future, what will you do if you don't help us the Fishman Island? Thinking of this, Neptune took out the IQ that he had lived for decades, and said, Your Excellency Liu Olan, this route system is already being cut down. If you don't accept it, I can't explain it to those heavenly ministers tilde. Liu Olan rolled his eyes tilde. Nima. Such an old-fashioned method? But since the other party has said so, it seems that today these root systems have to be harvested, and they have to be harvested. Although Liu Olan doesn't like being kidnapped by morality, seeing Mrs. Shirley's reaction just now, she also understands Neptune's good intentions. Well, since that's the case, then I'll accept it. Liu Olan spread his hands, and then said, Nipton, I am also a straightforward person. Since you have bet the future on me, then I assure you, in the future, I will definitely let the Fishmen Island live in the sun. As soon as these words came out, Neptune was completely excited. This is what he was waiting for. Immediately, 
Neptune's old eyes filled with tears, Your Excellency Luo Lan. Needless to say Tilda, Luo Lan smiled, then turned his palms, and Curry took out a comic from the system compartment. He glanced at the cover of the comic, question mark Aquarius Protoss Aqua. What a coincidence. Seeing the cover, Luo Lan thought to himself, Aquarius Protoss Aqua is from the world of fairy tale. Although it is only a Protoss summoned by Lucy, its ability to control water is super powerful. Juvia's attack power and water elemental magic are also comparable. The key is, Akuya is also a mermaid, that's great. Reciprocity, let's gift this comic book as a gift to little Shirohashi. As he spoke, Luo Lan reached out and handed, Aquarius Mind Aqua. To Princess Shirohashi. It's a comic. The little Shirohashi immediately took it, hugged him in his arms and said happily, I like it so much Tilda, just like it. This is a gift specially prepared for you. I guarantee that you will like this comic even more after reading it. Liu Lan smiled, and gently touched Shirohashi's little head. Seeing Liu Lan and Shirohashi's small actions, Neptune is not only not angry, but in a good mood. Done. It seems that our savior has not only established a bond with the Fishmen Island, but also established a bond with little Shirohashi. Maybe. The reason why Lord Liu Lan can help us on the Fishmen Island in the future is actually not the root system of Yang Shuiv, but Shirohashi? Question mark. Thinking of this, the wrinkles on Neptune's face opened up with a bright smile tilde. Your Excellency Liu Lan, let me check the progress of Yang Shuiv's root excavation first. Little Shirohashi, please take care of me for a while. With that said, Neptune slipped away. Oh well. Liu Lan nodded. But suddenly he frowned tilde. Wipe. Princess Shirohashi is such a big person, why should she take care of her Tilda? Damn, this old man Neptune is selling his daughter, but Tilda, I like this rhythm. Chapter 230 Luffy's second comic book, please subscribe. Please take a leave by the way Tilda. P.S. I suddenly need to go to the provincial capital for some temporary business. It will take about two days. After two days, the update volume of two chapters per day will resume. The next day, the Straw Hat Pirates, the White Beard Pirates and the Red Hair Pirates left the Fishmen Island for New World. Golden Mary Tilda In the comic studio, Robin pushed the door open and put a piece of moose cake on Liu Lan's table Tilda. You also started learned cooking? Liu Lan took a bite with a small spoon, not to mention, it was quite delicious Tilda. How is that possible Tilda? Rolling a blank look at Liu Lan, Robin walked behind Liu Lan and hugged him from behind. Sanji made it for the girls. I think it's delicious, and I brought it specially for you. Oh Tilda? Just want to give me a cake? Feeling Robin's hair hanging down on his face, Liu Olan quite enjoyed this feeling. Robin's J cheeks were pressed against Liu Olan's side face, and the red pie lightly opened up. Then why not? Could it be that you thought I wanted to eat you? That can't be guaranteed Tilda. Liu Olan put down the paintbrush and lay down a little bit back, trying to make his posture as comfortable as possible. You stinky brother. White fingers tugged on Liu Olan's ear. Robin smiled. According to the place you said, I did find a historical text's deal. Aren't you interested in the content on that's deal? Liu Lan said, of course I'm interested Tilda. Hearing this, Robin frowned slightly, then why didn't you come to ask me? Do you have to wait for me to take the initiative to tell you? Of course, you have always been more active than me Tilda. Liu Lan turned his face slightly, met Robin's gaze, blinked, and made no point. But the teasing look on his face didn't last for two seconds and he opened his eyes immediately, depend on, this old sixth big sister is engaging in a sneak attack again, Liu Olan suddenly said speechlessly, hey, hey, are you used to not using the flower flower fruit ability, and just do it directly, the corner of his mouth twitched arrogantly, Robin was too lazy to talk about this topic, but said, while practicing his hands, the content on a stone tablet of Zizan's historical text is actually a letter of apology, oh tilde oh, who wrote it, although Liu Olan knew a general idea, he still pretended not to know and asked, a letter of apology from a man named Joey Bowie to the princess of the Fishmen Island. Oh? For Shirohashi? Liu Olan asked pretending to be curious. Robin smiled and shook his head. No, this Joey boy was a person 800 years ago, and the mermaid princess mentioned in the letter was also a mermaid princess 800 years ago. Speaking of this, Robin himself muttered curiously, speaking of which, who is this Joey boy? Why did he write an apology letter to the mermaid princess? Liu Lan replied casually, this Joey Bowie is not a person Tilda. Hearing this, Robin frowned immediately, huh? What did you do to offend the mermaid princess? Ah Tilda, no, I mean, strictly speaking, the four characters Joey Bowie are not a person, but a kind of inheritance. Actually, our Captain Luffy is Joey Bowie. Realizing that Robin had misunderstood, Liu Olan hurriedly explained, what? Hearing what Liu Olan said suddenly, Robin suddenly showed a shocked expression. Even the movements of his hands subconsciously tightened, and he said in amazement, Luffy is Joey Boy? Question mark. His Tilda. Liu Olan gritted his teeth, and said speechlessly, Let's talk about the matter, don't be so excited. Later, Liu Olan continued, In Summit War, you also saw the appearance of the Luffy fruit after awakening. That form is actually the form of the sun god Nika, 
which represents the freedom fighter, that is, Joey Boy. Wait, I suddenly thought of one thing. Isn't Luffy's devil fruit a rubber fruit? Why does it transform like a zone phantom beast? I thought it was the ability that Luffy got from your comics, but you but he said it was the transformation form of his devil fruit. What's going on? Robin's thirst for knowledge was instantly aroused Tilda. The name rubber fruit is actually a name deliberately given by the world government to cover up the devil fruit in the form of the phantom beast Nika. As far as I know, since the death of the previous Joey Boy, the world government has always wanted to this devil fruit is in their hands. This devil fruit is obviously very spiritual, and it is consciously avoiding the pursuit of the world government. And this devil fruit itself is also looking for a suitable owner. Liu Olan explained. Robin's red lips parted slightly, and he asked in horror, You mean, it was this devil fruit that you chose Luffy? It should be like this. Liu Olan nodded, but the things I told you, don't tell other partners for now. Then why did you tell me? Robin wondered. Liu Olan smiled, one is because you are an archaeologist. This matter may help you in translating historical texts in the future. What about two? Second thing Tilda, isn't that because our relationship is unusual Tilda? Liu Olan tilted his head and winked at Robin. I've been thinking recently, should we deepen our relationship? As soon as these words came out, even the aloof Robin couldn't help but blush. She deliberately grabbed Liu Olan hard, and said angrily, if our relationship deepens, you know what that means, are you sure? Liu Olan shrugged his shoulders. I'm sure, I've been tortured like this by you all day long. If I don't think of a solution, I have to blow up. How about it? What do you think? Liu Olan kicked the ball back. Robin's beautiful eyes were shining, and he leaned close to Liu Olan's ear, and whispered, I think this is what I want to. Zero seeking flowers. Well, turns out everyone agrees. If I knew this earlier, I would have said it. Liu Olan, Liu Olan. Suddenly, Luffy's voice came from the corridor outside. Robin stopped his hands and stood up straight, then whispered, We will contact you tonight, Robin. Are you here Tilda? Luffy rushed in, grinning. Robin smiled and said, Well, come to Liu Olan to study archaeological knowledge. Luffy scratched his head, then, you guys continue to study, I'll come back later Tilda. Oh, no need, I have already got the answer. You can talk to Liu Olan, I will go back and prepare first, and then I will continue to study with Liu Olan Tilda. Robin made a pun. However, in front of the idiot Luffy, Robin didn't have to worry about what Luffy would hear. Before leaving, Robin and Liu Olan looked at each other and they both saw the meaning of flirting in each other's eyes Tilda. Luffy, what's the matter? Shouldn't you be practicing at this time? To be honest, Liu Lan is still very depressed that Luffy's sudden arrival interrupted his good business Tilda. Liu Lan, I can't get in that manga, cut red eyes. Liu Lan took out the manga and put it on Liu Lan's desk. Look, what's going on? Can't get in? Liu Lan was really taken aback. This is the first time someone can't enter the manga Tilda. He immediately opened the log classification of the system mail and then looked for it to see if there was any relevant statement. Really, there is indeed an unread email. Open. Your fan monkey D. Luffy has completed the main line of the world of Ice Admiral in the manga, Zantong, and his strength, speed, haki, stamina, and fruit abilities have all been increased by 50% of the upper limit. You have simultaneously gained the power of Luffy, speed, haki, stamina, question mark. It turned out to be such a situation. Liu Olan immediately understood. Luffy has cleared the level tilde. The reward after clearing the level is equivalent to increasing all your strengths by 50%. Don't underestimate 50% tilde. Luffy's current two-color haki is already at the level of T0 in this world. Now it has been improved by 50% on this basis. What kind of concept is this? What's more, his strength, speed, stamina, and fruit ability have all increased by 50%. Even if you think about it with your toes, you know that Luffy's current strength has reached a very terrifying level. Since you can't get in, it means you've finished reading this manga. Liu Olan took the comic book back, then pointed to the bookshelf. Here, it's time to choose your second comic book. Chapter 231 Dover, Chase Me at the Door and Hit Me. Unacceptable. Please subscribe. Luffy happily picked it up in front of the comic book's shelf. Unlike the first random choice, this time Luffy also carefully chose. Question mark the wonderful life of Makoto Ito. Luffy turned over for a while and said it was boring tilde. Question mark Hayato Isai's wonderful life. Luffy turned around for a while, but still felt bored tilde. Question mark the strong life of teacher Saitama. Um, this is good. After flipping through a few pages, Luffy's face suddenly showed great interest. Liu Olan glanced at the side. Ha, huh, good guy tilde. Luffy thinks she has too much hair. But, it would be interesting if Luffy took this book tilde. Whoa, I've decided. This is it. At this moment. Luffy suddenly held up, Saitama Sensei's strong life, and Kakasu's happy mouth grinned to the back molars. Well, I really chose this one tilde. All right. Liu Olan shrugged his shoulders, then showed an inexplicable strange smile on his face, rubbed his chin and said, But Luffy, I suggest you take a few more photos with your long hair flowing tilde. Oh, okay. Luffy was iron and simple, didn't care about anything at all, took the comics and left happily. Liu Olan patted his head, not knowing whether to laugh or cry, who would have thought.
the future One Piece will be bald. The next day Tilda, accompanied by the sound of 850, the Golden Mary rushed out of the sea and appeared in New World, similar to the first half of the Grand Line. The waterway on the New World side is also intricate Tilda, four emperors of their own familiar routes, easy to go back and forth. Looks like it's time to part ways Tilda, Shanks stood at the bow, looking towards Whitebeard and the Straw Hat Pirates. Whitebeard responded with a smile, Gula la 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 Tilda, yes, redhead boy, thank you again. You're welcome. Whitebeard, I just don't want the sea to be completely messed up, Shanks told the truth, and then ordered his men to set sail. Liu Olan, Straw Hat Boy, where are you going to go next? Do you want to go with the old man? Whitebeard asked Liu Olan and Luffy again. No, we are going to start our own adventure. Luffy squatted with his feet on his special seat, feeling the sea breeze, his face full of vigor tilde. Gula la la la, as expected of that man's son. Whitebeard smiled, then looked at Liu Olan, I'll have someone send it to you when I get the rest of the money together. Liu Olan shrugged. No problem. I still believe in your reputation. Luffy, I really want to invite you to join the Whitebeard Pirates, but I understand you. Ace punched his chest with his right fist, then pointed his index finger in the direction of Luffy. As Luffy's big brother, there are some things that don't need to be said, but they understand everything. Luffy ah, there is no room for any shackles on his head tilde. He just so wants to be the freest existence in this sea. Ha ha, Ace, I'm the man who is going to be the One Piece. You should have fun with Uncle Whitebeard. Luffy stood up and waved to Ace. Well, Luffy. But don't get too excited. I still firmly believe that Dad is the man who will become the One Piece. Ace smiled slightly, took off the flagon and took a sip, then threw it towards the bow of the Golden Mary. Luffy took it, grunting. The two brothers are saying goodbye. Under Luffy's decision, the Golden Mary chose a completely different route from the Whitebeard Pirates and the Red Hair Pirates. Ten days later Tilda, the Golden Mary arrives at Rosa Rosa. In the studio, Liu Lan checked the system emails of the log classification. Your manga fan Monkey D1 Luffy has become stronger in the manga teacher Saitama's powerful life. You get plus one points. Question mark your fan Nami has conquered land cards in the world of the manga? Card Captisura. You gain land card abilities simultaneously. You get points plus five. Question mark your manga fan Usopp cultivated the god killing star Shikai ability Heavenly Prison Star in the world of the manga? SA of the two houses. You simultaneously get the God Killing Star Shikai ability Heavenly Prison Star. You get points plus eight. Your fan Nico Robin has improved his world strength in the comic, Use you Maki Naruto biography, and he has cultivated A level Ninjutsu Chidori. You simultaneously obtain A level Ninjutsu Chidori. You get plus five points. Question mark. Your manga fan Chopper developed the Carapace Silver Mist Rambo Ball in the world of the manga? Xiaogaking and the Twelve Beasts. You simultaneously acquire the ability of the Carapace Silver Mist Blue Wave Ball. You get points plus five. Question mark your manga car has improved her strength in the world of the manga? Medical Ninjutsu Legend? And cultivated Chakra Scalpel. You get Chakra Scalpel simultaneously. You get points plus 2.1. Your fan Edward Newgate completed the third trial of the Twelve Trials in the world of the comic. The Legend of Heroic Spirit Hercules and condensed the third stage of the treasure 12 trials. You synchronously condense the third stage of the noble phantasm 12 trials. You get points plus 3. Luffy this email alert. Liu Olan is speechless tilde. I didn't say what ability I have cultivated. I just became a liar tilde. Three of Whitebeard's 12 trials have been completed, which means that Liu Olan now has three extra lives. And this life is not a one-time consumable. After it is consumed, it can be replenished slowly with Liu Olan's current strength. It is almost impossible to be killed once Tilda. On this basis, he also has three extra lives, as well as resurrection coins. For the enemy, it's like meeting a Master C who is carrying three resurrection armors and has a full level and a godly outfit. Thinking about it makes me sick and I don't want to fight any more Tilda. Arrived ahead, Darius Rosa. Friends, disembark. At this time, Usopp's voice came from Going Merry's par system. Have you reached Darius Rosa? Liu Olan was a little surprised Tilda. He remembered that in the original plot, the first stop of the Straw Hat Pirates in New World should be Punk Hazard Island. But thinking about it carefully, when Whitebeard and Shanks chose the route when they set off in New World, Luffy may have deviated from the original plot in choosing the route. That's why I didn't go through Punk Hazard, but went directly to Darius Rosa. Certainly, because the timeline is two years earlier, the current Punk Hazard has not yet become Ice Fire Island, and Momonosuke and his gang have not appeared. According to the setting of Time Fruit, Momonosuke should be sent two years later. So at this time node, Momonosuke and his group don't exist. I don't know if that Doflamingo guy is back now Tilda. Putting down the paintbrush in his hand, Liu Olan suddenly thought of the relationship between Doflamingo and the Straw Hat Pirates, and a teasing expression appeared on his face. On the deck, the partners of the Straw Hat Pirates are already here. The Golden Mary slowly approached the pier of the port, and saw that the pier was very bustling, and the ships docked in an orderly manner. On the pier, not only are humans doing things, but there are also many things that look like oversized toys carrying goods pulling ropes, 
etc. Tilda, what is that thing Tilda? It looks like a human, but it looks like a toy Tilda. Luffy is sitting in the special seat, covering the eye sockets with his hands, the face is full of curiosity. That's a robot. Frankie's eyes glowed, and he shouted in surprise, it's amazing. It is possible to create this kind of autonomous robot with self-awareness. There must be very powerful scientists in this country. It's actually a robot. It's amazing. The simple chopper immediately believed in Frankie's evil Tilda. Zora denied it coldly. No, that's a toy. Hey, hey, you idiot. That's obviously a robot. You soap on the side immediately stopped. He and Chopper admire Frankie the most. And now there is a robot that surprises Frankie. They don't allow others to slander Tilda. Luffy also laughed. Zora is an idiot. Zora curled his lips pointed at the avenue leading to the city far away from the pier with his scabbard, then showed his devil face, and angrily said, you idiots, didn't you see such a big sign, hey Tilda, the silly group of four was taken aback at the same time, and then looked in the direction you long pointed, I saw at the entrance of the avenue, a huge signboard spanning both sides of the street, which read, the land of love, passion and toys, hey Tilda, what a toy, oh my god, this toy can also work on behalf of people, it's too high end, with toys instead of their jobs, the people here must live happily. Luffy, you soap, Chopper and Frankie are amazed Tilda. However, Robin frowned slightly. I always feel that these toys are a bit strange. Like slaves. As expected of you. Leo Land smiled, and then said, you guessed it right. These toys are actually real human beings, who have been turned into toy slaves by using Devil Fruit's ability Tilda. What? Hearing what Leo Land said, all the partners on the deck widened their eyes in shock. Turn people into toy slaves. This kind of thing is absolutely treacherous and evil in the three views of a straw hat pirates. Especially Captain Luffy. There is no way he could just sit back and let this happen. Damn it. They turned people into toy slaves. Who did it? The good mood that originally planned to play disappeared again. And Luffy jumped onto the deck in a flash. He looked at Liu Olan and asked, Tell me, who did it? Liu Olan was about to speak when suddenly he saw a luxurious big ship sailing into the port from another direction. A bright flamingo pattern is printed on the sail tilde. The logo of the pirate flag is a clown skull logo. At the bow of the boat, there is a flamingo 5.0 bird standing there with one foot on the railing tilde. Oh no, there is a guy dressed like a flamingo standing the tilde. Liu Olan pouted in the direction of this person, and said lightly, here. He did it tilde. Turkey man. Luffy recognized at a glance that this is one of the seven warlords of the sea that appeared on the battlefield of the summit war. Do Flamingo Tilda. Book. I don't like this guy Tilda. Now hearing Liu Olan say that this guy actually turned humans into toy slaves, Luffy's sense of justice soared. Ing. Rubber fruit ability activated Tilda. Turkey man. I'm going to beat you up. Luffy jumped high into the sky and went straight to the Flamingo pirate ship Tilda. The bow of the Flamingo Tilda. Do Flamingo was thinking about how to deal with the upcoming stormy sea when he suddenly heard a familiar voice scolding him from all over the world. He looked up subconsciously Tilda, I am Nima. What's the situation? Lozy went all the way home from Summit War. Why was the straw hat kid the first thing he saw when he got home? Question mark. Made. These bastards actually chased me to my door and beat me. It's too much. Chapter 232 Rubber Serious Gun. Exclamation mark please subscribe. Young master, we are about to enter Hong Kong. On the deck of the Flamingo, soldiers of the Donquick Sot family report to Do Flamingo. Um, Do Flamingo nodded mechanically recalling the scenes from the summit war to the present in his mind Tilda. To be honest, he thought that the resistance war would be crazy, but what he never expected was that he didn't even have a brilliant performance in the summit war. Especially Sanji's phrase little role, gently pricked his heart. You know, he is an arrogant do flamingo Tilda, although he is very cowardly in front of Kaido, but in front of Kaido, cowardice is not a shameful thing Tilda. But in the summit war, facing the little-known little pirates of the straw hat pirates, he was trampled on the soles of his feet by one of the unknown pawns in that way. He as seven warlords of the sea. He didn't even have the power to parry at all. It is not an exaggeration to say that someone directly pressed their face on the ground and rubbed it madly tilde. Do Flamingo secretly planned in his heart, this account must be recovered. I'm thinking about it, or I'll feel something covering the sun tilde. Brother Do Flamingo 8 looked up subconsciously, and immediately saw the figure of Luffy falling from the sky. What? The moment Luffy appeared, Do Flamingo's anger surged out. The summit war is over. And you still want to chase me at my door? Lozy is not made of mud. Diamond anchor line. Countless thin threads grow out of Doflamingo's body at an extremely fast speed, entangled with each other, and interweave to form an anchor full of metallic luster. Whoosh! Under Doflamingo's hand, the anchor took off like a rocket and rushed towards Luffy fiercely. Rubber rubber super ape king gun. In just a split second, Luffy's fist instantly covered the entire sky. The huge size, coupled with the black color of armament haki seems to be a judgment from the abyss, full of majesty and shock. This move seems to be no different from the Ape King Spear and Gear 4 Tilda. But in fact, adding the word super to the name of the move is not random. After the awakened Nika form, 
Luffy has become more comfortable using the abilities of the first four gears tilde. Then, after the end of the manga world of Zan Kaizi Hong Tong, all of Luffy's strengths and abilities have increased by 50%. In other words, the power of Luffy's fourth grade ape king gun is at least 1.5 times that of before. But is that all? No, Luffy now has a new manga, Saitama Sensei's Power for Life. Luffy gets stronger in this manga. This becomes stronger, literally. With such a bonus, Luffy's ape king gun will naturally be upgraded to a super ape king gun tilde. In the blink of an eye, the fist of the super champion gun and Doflamingo's diamond anchor collided together tilde. There was almost no sign of stagnation, and the super boxing gun directly smashed the Vajra anchor to pieces. Then, this terrifying fist landed on the deck at once. Boom. The front deck of the Flamingo pirate ship seems to have disappeared out of thin air tilde. Luffy's fist performed a circumcision operation on the pirate ship of the Flamingo at a very fast speed tilde. The Flamingo pirate ship suddenly became headless. Ah, OMG, what happened? What kind of terrifying power is this? It's Kaido come on. The guards of the Don Quixote family all yelled in horror. As for Doflamingo, his sullen figure has disappeared tilde. Undoubtedly, under the attack of Luffy's super fucking gun just now. Doflamingo was smashed into the sea together with his King Kong windless tilde. Wow tilde. The big hand of the super boxing champion retracted from the sea, isn't it holding Doflamingo in his heart? Boom. Luffy dropped Doflamingo on the port. Seeing Luffy fall from the sky and standing in front of him, Doflamingo straightened the sunglasses whose lenses had been cracked, coughed up a few mouthfuls of blood, and forcibly pretended to ask, Foo Furfa, straw hat boy, from the summit war to this point. You guys are really going to get revenge. Stop talking nonsense. Doflamingo. I have something to ask you. Luffy didn't bother to pay attention to Doflamingo's nonsense, and raised his fist directly. Toothless must report. Sorry, even if everyone in this world can do this, Luffy can't do it. It's not that he doesn't hold grudges, but that he won't put such unhappy and irrelevant things in his mind for too long tilde. Now he just listened to what Liu Olan said about toys working hard, and he just wanted to beat up Doflamingo. By the way, Rescue these poor toys. Have a question for me? Hearing this, Doflamingo was a little confused Tilda. Your big brother has already left Tilda. Your people have no lost Tilda. What else is there to ask me? But before Luffy could ask a question, he saw that Luffy's fist had already dropped. Rub a serious gun. Boom. Luffy punched down, and the whole port seemed to have a huge earthquake suddenly, and everything shook. And the ground where Doflamingo is located directly cracked and exploded. The rubble is a mess, and Doflamingo is lying in the ruins like a dead fish. Motionless Tilda, you actually secretly changed your substitute? Luffy frowned, and his arms stretched instantly. Rush, a pink figure was immediately caught by Luffy from behind a cargo. Nanny, Doflamingo was stunned and couldn't believe it. When Luffy threw him on the pier just now, he had already replaced the main body with the clone of Shadow Knight String at his fastest speed Tilda. He thought he was perfect, but he didn't expect Luffy to see through it in a second. This is too outrageous Tilda. Rub a serious gun. Without any hesitation. Luffy punched again seriously. Boom. The ground exploded again. Gravel splashed. Following Doflamingo's avatar, his main body is also lying in this piece of rubble 480 rubble tilde. You bastard. I have something to ask you. Luffy grabbed Doflamingo's collar and made a fist with his right hand tilde. Serious punch. Boom. Doflamingo was beaten on the spot and spun at high speed, and then fell heavily to the ground. His complexion was swollen, his head was pitch black and there were little stars dancing in front of his eyes tilde. When his sight recovered a little bit, he heard Luffy's angry voice blasting in his ears again. Bastard. Colon. I want to ask you for a while. Boom. Another real punch tilde. Doflamingo just felt his head was hot. Even if he didn't look in the mirror, he's pretty sure his head is swollen to a super pig's head by now. You turkey man, I have something to ask you today. Luffy, furious, grabbed Doflamingo's collar again, and I got up with fists again tilde. Seeing that Luffy's fist was about to fall again. Doflamingo finally couldn't hold back Tilda. His eyes were red, like a happy pig that was about to be slaughtered. He fought fiercely Tilda. Your mother asked it out. Full of grievances and resentment came out of Doflamingo's mouth. Tears welled up in his eyes. He was so wronged. He struggled crazily and roared at the top of his lungs. You ask, you ask. If you don't ask again, I will be beaten to death by you. Chapter 233 Sell me and force me to count the money for you? Question mark please subscribe. If you don't ask again. I will be beaten to death by you. Doflamingo is dying of grievance at this time tilde. You are just talking and asking, but you are asking. Boom. Luffy's serious punch hit Doflamingo's face again tilde. Puff tilde. Doflamingo spurted out a mouthful of old blood, dying. At this time, he heard Luffy's angry questioning in his ear. I want to ask you, who gave you the power? Turned people into toys. Nanny? Question mark. What you want to ask is this. Although Doflamingo was already out of breath. He was so angry that he vomited three liters of blood. Depend on riding on horses. What information did Lozi think you were looking for? It took a long time to interfere with Lozi's family affairs.
Question mark. That's why you've been chasing here from naval headquarters? Question mark. At this time, Doflamingo looked at Luffy as if looking at a strange flower, and grinned loudly. Foo fu fu fu. You want to care about things that Marine doesn't care about? Straw hat. Do you think you are a messenger of justice? Hearing this, Luffy's face became icy cold. He stared coldly at Doflamingo who was lying on the ground. So dot 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 the thing about playing with slaves is true? Puff. Doflamingo rolled his eyes tilde. Nima tilde. Cawthering the question just now is deceiving me. But after a while, Doflamingo calmed down and said with a grin. Tell me, what is it? What are you saying? Luffy frowned. Stop pretending, straw hat Luffy. Is there something you need me to do for you, right? Or do you want to get something from me? Doflamingo sneered. He coughed twice, and then said with a smile. You are also a famous pirate now. So don't go around in circles. Speak directly. As the king of the underground world, Doflamingo has been fighting for so many years. What kind of person has he not seen? Question mark. On this sea, whoever has some influence, who is not a human spirit. In Doflamingo's view, Luffy is just a carrot and stick method tilde. First beat you up, and then stuff a few sweet dates. That's the link to ask him to do things or want to get benefits tilde. I already said it. Who gave you the right to turn people into toy slaves? Luffy wiped the corner of his mouth, and said coldly. I'm going to blow you away and set those toy slaves free, question mark. Seeing Luffy's determined appearance, a series of question marks popped up in Doflamingo's head. Hey, are you serious? Tilda, feeling astonished, Doflamingo asked in surprise. Luffy also nodded seriously. Of course, that's the ability of your devil fruit, right? It should be able to be lifted by knocking you out or killing you. What? Seeing Luffy confirm again, Doflamingo realized that Luffy was not joking. My Nima? Question mark. Doflamingo is totally dumb. Does the virgin really exist in this world? Question mark. Puff exclamation mark. Seeing Doflamingo's expression of seeing a ghost, AI gang couldn't help but burst out laughing. Yes, in this sea of intrigue and deceit, even if you want to survive, it is not easy Tilda, who has the time to care about other people's lives. Question mark. Ah, Doflamingo Tilda. There is such a small probability that you will encounter it. Liu Olan stepped over and pulled Luffy two steps away. Then, Liu Olan squatted on the ground and dusted off Doflamingo's shoe prints with his hands tilde. Doflamingo suddenly laughed. Foo fur fur. Liu Olan, the real backbone of the straw hat pirates, snapped. Liu Olan slapped Doflamingo on the face with a wrench, making him look dazed tilde. Even the smile that was gradually becoming brighter was drawn away. Don't try to sow discord in front of me. If it happens again, your Don Quixote family will hold a funeral for you, Liu Olan said with a smile on his face. It turned out that his smile fell into Doflamingo's eyes. But Doflamingo couldn't help but feel a chill. Doflamingo would rather face Luffy's anger than Liu Olan's smile. He can't see through this man in front of him. You dot 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 what do you want? Doflamingo asked cautiously. Liu Olan spread his hands. I don't know Tilda. Have no idea. Doflamingo is stuck in a crazy quadratic. Yes, Liu Olan nodded. If I look at the things you do, I'm definitely too lazy to take care of them. But the problem is that our Captain Luffy will definitely take care of him. So, please do me a favor. Okay. Tell me, Doflamingo replied briskly. Help me do the math. How much is the total bounty from the carders of your Don Quixote family, in order to prevent those hanging hair marines from being counted less for me when we reach the marine base? Question mark. Doflamingo doesn't know what to say Tilda. This Nima, are you going to sell me and force me to count the money for you? Question mark. Depend on. Your mother is still human. Don't make such an expression. I'll give you a pair of sky bracelets. Leo Land smiled teasingly and then took out a pair of sea stone handcuffs. Click. Doflamingo wears a big bracelet. It has to be said that sea stone handcuffs are convenient and easy to use in terms of capturing ability users. When he was separated from the Whitebeard pirates, Liu Lan asked Whitebeard for a few. Hey hey hey, damn it. Suddenly feeling the loss of his physical strength, Doflamingo realized that the other party was serious, so he shouted, I have something to say. He stared at Liu Lan closely, as for the summit war, I just carried out Sengoku's orders, and I have no deep hatred with you. Now it's over anyway, and you have nothing to lose, right? Don't bother, I really don't hold your grudge for the summit war. Roland lifted Doflamingo up, and said with a faint smile, although you may think this matter is ridiculous, in fact, we are just chivalrous. To be honest, as far as Liu Olan is concerned, he is too lazy to care about these crap things about Doflamingo. But since Luffy is in charge, Liu Olan will definitely help him. In Liu Olan's view, Luffy is like a clean stream in a world where everything is turbid tilde, in the eyes of others. His actions are too straightforward, even ridiculous. If such a person was Liu Olan's enemy, AI gang would definitely scoff at him. But when such a person is your partner, you will unconsciously want to help him. The Rice Rosa, aren't those civilians who have been turned into toy slaves pitiful? Of course poor. Doesn't it make people angry that the kindness of the little people is exploited by the bad guys? Of course angry. The former Lika royal family was framed and framed by Doflamingo, 
Is this not covered? Obviously a beast. But if you want to take care of these things, you need to invest a lot of manpower and material resources, and it will bring great trouble to yourself and the partners around you, even death. Therefore, as long as they are normal-minded people, even if they are capable and powerful, they will never provoke these things. For the current straw hat pirates, Don Quixote family is naturally not an onion tilde. But in the original plot, when the straw hat pirates arrived in Diriced Rosa, their strength was completely on the weak side. But even so, Luffy still has not shaken his fiery heart. The fellow straw hat pirates also had the slightest objection to Luffy's decision. This is probably why Luffy was chosen by Rubber Fruit Tilda. You don't become Joey Boy because you eat the rubber, okay ooh, fruit. It is the existence of Luffy that makes it possible for Rubber Fruit to awaken Tilda. Now, Liu Olan became a part of the straw hat pirates Tilda. Since Luffy wants to create a world where everyone has food and freedom, Liu Olan doesn't mind helping him realize this wish. Even Tilda. Liu Olan also wants to know. Is such a world really possible? Heroic and righteous. Hearing Liu Olan's words, Do Flamingo's expression turned petrified Tilda. In this world, do such strange things really exist? And I just came across such a strange thing. What makes Do Flamingo lose his temper even more is that this wonderful strength can completely beat him Tilda. The strange flower is certainly hateful, but, the most pitiful people are those who are targeted by strange flowers Tilda. Because Kiwa can't reason with you. He will admit death tilde. Do Flamingo Heart Sai Congregation. Why am I Do Flamingo so unlucky? Chapter 230 For the helpless girl who joined the gladiator for the first time, please subscribe. The Rice Rosa, Royal Palace. Oh no. A guard rushed in hastily. In front of the main hall, there is a pink seat, which is the throne of the King of Do Flamingo. Just beside the King's throne, there were a few people standing. One of them has a very abstract appearance with a runny nose and a cane in his hand. He looks like a scruffy old man. Although his appearance is embarrassing, he is Darius Rose's power second only to Do Flamingo's existence. He is to a pole, one of the four men who rescued Do Flamingo. I said, I said. What happened? It's so ridiculous. Looking at this desolate soldier, Wang Lupoa showed displeasure on his face. But he knew the soldier very well, and knew that the soldier was a very calm and calm person. Since even such a person has become absurd, something really big and big has happened. Thinking of this, Tenopoa mentioned it calmly. What happened? You are not a wild person. Beside Terrible, a tall, muscular man wearing a helmet made a very thin voice when he opened his mouth. It sounds like a eunuch in the palace, it's really funny. However, all the people present were trained, and no one laughed at such a voice. Lord Terrible, Lord Piker, Your Majesty, he, he dot 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 he. The soldier hurriedly wanted to report it, but because he was too nervous, his tongue was like a knot, and he couldn't speak out. The matter of the young master, below Pika, Gladius who is also the carder of the Don Quixote family's spade army, suddenly frowned, say it quickly, I'm hesitating, I'll kill you immediately, ah, he dot 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 he he dot 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 he was caught, sure enough, the death threat was still useful, and the soldier was so scared that he spit out his words all at once, what, Gladius took a step forward and grabbed the soldier by the collar, what are you talking about, the young master was arrested, how the hell is this possible, really dot 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 really, that group of people grabbed his majesty, and they were walking from the Tulip Avenue to the direction of the palace, and the soldiers' answers became fluent all of a sudden. Tulip Avenue? Question mark. Hearing this, Tirabol's expression changed, and he exclaimed, Isn't that known all over the city? What a disgrace it is for the majestic king of a country to be dragged down the busiest street in the capital. Violet. Pika yelled, New. Without Picardo saying anything, Violet from the Plum Blossom Army immediately came to the door. The location of the Imperial Palace is built on the high ground of the king, which is the highest point in the country. The field of vision here is enough to see all parts of the entire capital, and even the sea outside the port can be seen. Of course, the premise is that your eyesight is good enough, and for Violet, this happens to be her strength. Although Violet is a carder of the Don Quixote family Plum Blossom Army, but in fact, her identity is the former royal family of Darius Rosa, that is, the princess of the Licker royal family. The Licker royal family was framed by the Don Quixote family and became villains that everyone despised. Originally, the Ulian royal family should have been silenced by Do Flamingo. But Do Flamingo took a fancy to Violet's, a ick, staring fruit ability. After discussion, Violet agreed to join the Don Quixote family, and the condition was dot 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 to ensure that the liquor royal family would not be purged anymore. Violet stood on the balcony, made two upside down okay shapes with her hands, and then stuck them on her eye sockets. All of a sudden, the situation on Tulip Avenue appeared clearly in her eyes. Um, fk. When Violet saw the situation on Tulip Avenue clearly, she opened her mouth in shock and was completely dumbfounded Tilda. At this time, on Tulip Avenue, Do Flamingo looked sullen and shambled forward. Around him, the Straw Hat Pirates formed an encirclement circle like escorting prisoners. Come and take a look, take a look. The great pirate Do Flamingo is about to receive justice from the Straw Hat Pirate ship. Eight years ago, 
the imperial power changed. Why did Nan Wang change his temperament from a benevolent and righteous king to a murderer? What terrible truth lies behind Darius Rose's vast collection of toys? What kind of blood and tears is the prosperous capital built on? There are two big speakers on Frankie's shoulders, and they are automatically playing the shouting content in a loop tilde. Both sides of the street were crowded with people. The residents of Teresa Ross looked at the tragic situation in Do Flamingo, and they all felt very good. In fact, many elderly residents have doubts about the coup eight years ago. After all, King Liku has been the king for so many years, and the people actually know what kind of person he is. Although the evidence of King Liku's random killing of innocent people is solid, some people still feel that this incident is not normal. But, as these people who opposed Do Flamingo gradually disappeared, Do Flamingo's throne became extremely stable. King's Highland Huying. Violet was a dumbfounded Tilda. She thinks about revenge all the time. But the longer he stays in Dong Quixote family, the more desperate Weiser is about revenge. Because Do Flamingo is so powerful. For her, let alone Do Flamingo, even the four top carders under him are existences she can only look up to. And now, Do Flamingo was actually held by a group of pirates like a prisoner Tilda. Even seeing it with her own eyes, Violet still felt that it was almost like a fairy tale. Do you see it? Piker's shrill voice urged from the side. Dot. Violet lowered her hands turned her head to look at Pico and Tirabol, the young master has really been arrested, and was stretched by a group of people in the upper street of Tulip Boulevard. Ah! Bastards. They're trying to discredit Dover. With Violet's confirmation, Tirabol slammed the cane heavily on the ground and roared angrily. Let's save Dover. Pico got gas from his nose, and rushed towards the stairs angrily. Seeing this, Gladius immediately chased after him. Let's go to. Tirabol said something gloomy, and then walked, took out the phone bug, and notified the Dong Quixote family. The other side Tilda, Harina. Look, isn't that the former royal princess with dirty blood? Is this the first time it has appeared? What's your name, Rebecca? She actually came to participate in the gladiator competition. It's really disgusting. Hey, you geese really don't agree with what you say. Talking disgusting. If you let you sleep, you will rush faster than anyone else. Yeah, I'm so excited. Damn it. You must mess with her when you get a chance. Anyway, she has a dirty blood so she shouldn't be caught if she messes with it. A group of strong gladiators are looking at the pink long-haired girl in the corner with malicious intentions Tilda. They talked about topics the men like. This girl with long pink hair wears gold shoes and a green cape. She is the eldest grandson princess of the former liquor royal family, Rebecca. In order to constantly improve her sword skills and thus have the strength to resist Do Flamingo's rule, Rebecca participated in the arena wrestling as a woman without hesitation. But she thinks of the ways of the world too simply Tilda. The gladiators who come to the arena are almost all muscular sticks. She, a girl with a good figure and delicate face, appeared here, and naturally became everyone's thorn in the side. These gladiators are almost all planning in their minds how to get a shot at Niang. Let's go, brothers, go over and have a look. This little nunpy should be the first hand. Okay, do you remember the female pirate who participated in the gladiatorial fight last time? She was dragged to the warehouse before she even entered the arena and then went to more than 30 gladiators, ha ha ha, why don't you remember? That unlucky woman wanted to take revenge in the arena, but she was chopped into two pieces by that idiot Kafu. Lozi is so mad, isn't that right? If he hadn't been killed, he would have been played by us for at least a few months. This time, this little nunpy still has the blood of the former princess, so don't let her die, let her become our long-term gun bag. Ha ha ha. Not only these gladiators walked in the direction of Rebecca, but also the other gladiators in the waiting room surrounded her knowingly. What are you going to do? Rebecca, who came to the competition for the first time, still didn't understand how terrible Yuzu Maki she was about to fall into. She subconsciously pulled out her sword and looked at the people around her vigilantly. What are you doing? He 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 Tilda. Of course it's you. Ha ha ha. The laughter of the gladiators was no longer concealed, and they became like children. Dirty. Hearing these filthy words, Rebecca was ashamed and angry and immediately slashed at the strong man in front of her with a sword. But the strong man on the other side launched a surprise attack from the side, directly took away her sword. Boom Tilda. The strong man threw the sword away, and the sword landed far away on the ground. As a result, Rebecca suddenly became unarmed and helpless. Chapter 235 Hands in Pockets Don't know who the opponent is, please subscribe. In the lounge of the arena Tilda, Liu Olan was sitting in the corner watching this scene. He came here specifically to find Rebecca, because everyone had a sudden whim and plan to conduct a nationwide public interrogation of Doflamingo and King Lijun. Since it is a public interrogation, both parties must be present. The Doflamingo is already in place over there so there must be a representative of the Licker royal family. Liu Lan didn't know where King Licker was hiding in Garda, so he could only come to find Dinka. It seemed that his luck was pretty good, just in time for Rebecca to come to participate in the gladiator competition for the first time. There's something wrong with this plot. Liu Lan frowned, a little bright. According to the original plot, the Straw Hat Pirates came to D. Reseros two years later. Although it is not specifically mentioned in the plot, Rebecca should be in good condition at that time 
but looking at the situation in front of him, if no one takes action, wouldn't Bika be in trouble? Question mark. Observation Haki spread out, Liu Olan sensed the people around him, and made sure that no one had the intention to rescue them. Outrageous tilde it seems to be the butterfly effect? He frowned again. Liu Ogang could only think so. Since it was the butterfly effect brought about by his appearance, of course he should help. Suddenly, he shouted, Stop, let go of that girl. Question mark. As soon as these words came out, the strong gladiators surrounding Rebecca showed question marks on their faces Tilda. They turned their heads to look at Liu Olan, their eyes were full of confusion Tilda. Where did this idiot come from? Question mark. If you don't join us and have fun, you still want to stop us? Question mark. Is this brain kicked by a donkey? Hey, kid, immediately kneel down and say that I was wrong. When the old men finish playing, I will reward you twice. A duelist with pigtails said fiercely. Another gladiator laughed, ha ha ha, that's really cheap. Kid. The other gladiators also looked at Liu Olan with the eyes of a pack of wolves taunting their prey. As they said that, several duelists directly stretched out their devil's hand to Rebecca. Hey! The chance to live is given to you, if you don't cherish it, then you can't blame me Tilda. Liu Olan's voice stunned the gladiators again. But at this moment, the girl Rebecca suddenly got angry at Liu Olan. Stop meddling in my own business. Don't meddle in my affairs. Get out of here quickly. Liu Olan was speechless. Such a low-level aggressive method. Want to sacrifice yourself? Don't want to implicate me Tilda? Oh Tilda? The braided gladiator was surprised at first, and then laughed loudly. See, you idiot. You are willing to do anything yourself. You are the one who disturbs other people's good deeds. TSK TSK. It seems that this little girl is more anxious than us. Since she is so sensible, we have to teach her well later, so that she can taste the sweetness. A group of reckless men let out obscene laughter. But I have a request. You come one by one. Rebecca spoke again, pointing to the gladiator with pigtails. You come first. Oh? The little braided gladiator's eyes lit up immediately, and he grinned. That's really wonderful. Immediately, he came to Rebecca, looking greedily at the makeup. Boom. But when he looked down, he suddenly saw a kick kicked up. Hit him straight in the jaw. Clang. Rebecca stretched out her small hand, landed on the gladiator's waist, and quickly pulled out the opponent's dagger. The other hand pulled hard and locked the gladiator's braid, completely exposing his neck. Rush. Dash. The dagger rested on the neck of the little braided gladiator, and Rebecca's face instantly lost the cowardice just now, and turned extremely fierce. Put down your weapons. Otherwise, I will kill him immediately. Liu Olan is speechless Tilda. Good guy. So Rebecca thought so. However, this should be useless. Sure enough Tilda. When Rebecca warned everyone, the gladiators around all showed uncontrollable expressions. Only the braided gladiator is really deserted. Ha ha ha. You threatened us with his life? This little girl is quite spicy. You killed him. One less person. Let's play more happily. Ha ha ha. There was a burst of laughter in the whole lounge. Hey Tilda. Rebecca was stunned. After all, she is just a young girl with too little social experience. Where can this layer be considered? Don't even laugh. I'm really going to kill him. Rebecca scolded, and the tip of the dagger immediately touched the throat of the braided gladiator and the tippy even pierced a point. Hey hey hey, don't kill me. The corners of the braided gladiator's mouth trembled nervously, and he said in horror, even if you kill me, they won't care. People here are their own masters, and everyone is an enemy in the arena. Can your life threaten them? You let me go, I will help you deal with them, let's kill them. Real? Rebecca asked warily. Really? The braided gladiator said confidently. Although Rebecca didn't really believe his words, she didn't know what to do at this time. I had to take a gamble Tilda, pushing the braided gladiator's back with her little hand. Rebecca yelled, Eka to throw. The braided gladiator staggered and left the control range of the dagger. He turned around, patted the blood stain on his neck, and said with a gloomy face, Little girl, you dare to use a knife on me. I will play you to death later. Bastard, you don't keep your word. Rebecca roared angrily Tilda. Ha ha, don't delay the matter. Let's go together. A gladiator's face was flushed, obviously impatient. Under his shout, the other gladiators obviously couldn't hold back the flames in their hearts, and all rushed towards Rebecca impatiently. Ah. Underscore. The girl yelled helplessly, and instinctively crouched down holding her head. One second tilde. Two seconds tilde. The girl didn't feel anything pounced on him, but instead heard the sound of something strange falling to the ground. Two trembling little hands opened nervously, and slowly raised their heads. In her field of vision, she immediately saw the corpses of dozens of duelists on the ground. Ah tilde. Seeing this unbelievable scene suddenly, Rebecca sat down on the ground in fright. A pair of brown eyes were full of shock. What? What's going on? Question mark. Rebecca looked at Liu Olan, the only one who was still alive, and asked stammeringly, Nothing happened, I just killed them and saved you. That's it. Liu Olan spread his hands to him. This kind of thing is just a trivial matter. He only needs to make a small move, and it is already the limit that this segment cannot bear. Zero. He even put his hands in his pockets, and instantly killed the gladiators present without knowing who his opponent was. Whether these gladiators deserve to die or not, 
They already have a way to kill Rebecca just now, although according to the laws of the earth, these people will not be sentenced to death. But many men don't think so. You must know that in the era of our ancestors, these acts were not just death sentences, but car cracking, linkai, etc., which were more terrible than death sentences tilde. In Liu Olan's view, the ancestors' approach in that era was more correct. Of course, this is just the evaluation in Liu Ogang's heart. If he wants to kill these gladiators, he doesn't need to care whether these people should die or not. In the world of pirates, the strong are respected. Killing is just a rule of elimination tilde. You dot 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 you are so good. Unable to rub his eyes, he realized that he was deceived by the appearance of the person in front of him. Originally thought that the other party was just a frail young man, but unexpectedly it turned out to be a strong man beyond her reach. She just squatted down with her head in her arms for a second or two and all the duelists around her were killed. What a terrifying strength this is. If I can have such strength, I can definitely overthrow Do Flamingo's rule. Rush. Dash. Bayan's knee fell to the ground in an instant, and Rebecca knelt down to Liu Olan, as if exhausting all her strength and shouted, Please, please teach me to become stronger. Looking at the girl in front of him, Liu Olan felt touched Tilda. This is the princess who was born and raised, but right now, in order to get revenge, he not only took the risk to participate in the gladiator competition, but also knelt down to strangers without hesitation. Just to become stronger. Do you want to become stronger? Liu Olan asked calmly. Rebecca raised her head and looked up at Liu Olan standing in front of her. Yes, I want to become fishy. Liu Olan continued to ask, what is the purpose? Rebecca gritted her teeth. I want revenge. I want to kill a bad guy who deceived everyone. Liu Olan nodded. Is it Do Flamingo? Hearing this name, Rebecca's delicate body trembled immediately. He didn't say the name because he didn't know whether the Liu Olan in front of him might be from Do Flamingo, but now that Liu Olan said the name directly, Rebecca knew that there was no way out. She took a deep breath and said forcefully, Yes that's him. He is a bastard who deceived everyone in the country! Exclamation mark. He killed innocent people in the capital, but put the blame on my father. He made the little people his slaves. He, okay, Liu Olan squatted down, and lightly patted Rebecca's shoulder with his palm. If you only want to deal with Do Flamingo, then you don't need to become stronger now. Question mark. A hint of confusion suddenly appeared on the girl's immature face. Liu Olan said with a smile. Because Do Flamingo has been arrested by us, and we are going to conduct a national public interrogation. Then, as a representative of the Licker royal family, are you, Rebecca, willing to attend as the plaintiff? Hearing this, Becca was completely dumbfounded. However, when she savored Liu Olan's words carefully, she realized what was about to happen. With a rosy face trembling slightly, Rebecca stared into Liu Olan's eyes, choking with tears. I dot 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 I am willing. Chapter 236 1 slash big shock. Please subscribe. Tulip Avenue. The Straw Hat Pirates are leading Do Flamingo forward. Suddenly, boom. Suddenly there was a violent noise on the originally flat ground tilde. The next moment, more than a dozen tough ground thorns suddenly pierced through, directly attacking the Straw Hat Luffy, who was walking in the front. Wow. Luffy let out a strange cry and immediately rolled backwards a few times with extreme agility. Of course those strong ground thorns came along the ground to chase Tilda. Only then did everyone see clearly that these ground thorns were not ambushed in advance, but were temporarily changed by the rocks on the ground. It's devil fruit ability. Everyone be careful. Robin immediately reminded everyone vigilantly. At the same time, she crossed her hands in front of her, ready to activate the flower flower fruit ability immediately. Let me. Nami stopped Robin, and then turned her palms, and the land card of Klaus suddenly appeared in her hand. This is one of the four elemental cards, which can manipulate ten elements at will. Nami's little hand had gently pressed the void in front of her tilde 193. It was as if the surging earth and rocks had been snared, and the forward trend suddenly came to a standstill. These soil and rock thorns even struggled for a while, but they were still quiet after all. Rumble tilde. The ground exploded, and a huge head emerged from the ground. Yes. Indeed eh? Because the area of? This head is already as big as a castle. Next. Neck shoulders. It looks like an island level titan will emerge from the ground below. Shrink. Dash. Nami shouted and clenched his hands. The earth and rocks on the ground, like well-trained small animals, immediately began to gather towards the huge rock creatures. But they didn't intend to increase the volume of the rock titan, but like a titan pocket, tightly wrapping the rock titan's chest. The rough stone titan had just revealed the position of the chest, and was about to climb up, when it was locked suddenly. What happened? Question mark. Inside the rock titan, Pika. The stone fruit ability user, is frantically surging his physical strength, trying to control the body of the rock titan and continue to go out. But that tightening force is so powerful that it is impossible to break free. Pika, what's the matter with you? At the far corner of the street, Gladius yelled suspiciously. Damn, I'm stuck. Biker responded with a high-pitched voice. However, as soon as his voice came out, 
Everyone in the Straw Hat Pirates suddenly fell into silence. But within a few seconds Tilda Galerius laughed her burst out from the mouths of everyone in the Straw Hat Pirates like a thunderous shock. Ha 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 ha. This voice. You are so funny. Hey, hey, hey. Don't tell me that such a big rock has a woman inside it. It's a bit like a eunuch in the palace. Puff exclamation mark. Not only was this kind of person from the Straw Hat Pirate ship stunned, but the laughter of the surrounding crowd was also resounding. You are courting death. Hearing the voice of someone laughing at him. The secondary card directly extinguished the reburning. You know, anyone who dared to laugh at his voice was killed by him. Die to Lozy. Pike roared angrily, opened the rock titan's mouth, and swallowed the evidence for Luffy and others. One knife style. Big shock. Zora stretched out his right hand, and Qina, who was originally sitting on his shoulder, immediately returned to the prototype of Head Oi, and fell into Zora's hands. Then Zora slashed out the mighty Haki and the terrifying Un intertwine into a new kind of bully Un. The moment he died, Yiwin slashed forward. It directly engulfed the rock titan's head. From the outside, this is a gas torrent composed of fuel gas and some unknown black gas tilde. But inside this torrent, countless ripples of purple energy and black lightning are intertwined, like another doomsday world. Rumble tilde. Under the impact of the powerful torrent, the rocks on Yan Yanman's body are like super fast forward after decades or even hundreds of years of weathering tilde. Kakaka is all cracked and crumbled, falling apart. Ah! Underscore. With a scream. A muscular figure fell from the blasted rocks. Isn't it Pika, the ability user of Shishi Fruit? Puff Tilda, spraying two mouthfuls of blood wildly. Pika's face was full of horror. He never imagined that his strongest ability would be completely destroyed after climbing out of the ground. What's even more outrageous is that the other party only fired one knife. But this is not over Tilda, because Pika was lying on the ground at this time. He happened to see a figure descending from the sky in his field of vision. Caught you. Luffy jumped high, in midair, with his hands sticking to the seam of his trousers and his feet together, making himself like a javelin. Rubber spear gun. Boom. Dash. Luffy's feet hit Pika's belly with a bang tilde. Puff. Pika's two eyeballs stared fiercely, her head and legs suddenly tilted up, and her whole body turned into a letter V. In the next second, he lay flat on the ground and passed out completely. Not good. Seeing this scene, Gladius' complexion changed, and he immediately said to Terrible beside him, Let's retreat first, go back and gather all the fighting power before coming back. Terrible nodded again and again. I said, I said. The enemy's strength is too strong, we really want to find other ways to save Dover. Waha, don't try to run away, let's accept the trial together. Luffy rushed up with a stride, he activated the rubber fruit ability, stretched both arms at the same time, and grabbed Gladius and Trouble respectively Tilda. However, just when his arm was about to hit Gladius, he saw a smile on Gladius' face showing a short chance of victory. Burst, Gladius sneered and made a movement with his fingers. In an instant, I saw that the ground and walls around Luffy were all like foaming agent and they instantly swelled up. Then it all exploded in less than half a second. I said, I said, you still have enough brains. Deliberately lure him here by pretending to escape. Now we can catch him and exchange it for Dover Tilda. Terrible smiled, and walked towards the smoke and dust of the explosion with a cane. On the way here just now, he already knew that the other party was the Straw Hat Pirates, and the guy with the Straw Hat in front of him was Monkey Luffy, the captain of the Straw Hat Pirates. As long as he can be caught, Doflamingo can definitely be traded. Straw Hat Boy. Come out for me. Terrible fanned the explosion smoke in front of his eyes with his hands, and then plunged into it. Only next moment Tilda. Terrible's head came out Tilda, to be precise. His head came out first. Question mark. Gladius immediately became alert. He looked carefully, and saw a hand strangled Terrible's throat, and then grabbed him out like this Tilda. Then Luffy is seen walking out of the smoke from the explosion. His whole body 5.1 is covered with jet black armament Haki, shiny. What? Underscore W. Gladius and Trouble both open their mouths unbelievably Tilda. Full body armament Haki. Dot. Ridiculously strong. Wow Tilda. At this moment, a frightened cry came from the alley next to him. Luffy turned her head to look, and saw a little girl wearing a crown, a bear-shaped shawl, and a unilateral glasses in her left eye, and ran out in fear. Hey Tilda, little sister, did I scare you? Seeing such a cute little sister crying so terrified, Luffy felt very guilty and immediately reached out to mold the little sister's head, wanting to comfort her Tilda. Tag. The little girl sobbed, stretched out her little hand, and touched Luffy's arm Tilda. Chapter 237 Liu Olan is awesome. Hug or not? Please subscribe. Liu Olan left the arena with Rebecca, and came to the Tulip Avenue at the place agreed with his companions. Liu Olan, you are back. Seeing Liu Olan coming, Nami immediately ran over and grabbed Liu Olan's arm. Well, where's Luffy? Liu Olan glanced around but didn't see Luffy. Hearing this, Nami frowned slightly, and pouted her lips in doubt, who is Luffy? Hey Tilda, Liu Olan was taken aback, and looked at Nami with a confused face, it's that idiot Luffy. Usopp also came over, 
Leo Lan, what are you talking about? What is Luffy Road Climbing? We have never heard of this name. That's right. There are no idiots on board, only road idiots tilde. Sanji came over with a cigarette in his mouth. Just as he finished speaking, he saw Rebecca, and his eyes suddenly burst into red hearts. Wow, who is this lovely sister? Please allow me to introduce myself. I am your faithful knight. Sanji got down on one knee directly to Rebecca Tilda. I didn't know that I thought he was proposing. Leo Land frowned, as if realizing something Tilda. He looked around again, and saw Terrebol, Gladius, and Sugar of the Donquick Soat family standing not far away. There was also an unconscious Pike lying on the ground. Good guy. Leo Land suddenly understood at 08. Being able to forcibly kick a certain existence out of everyone's memory. Only the devil fruit ability can do it. Childlike fruit. But why do I still remember the existence of Luffy? Question mark. Liu Olan thought about it, and probably understood. Guardian of the Goddess of Light. This passive ability makes him immune to all magic-like negative buffs. Childlike fruit can turn a person into a toy, and at the same time make all relevant information about this person disappear from the minds of everyone in the world. This ability is almost like a bug of the law. But no matter what, he is still a debuff. As long as it is a debuff, the protection of Liu Olan's Goddess of Light will take effect and it will be immune. That's why Liu Olan remembers the existence of Luffy. Thinking of this, Liu Olan looked over to the carders of the Don Quixote family. I saw a few of them grabbing a toy robot and sugar. If people who don't know the real situation see this scene, they will definitely think that they are kidnapping children Tilda. What's the situation now? Liu Olan asked his partners. We paraded Doflamingo through the streets as agreed, and his men wanted to rescue Doflamingo. But in the chaos, they took a little girl hostage so we couldn't do our best, Zoro explained. Is this the storyline? Okay, you stay put and I'll save people. Zoro shrugged, and walked across. Careful, they are all Donquick Soat family carders. Rebecca wanted a reminder, but Nami put his arms around her shoulders and said with a smile, Don't worry, this guy is Liu Olan. R? Rebecca didn't understand what Nami meant, and her little face was full of confusion. Seeing Rebecca's confused and cute appearance, Sanji's heart almost melted, and he hurried over to explain, Cute little sister. You just need to know that once that guy gets out, everything can be easily done. Don't worry. Don't think that they can be arrogant because they have hostages in their hands. Once Liu Olan passes by, they can only obediently release the hostages, otherwise the consequences will be disastrous. Zora also said calmly, the entire Straw Hat pirates have unknowingly developed a dependence on Liu Olan Tilda. As long as Liu Olan is around, they will be fine Tilda. Stop. Seeing Liu Olan approaching from a distance, Gladius immediately shouted, What? Liu Olan pouted showing no intention of stopping. I said, I said, boy, if you dare to move forward again, I will kill this innocent little girl. Terrible strangled Granu's neck with his hands, and threatened constructively. Liu Olan feels very speechless Tilda. Unexpectedly, the carders of the Donquick Soat family turned out to be a group of actors. At this moment, the sound of dense footsteps came. I saw Diamante, the top carder of the cube army of the Donquick Soat family, rushing over with several cube army carders and a large number of family guards. Where's Dover? Where's Dover? Diamante came over and immediately asked about the situation anxiously. Here, Gladius's mind turned quickly, and he immediately said loudly, Don't worry, we are holding a little girl hostage, and we are negotiating with them. Gladius winked at Diamante's eyes, and pointed at the sugar with his finger. Diamante is not an idiot either. He immediately understood that everyone was taking sugar as a hostage again. Why say again? Because they have used this trick many times, and it has been tried and tested. After all, who would doubt a cute little girl who looks only five or six years old? Immediately, Diamante also pretended to say, That's really great. He turned Granos away from Tirabol, then drew out his sword and put it on Granos's neck, looked at Liu Olan, and said coldly, Release our young master immediately, otherwise, this little girl died because of you. Liu Olan put his hands in his pockets, stood there and curled his lips, Kill me, if you don't kill you, you're a coward. Puff. Diamante's heart spit out an old trough. This Nima, Lozi came all the way just to be a coward? Question mark. Didn't you say that Liu Olan would save the hostages? Listening to Liu Olan's words, Becca was a little stunned. Although she has a deep hatred with Do Flamingo, she does not know all the carders of the Donquick Soat family. For example, granulated sugar is usually in the factory, and strangers are not allowed to enter. It's normal for Rebecca not to know Granu. She only thought that Granos was an innocent passerby little sister. Forehead, Sanji expressed his embarrassment and explained, Don't worry, this is just Liu Olan's aggressive method. In fact, he already has the chance to win. Frankie nodded, that's right, even if the other party wants to kill that little girl now, it's absolutely impossible. Nami also smiled and said, don't worry, the hostages will definitely be rescued. Oh Tilda, Rebecca nodded, he also believed that Liu Olan was a good person. On the other side, Diamante is at a loss at this time Tilda. The threat just now seemed to be a fist hit on Cotton, to make him completely unable to get off the stage. Tear your face directly to show your identity. Doesn't seem like a good idea. After all, 
The young master is still in his hands, and Pika is also lying on the ground. The combat power on the other side is obviously not low. Just when Diamante felt helpless, Granos suddenly bit his hand. Hiss. Dash. Diamante was in pain, and subconsciously shook her hands tilde. After so many years of tacit understanding, he immediately understood the meaning of sugar tilde. He howled in pain and took a step back. Granos had to take this opportunity to push his arm away, took two short legs, the floor was oily, and ran away numbly. Damn a little bastard, how dare you bite me? Watch me cut you in two. At this time, Diamante, who recovered, grabbed his sword and chased forward, and slashed the air a few times in the fierce manner Tilda. Help, big brother. 847 showed a frightened expression on Xiao Tang's little face, and she threw herself at Ai Gang with her arms open. Escaped. Seeing this scene, Robin showed a puzzled expression on his face. After so many years of fleeing, his intuition has entered a terrible state. However, the sugar in front of him was just a little girl. After all, Robin thought of countless possibilities in just a short moment, but still couldn't think of anything that could pose a threat to Liu Lan. Zora smiled lightly, I'll just say it. As long as Liu Lan goes, the other party will obediently let him go. Rebecca nodded slightly. So, that little girl also feels how powerful Mr. is. Of course, you soap said proudly, and then he pointed to the front. Little sister, take care of yourself. When Liu Olan confirms that the little girl is safe, all the bad guys on the opposite side will be defeated in an instant tilde. Well, I believe this. Rebecca believed you Soap's words completely, because in the waiting room of the Gladiator Arena, dozens of strong duelists were all beaten unconscious the moment she lowered their heads. Big brother, hug. Granny Westcry is about to split at this time tilde. MMM, it's really well done. Everyone in the Straw Hat Pirates couldn't help but feel distressed when they heard this voice. Look at scaring the kids. But just when everyone thought that Liu Olan was going to hug Granu Tilda, Liu Olan flipped his palm, and a rubber stick appeared in his hand. Um, everyone was taken aback. Next moment Tilda, Duang, Liu Olan hit Granu on the head with a stick. Hug, can't hug anymore. Chapter 238 Is it hard to keep silent? That was fainted. Please subscribe. By the way, caught off guard. Liu Olan's sap directly hits Granu's head tilde. Granu's just felt a buzzing in his head. The brains feel like they are turning into tofu flowers tilde. Then when it gets dark, the sky is filled with little stars. At this moment, only one thought popped into Granu's mind. He. How could he be willing to do it? Then when he rolled his eyes, Shatang passed out. Ah this, Rebecca is completely stupid. Isn't this big brother a nice guy? And his partners also think that he will definitely save the little girl tilde. But what is this situation? Question mark. Rebecca was a little short for a while. Wondering if she was hallucinating? In fact, everyone in the Straw Hat Pirates is even more confused than Rebecca. This. 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 Usopp stammered with his mouth wide open, not knowing what to say. His eyes were fixed on the little girl lying on the ground, foaming at the mouth. The crown has already been blown away by Liu Olan's stick, and on the top of that cute head, there is a swelling like a hill tilde. What did Liu Olan do tilde? The corners of Nami's lips trembled, just looking at the miserable state of Granos, she felt pain. Brooke also said dumbfounded, yo ho 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 Tilda the deputy captain is really cruel. Chopper's eyes were filled with tears, what a poor little girl, should I treat him Tilda? You bastard, you actually did something to a woman, and you're a cute little girl. It's not as good as a beast. Sanji went berserk all of a sudden, and immediately rushed to fight Liu Ogang desperately. At this moment, Luffy's voice suddenly rang in everyone's ears, ah, finally changed back. What a super asshole little girl, I'm going to beat her up. Huh? Luffy? Everyone in the Straw Hat Pirates suddenly looked at Luffy in astonishment. In an instant, memories belonging to Luffy all came back to their minds. Reminiscent of the blankness of Luffy in the memory just now, everyone realized that something terrible happened just now. Not good. Save Granu. Diamante came to his senses at this moment and immediately ordered everyone to rush forward. Just in time. Damn bastards. Luffy stopped walking towards Sugar, and turned to look at the other officers of the Don Quixote family. Although he was only a toy slave for a short time, the complete isolation was terrifying to him. Although Luffy is a bit of an idiot, he was forced to sign that contract when he was turned into a toy slave just now. The content of the contract entered directly into his mind, so Luffy also now understands how buggy the fruit is. If Liu Olan hadn't arrived in time, Luffy even suspected that he would be forgotten by everyone forever! Exclamation mark. With a flick of his finger, Gladius saw the ground beneath Luffy's feet begin to swell. Luffy stomped her foot tilde, boom! Dash, Luffy stepped on the land before it was fully developed. Boom boom the thousand ton bay ear of destruction. A figure rose from the sky. It was Mahibwa, the ability user with tons of fruits. His attack style is very simple, that is to rely on the physical pressure that can be used to deal violent damage to the opponent. It's just that he fell out of the sky and headed straight for Luffy's head. Luffy modeled his right arm, then pulled his right hand back to start accumulating power. The pitch black medium spread all over his arms in an instant. Rubber serious sky cannon. Whoosh, with a low growl from Luffy. 
His fist slammed upwards, it collided with Mahabi's body almost instantly, boom. Dash, when this huge force fell on Mahabia, there was almost no delay or hesitation, and the fat body of Mahabia's out rear was like a shell, no, not like a cannonball, but like a beam of light. In an instant, Mahabi turned into a laser beam and disappeared into the sky. Although Luffy often said that he was going to beat people up, the actual number of times he did it was very small, and this time, it can be said to be the most perfect beat up in Luffy's fighting career. Don't say it, it's really cool Tilda. Army flag. Diamante slapped the ground with one hand, and the ground seemed to come alive, and it rolled like a sea wave in an instant Tilda. The crowd on the street suddenly couldn't stand still, and they were all overturned to the ground by the waves on the ground. Luffy is also swaying here and there, like a flat boat in the sea. Now, Diamante stepped forward, pointing at Luffy with the iron sword in his eyes. Sword long sword. As soon as he moved, the iron sword in his hand stabbed at Luffy. What? Luffy reached out and grabbed Diamante's iron sword. Stupid. Rubber is afraid of being cut. A sneer protruded from the corner of his mouth, and Diamante stabbed fiercely with a fierce light in his eyes. But the next moment, he was shocked from ear to ear Tilda. He saw that his iron sword was twisted into a twist like a sponge in Luffy's hands. It stands to reason that it shouldn't be surprising that Diamante can also do this with his flying fruit ability. But the problem is, he didn't activate the fruit ability just now. This iron sword should be extremely strong. How could it be as soft as a sponge? With a casual turn, Luffy turned the sponge-like iron sword around, and threw it back casually. Clang. The iron sword made the clanging sound of gold and iron when it landed. It was a real iron sword tilde. This is impossible. Diamante's eyes widened. He couldn't understand why the other party could use the ability of flying fruit. However, the aura that Luffy used just now is the ability of Nika's form which assimilates the iron sword it touches into rubber, so it won't do him any harm. During the summit war, if Luffy wanted to assimilate the surrounding matter, he could only do it when he was awakened. But now, even if the awakening state is not activated, Luffy can also channel things within a certain volume. You fly for me too. Luffy was getting angry right now, and punched Diamante directly, etc. Leo Lan hurriedly shouted, and then activated the rubber fruit ability, extend the arm. When his palm came to Diamante, he opened it with a swipe and turned into a huge palm. Like a huge net, Liu Olan just made a grabbing movement and grabbed Diamante directly in his hand. Diamante looked at Liu Olan in surprise. Why did you save me? Can you stop being sentimental? With disgust and disgust on his face, Liu Olan curled his lips and said, You are the murderer who killed the former royal princess, and you will be judged by the people of Darius Rosa with Dof Lamingo later. While speaking, Liu Olan took out the sea stone handcuffs and handcuffed Diamante with a click and casually threw it on the ground beside his feet. It's you, the murderer who hurt my mother. Rebecca looked at Diamante who fell to the ground. Her small face was filled with hatred. She grabbed a wooden stick and beat Diamante non-stop. What? This bastard killed Rebecca Chan's mother? Sanji suddenly felt dizzy and furious. This guy in front of him not only killed a beautiful and dignified woman, but also made Rebecca so painful. This situation is a double buff for Sanji. He raised his foot and stepped on it with tears in his eyes. Bastard, I let you kill women. I let you make Rebecca Chan so miserable. Dash. Sanji Sanji also opened the sixth gate of the eight inner gates tilde. Under the power of Kailu, Zhao Hao, his feet became shadowless legs tilde. I don't know how many kicks kicked Diamante's body for a while. Frankie exclaimed, good guy. This guy is also a man, so he didn't say a word. Brooke, yo ho 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 tilde Frank idiot, because when Sanji stepped on the first foot, this guy's balls broke and he passed out at that time, how can he scream? Hey Tilda it hurts to hear it. Chopper showed a horrified look. Here, Sanji is helping Rebecca beat Diamante, and Luffy's battle is over. What top carders, carders. They were totally vulnerable in front of Luffy. They were all beaten by Luffy or fainted by Lu. Doflamingo watched the scene, the corners of his mouth kept twitching Tilda. He and these people in front of him are not ugly at all Tilda, and the reason why things have turned into this situation is that the captain of the other party wants to be a hero. Damn it Tilda, this kind of thing can make me meet Feng. How can I be so unlucky? Chapter 239 The Rice Rosa is divided into two countries. Please subscribe. Tulip Avenue Tilda. A sensational judgment assembly of Darius Rosa was held in the most prosperous part of the street. Those who attended the scene firstly included representatives of the royal family of Liku and Don Quixote family. In addition, there are representatives of the little people, representatives of toy slaves, representatives of victims and insiders. Thank you and your partners for your help. Our Liku royal family will never forget your great kindness. King Liku walked up to Liu Lan on purpose and expressed his sincere gratitude. It turned out that Liu Olan waved his hand, you don't have to thank me so early. It's not certain whether you can regain the throne of Darius Ross Tilda let's see what the people say. The reason for taking action against Teresa Ross is entirely because of Luffy's sense of justice Tilda. But from the position of the king, 
It is really difficult to draw a conclusion on who is right between King Liku and Doflamingo Tilda. King Liku loves the people like a son and is a good man. Doflamingo is autocratic and not a good guy. But the problem is, the person who sits in the position of the king must first have the ability. When King Liku was in power, although there was never tyranny, the economic development level of Darius Rosa was very low, and everyone generally lived in poverty. Of course, there is happiness in poverty Tilda. When Doflamingo was in power, he had always been arbitrarily authoritarian and said what he said. However, he sacrificed the interests of a very small number of people, made the lives of most people in the country better, established the aristocratic class, and made Darius Rosa completely rich. On the surface, it seems obvious at a glance that Doflamingo is not a good king. But if you think about it carefully, King Liquor can be said to be a good man, but can he be said to be a good king? The country has always been poor, not only the economic construction has not been developed, but also the National Defense Army has not been developed. Once a foreign enemy invades, the civilians of this country will be the first to suffer. Facts have also proved this matter. When Dorf Lamingo led his Don Quixote family to seize power, the Lika royal family had no room to resist Tilda. 463 was even easily framed and slandered by Dorf Lamingo Tilda. Many innocent civilians died. It can't quite be said to be Dorf Lamingo's fault, because even if Dorf Lamingo does not come, there may still be other forces such as young Flamingo, Dorf Lamingo brother, Dorf Lamingo sister, etc. to deal with Darius Rosa. In this world, being weak is an original sin Tilda. If you don't work hard to become strong on a weak basis, that's adding to the crime. If King Lika can also have some means to strengthen the country's economic construction, let Darius Rosa quickly develop into a rich country, and then recruit many powerful guards, and even buy devil fruit to cultivate powerful guardians. Dot. Then Darius Rosa has sufficient deterrence when facing the enemy. This is why when Dorf Lamingo was in power, those pirates did not dare to do anything wrong when they came to Darius Rosa Tilda. Dorf Lamingo's name is there. It is a deterrent to ordinary pirates. It is even more of a deterrent to those groups and forces who covet Dixon Rosa. So Liu Olan doesn't want to judge who is right and who is wrong between King Liku and Dorf Lamingo. This kind of thing should be judged by the public. Soon, the negotiation meeting will begin Tilda. Liu Olan first asked Dorf Lamingo and the Cardos of the Don Quixote family to be escorted to the stage, and then asked representatives from all parties to come up and denounce the bad things that the Don Quixote family had done. The little people were deceived and foolishly became Yang Bai Lao for so many years Tilda. When the little human princess Man Xueli told the grievances of the little people, many people felt sympathetic. However, many people think that Dorf Lamingo is doing the right thing. Non my family, its heart must be different. Since it is possible to enslave another race to create infinite value for Darius Rosa, shouldn't this kind of thing be strongly advocated? But, when the toy slaves were exposed, people found that at least half of the toy slaves were not pirates from the outer seas but civilians in Darosa Ross's own country. These civilians just because they are against Doflamingo's rule, or just because they don't have much value, this ruthless man has become a toy slave. When this incident was exposed, the people at the bottom completely broke out. Damn bastard, ruthless beast. We must not allow this kind of person to stay in Darius Rosa to harm us. When the little people told about their situation just now, only a part of the people expressed sympathy. But now it's different, because at least half of the toy slaves are innocent Darosa Ross people. This makes the people at the bottom of Dereza Ross feel terrified. Because what can happen to others, can also happen to them. For a time, the popular support rate fell to one wang on a large scale. But to Liu Olan's surprise, the final approval rate was 32% to 68%. Although King Rick got the majority of the support, Doflamingo still has 32% support in this situation. This is something that Liu Olan never thought of. This Doflamingo can get such a high approval rate which shows that many people have recognized him as the king. Robin stroked his forehead gently and whispered, Yeah, that's really interesting. Leo Lan shrugged, then looked at Luffy. Luffy, what do you think? I'm going to beat him up. Luffy answered without hesitation. Leo Lan rolled his eyes. He shouldn't have asked him about this tilde. Leo Lan, what's the matter with you? Nami took Leo Lan's arm and asked. Roland pondered for a while, and said, This is actually not a simple multiple choice question. On the surface, it should be King Liku who was elected as the new king. But is that fair to the 32%? Nami thought for a while, shook his head and said, It's not fair. Yeah, everyone has the right to choose for themselves. Tilda the reason why we can make decisions for them is entirely because of our big fists, not because of some just or unjust things. Liu Lan sighed, and continued, If we directly change the decision for the 32% of people, then what is the difference between us and Doflamingo? Hearing this, he thought about it thoughtfully. After thinking for a while, he seemed to think that what Liu Olan said made sense, so he asked, then what should we do? Liu Olan said, that's what I think. Dot dot dot. Since Doflamingo and King Liku have a lot of supporters, it's better to let them divide the country, 
and the people who follow them will follow each other. Usopp's eyes lit up, it's so good. The road they chose, no matter how good or bad they are in the future, they can only walk on their knees. The method is good, but who can guarantee that they will not play each other's ideas? Robin said worriedly. Liu Olan said with a smile, it's okay, I have my own way. If that's the case, then I agree. Liu Ogu nodded, Ech, I agree too. Nami said immediately. Luffy also nodded, I think so. In the end, everyone in the Straw Hat Pirates agreed. When Liu Olan announced this decision, the entire population of Dressaros fell into an uproar. But just a few seconds later, there was a shout of excitement. For whoever they are, the king they follow is not there. They all believe that their decision is right. Foo Furfa. I never thought that you would let me go. With both hands retracted from the sea stone handcuffs, Do Flamingo looked at Liu Olan with some differences. There was no deep hatred at first. I have said it all. It is the righteousness of our captain. Letting you go now is also because of the righteousness tilde. Liu Olan pouted in the direction of the people below and said. Do Flamingo understood. The reason why he survived is because of the approval rate of 32%. Diamante rushed over to support Do Flamingo, and said excitedly, Dover. We don't need to eat, ha ha. It's good now, the people of King Liku have been exposed, looking for opportunities. Exclamation mark. Before he finished speaking, Do Flamingo covered his mouth and angrily said, Shut up. Almost forgot one thing Tilda. At this time, Liu Olan curled his lips, and stretched out his hand to bring Diamante to the middle of the trial platform. Ah! What are you doing? Diamante exclaimed. Liu Olan said lightly, Do Flamingo can survive, that's because the country he governs has won the firm support of 32% of the people. This is his merit. As for you, you don't have the same treatment as Do Flamingo Tilda. Hey, what does this mean? Do Flamingo asked with a vigilant look. Liu Olan ignored him, but continued to announce, Diamante murdered the former Princess Scarlet, and is sentenced to death. What? The Carders of the Don Quixote family all changed their faces and became angry one by one. Do Flamingo also said with a gloomy face, Hey, hey, Liu Olan, let my family go. You can make any conditions. Liu Olan smiled lightly, forget it. You are a smart person, you know how to choose between the death of only one family member and the death of the whole family. Hearing this, Do Flamingo clenched his teeth and lowered his head slightly tilde. An inexplicable sense of powerlessness welled up in my heart. The not-so-sharp fingernails were deeply embedded in the palm of the hand. This is the first time that Do Flamingo felt so humiliated in so many years, but he didn't dare to resist Tilda. Little Lord, Dover, shut up. Faced with the words of the Don Quixote family, Do Flamingo finally made the right choice. King Liku has no opinion here, because they have no right to speak from the beginning Tilda. Even the current result can be said to be a charity given to them by the Straw Hat Pirates. Rebecca's father, Cyrus, offered to be the executioner Tilda. When he raised the knife and dropped it, Diamante's head rolled off the stage. Exclamation mark. Cyrus knelt down on one knee, of course, he only has one leg, and said sincerely to Liu Olan, your actions are very good and fair. But, once you leave, this furnace can still be maintained down. Don't worry. This matter is not difficult. Liu Olan smiled, then looked at Rebecca, and asked, you wanted to worship me as a teacher before, but now I will give you a chance. Hearing this, Rebecca was stunned for a moment. However, Violet beside her immediately understood what Liu Olan meant. Her heart was beating wildly, and she hurriedly threw Li Bai Kala in front of Liu Olan excitedly, and said excitedly, Quick, appreciate the teacher. 17. Rebecca didn't think so much about human sophistication, but she was really like Liu Ogang as a teacher. Now with Liu Olan's permission, she knelt down without hesitation, Master, please be respected by my apprentice. Liu Olan turned to look at Do Flamingo, after I leave. There must be no interference between the Don Quixote family and the Liquor Royal family, otherwise, whoever is at fault, I will kill that. 17. Do Flamingo replied with a heavy heart, understood. The reason why Liu Olan did this is because he knows that Do Flamingo is very afraid of death in front of the real strong, such as Kaido's big mum. In the original plot, it was just that the progress of the artificial devil fruit production was slow, and Do Flamingo was terrified to death. So, after Liu Olan showed his absolute strength, Do Flamingo absolutely did not dare to go against his will. Of course, this is just a small constraint. Another physical constraint is the real constraint. As Liu Olan placed a maze guard on Darius Rose's borderline, a long labyrinth stretched across Darius Rose's island, completely dividing Darius Rosa in half. In this way, Darius Rosa has truly become two countries. Before leaving Darius Rosa, Liu Olan tore a piece of his lifeguard and gave it to Rebecca, and asked her to choose a manga, Elf Knight Sword God to her. Chapter 240 Teach, Can the Current Father Still Carry a Knife? Please subscribe. Fatro Sea Area Tilda. This sea area is one of the territories of the Whitebeard Pirates, and it is usually the large vortex spider skewed who works in this sea area. Captain, something has happened. The Blackbeard Pirates are here. On the deck of the pirate ship Great Eddie Spider, 
A young pirate rushed over anxiously. In front of him is the captain of the great Eddie Spider Pirates, one of the large ships under the White Beard Pirates, Skewyad. Some time ago, they just had the summit war, and now they have returned to their territory. These days, I suddenly heard that the Blackbeard Pirates came to the father's territory to provoke, which makes Skewad very puzzled Tilda. Although the strength of Blackbeard Teach has been confirmed now, it is obviously naive to want to provoke Whitebeard. Skewad was wondering, when he saw the big bamboo raft not far away slowly approaching. How dot 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 how to do? The little guy on the side spoke nervously. You know, just two days ago, the Nains Pirates were wiped out by the Blackbeard Pirates. Although Nains is not as powerful as Skewad. He is still the captain of one of the big ships under the Whitebeard Pirates. Now that the Blackbeard Pirates have come here, the purpose is self-evident. What a hammer. Skewyard curled his lips. Dad already knows about the Nains Pirates. Dad also knows that Blackbeard Teach is causing trouble in his territory. And the captain of the second team, Ace, has already been dispatched. Just now I have already notified him with a phone bug, and Ace is expected to come over soon. Skewyard, long time no see tilde. Standing high on the raft, Blackbeard Teach grinned widely. Teach. Don't do this trick. You are a disgrace to the Whitebeard Pirates. You dare to come to Dad's place to make trouble. You are really looking for death. The big vortex spider molded the big knife on its back, and sneered at the corner of its mouth. Thief ha 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 ha. Blackbeard Teach burst out laughing loudly. I said Skewyad, you have the face to say me. No matter how much I betrayed, I just killed Sage. You really penetrated Dad. Uh. If you want to talk about betrayal, you are much better than me. Ha ha ha. In terms of betrayal, Captain Teach is not as good as you. This kid is fine. You are the only one who can hurt Whitebeard in a one-on-one -on -one situation. PFFT. It's really one-on-one. -on -one. The members of the Blackbeard Pirates suddenly burst out laughing. You are courting death. Skewyad himself can be considered a relatively calm person, but in the face of this kind of ridicule, he can't ignore it. Stabbing the old man can be said to be the most regretful thing he has ever done in his life. The members of the Whitebeard Pirates tacitly stopped talking about this matter, saving face for Skewyad to the greatest extent. However, the group of people in front of him actually used this matter to mock him, which made Skewad almost explode. He didn't say anything, and the long knife was unsheathed with its sound. One step, moonwalk. Skewyad jumped straight to the big raft. I kill you. The long knife was turned upside down, and Skewyad held the handle of the knife with both hands, and slashed a teacher's forehead with a perfect meteor falling style. Thief ha 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 tilde. Looking up at Skewad who fell from the sky, Blackbeard Teach stood motionless, his face full of ridicule. Boom. Above the sea and sky. Sniper guns rang out for a lifetime. When Skewyad put the long knife horizontally in front of him in time, and the bullet hit the knife face heavily, the strong kinetic energy weakened Skewyad's forward momentum. According to this parabola, he should jump into the sea. D A D A. Skewyad's feet were moving, trampling the air violently. A. With a disguise and speed change, he rushed directly to Blackbeard Tiki again. But at this moment, a burly figure suddenly struck. Stop being self-righteous. You're not worthy of teach. Boxing champion Buggy clenched his fist with his right hand, and there were bursts of fluctuating power in the steel elbow pads on his elbows. Wave? Wave. He hit Skewyard with a bang. Under this heavy punch, Skewyard shot back fiercely. Boom. He fell on the deck and got up immediately. Damn it. Teach, are these guys your confidence? Wiping the blood spilling from the corner of his mouth, Skewyard's face was full of dissatisfaction, and he smiled coldly. If these guys are your confidence, then teach, are you going to laugh people to death? Thieves ha 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 ha. Long story short, Skewyard, you must hate daddy for helping Ace. Let's talk about cooperation. You help me gather intel, and I'll get rid of the Whitebeard Pirates. W. Zero dot 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 seeking flowers. Teach revealed his purpose of coming to Skewyard. Help you deal with daddy? Skewyard frowned at the corners of his eyes. The next moment, he laughed loudly. Teach, are you hallucinating from eating too much shit? Who gave you the courage to make you so self-righteous that you can threaten dad? Question mark. Thieves ha ha ha. If it is a healthy old man, of course I dare not say the words to weed him. Blackbeard Teach grinned, his face full of pride. He shrugged his shoulders and laughed. But you also know that dad is no longer the same dad. Today's dad is not only weak and sick, but also in the summit war. He was seriously injured. Until now I, I haven't heard the news of his death yet. This is already a miracle tilde. Zero. But speaking of it, even if the old man is not dead, it should be about the same. Now, can he still carry a knife tilde? There was a mocking arc on the corner of his mouth, and at this point, Blackbeard Teach couldn't help but let out his signature laugh. Thief ha ha ha, question mark. Seeing the appearance of Blackbeard Teach, Skewyard's whole face was stunned. Question marks all around him tilde. But the next moment, he suddenly understood. Good guy. No wonder Blackbeard Teach dared to come to the Whitebeard Pirates territory to act wildly, because he thought his father was going to die. Think carefully Tilda, with the last appearance of Dad in the Summit War live broadcast, he really looks like he is about to die. If Liu Olan did not treat Whitebeard later, 
Whitebeard might really be like Teach said, unable to lift a knife tilde? But Whitebeard's recovery from injury is currently only known to the Whitebeard pirates. Outsiders don't know about this tilde, apparently Teach was also one of the uninformed. Thinking of this, Yin Lai Spider Snanyard showed a funny expression on his face. Dad can't lift the knife anymore? Skewyard rubbed his chin, shrugged, and looked at Teach with a mocking look. Who told you? If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. And join my Patreon if you want to support me. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.